going? Oh my god, where are we going? We're Do we going, need a toothbrush? We're going to a place no one should have to go, and that is to uh, discuss how things do or do not make sense in this film. They do not. Five hours Probably. for the 35 minutes. What's going to be the remaining amount? I do not know. I, f I feel like You're this out is... there. Oh, huh? Yeah. What? I was going to say there's a connecting piece between the two biggest fuck-ups in the movie, and we're at that point, so this part should go a little quicker, right? When they... Mm. Yeah, yeah, I should never guess things will go quick. I'm always wrong. Mm-hmm. Every time. Wrong. Wrong. Wrongus. Incorrect. Incorrecto. Alright. That, that, that. Dunzo. What should we talk about for like 10 minutes before we get on to the, to the topic? Hmm. Hmm. To all those people out there who are watching this or hear about this later out of context on Twitter, we do hate this movie. But if you have all of the answers that make it all come together and make sense, then let us know. Absolutely. How it actually all makes sense and it all totally works. And tell us how it's all fine because sometimes there was a neat visual, so we don't have it, to talk about the story anymore. It does range from like... Uh, people saying like, no, it makes sense because you have to think about blah blah blah, or people just being like, it's not supposed to make sense. Oh, that's always a good one. Yeah, and you're like, it's supposed oh. to make sense. Oh, okay. So I guess we okay, we're done. Um, oh, people yeah, never I'm say that sure. about good movies. I've noticed. Oh, yeah, it's just, yeah, weird. Huh? You're not. I, I think it would just be be honest. You're not actually going to say that to like the people who make these things, right? You're not going to say, yeah, what you make is stupid. Um, and you're not, <laughs> what, you make is stupid. <laughs> what you make is stupid and bad. And that's no, what no, you were going no, I don't for. mean it was stupid, but I mean, it's not supposed to be smart. Yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah, what I, I meant. I that's imagine I that they would yeah, yeah. They're, not, they're never going to say that. They'll say that it's amazing. Your, your positions change depending on who you're talking to, which um, <gasps> is really annoying. <laughs> like, yeah, I like how you made your movie not make sense. Like, wh what? Yeah, like yeah, all those things, it's know. crazy, but man, it doesn't make sense, I right? Know. It's like, it doesn't? Oh. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't really know that that's something that anybody would... Whatever. <laughs> I, I, I find it kind of funny that it took Reach City on planet Reach. <laughs> <laughs> to be like, you know what, maybe Halo's like a pretty bad show. Um, oh, where were you since episode one? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I, I guess I'm at least glad that we're all in agreement now, but, like, the show has uh, always yeah. been awful, and you didn't need to, like, have all of the stuff that's happened. I like how to... the episodes that have turned everyone off the show are ones we haven't even seen yet, and we're already very turned off of the show. <laughs> like, oh, like, I, oh. mean, <laughs> I mean, the, the, it's... The, the, the amount of... There are so little... There was so little about that show to compliment up until where we're at, which is episode six. It's, um, it, it's, it is like, it's so bad. I don't know what <laughs> anybody could see in it of value. Like, it's, it's got nothing to offer. So I agree. Um, really have that on nothing to offer. Angry Joe's had an arc on this show. Yeah, no, I, I know. <laughs> Did he think it was good at the beginning? No, I said he's had that think... arc of asking people what do they value about this? What is uh, it yeah, that they like? Yeah, what they yeah. think is well written and stuff. Poor guy. Which, um... <laughs> it's, it's, well, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I guess it's... The problem is that the conversation around the show is just very much encumbered by comparisons to the games. And I think that's led a lot of people to a place where they're, they're like, it's almost like you you haven't like yet fully realized it's like, it's not just that it's different from the game, like it's terrible as its own thing. Yeah. Um, like it's really deficient in a lot of just standard storytelling things. I mean, as far as I can tell, one of the biggest issues with this show is like chain of command. What's that? Like, what is the military in terms of who answers to who? What are you what what are you allowed to do and what are you not allowed to do? Like, who's responsible for what? Who talks to who? That's, like, one of the biggest issues with that show. Yeah. Everybody it's actually is a really big deal. Well, yeah, of course it's a big... This is how yeah. things get done. This is what allows or prevents actions from being taken. It's and very it's, important. And the show thinks it has a lot of intelligent things to say, but every question oh. it asks, it has a really shallow answer to. Um, which is something that I find pretty annoying, considering that the games don't even ask a lot of these questions and still provide something that's more interesting to think about. Uh, and especially if you, like, go into the books of the, uh, at least the older books, there's, like, a lot of stuff that's interesting to think about that the show has decided to change, and in changing, 
has made it much shallower. But whatever, it's 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 bad. Well, uh, the only other thing was worth showing is that we got some artwork between this and the previous stream about this movie. So it felt <laughs> oh, suitable to pop them on as a, as a icons. Meme and the massives Good. just about to drill Doctor Strange, mom. Um, <laughs> you even got chat in there. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at him there. Drill hey, that, hello. <laughs> By um, I think the the live art chain in in Discord, and then I guess Jeremy R Moreno or Moreno is is the name the artist goes by. But I very much like everyone's expression. I like this a lot. This is really neat. I like it. This is I love good. it. Mel, there's a good. wonderful little handle on your headset there for anyone to just grab you up. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. It's really handy. Why is, no one said why it's bringing holding a pig. It's probably because I said I like pigs. Pigs are yeah. adorable. Look at him. I like. I'm holding a gun, probably because I said I like guns. <laughs> I'm holding Cookie Crisp, probably because uh, yeah, I like Cookie Crisp. <laughs> yeah. like I'm holding nothing metal, because I'm empty inside. Are, the headphones are metal. Are so I hate it's women. Like, <laughs> it's like that arc thing in St. Louis. What's it called? That that St. Louis like arc. It's like you're wearing it on your head. True. I even got my tentacles in there. Oh, nice. But yeah, you'll see us sporting them for this whole stream what? while we discuss a wonderful film. I've seen some people be like, talk about Halo already, and it's like, there's still another episode to go before the season's done. That'll be next done. week. Yeah. It's not done yet, and I'm sure that it's going, to be, it's going to be really fun to see the ending that people are suspecting from that show and how it stems from Master Chief's actions. I'm really looking forward to just the continued obliteration of a character I didn't think you could assassinate. <laughs> like, they found but... a way. They always oh, think he's going to peel his own skin off by the end because that's the only thing he hasn't taken off yet. <laughs> no, I mean, yes. I, I'm, I'm honestly at this point, I'm so, I'm so thankful that he's rarely wearing the armor because anytime I see him in full armor, I get like a little bit sad. It's just like, man. Yeah. It's like, Keep it off so I don't associate that. you like, with the real Master yeah. Chief. <laughs> It's um, it, it's just I don't know. Whenever he's not wearing it, I can sort of pretend that this isn't an adaptation of Halo. <laughs> but, and yet, I can't, be I can't believe that like the way that they. Oh uh, no! Next week. <laughs> <laughs> Will that one be a single E fab? I do no. It's oh, no, God. It, it won't. It won't well, be. We'll make spoilers. It, <laughs> <laughs> it might be. I don't know. I. I, I can see it going both ways because mm -hmm. I really hate this show a lot. It's it it really upsets me. Uh, so it, it, it upsets me more than this the Wanda movie we're watching now. I, it really oh, makes I mean, me upset. It definitely makes me upset. I I like Halo, so yeah, it makes me more upset than this because I, I yeah I, I wasn't even expecting much from the show like even when it existed, but um it's it's not fun um. And it's it's not, not like that it doesn't like, exist though. Uncharted was was um because I really like Uncharted too, but like that movie that movie's bad, but like it's not really offensive. Um, it's it's sort of just like a really generic action film. Um, that I don't really think takes full advantage of the IP that it is. But I mean, it's it's you know it's whatever. Um, I was gonna say I'm I'm reverse to you guys on this one, and I imagine Gary's the same, where it's like, I recognize your fallen IP, and I'm so sorry for that, though this pisses me off way more <laughs> like, yeah, what, they did in, what they did in Doctor it's, Strange. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I, it's, it, 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 all, it all varies, right? It depends yeah, yeah. on, like, what, what matters to you, and, um, yeah. I mean, the MCU at this point, like, it's kind of, I don't know, I don't have that much investment in it anymore. <laughs> like, oh, no. I'm just baffled yeah, yeah. that they keep. I'm gonna quote that back to you when awful... you see Thor: Love and Thunder and Guardians Three. Oh, true. Yeah. Oh. You know, you know that phrase, about... "the yeah. final nail in the coffin." I think that it's it's appropriate because every nail is the final nail as long as you stop, right? But <laughs> they keep putting in more stop. nails. They keep yeah, putting in more nails, so that's like, why we could say it's the final nail in the coffin over and over and over again. Because tentatively, putting... yes, it's the final nail. Yeah, oh god, they made in. another one. I guess that's the final nail. Just start putting nails in the middle of the coffin, just the nails <laughs> going into, <laughs> the, into the corpse. Into the corpse, yeah. 
Well, eventually you've got to start yeah. putting in smaller nails just to fill in the <laughs> tiny gaps in between. All the big nails, yeah, yeah. That's the way to do it. Um, you guys ready for say, the sharing? Oh, yeah, what was that? I, was like, I will say, um, to because we're talking about Halo in this movie, is that whereas I feel Halo has an outright contempt and hatred for its source content, I think this movie, uh, the Doctor Strange movie, it's more that just they're just terrible and they don't even... I don't know. I don't get the same um, kind of vibe. I mean, this is what I, I didn't would, want. I, would, I don't know. I, I think totally a little bit of contempt in the Illuminati scenes. I I would totally agree that like Halo demonstrates a level of uh, a much higher level of disregard for the source material. But I mean, as but I mean, I I don't know that I would. Yeah, like Mister. Wait, we we haven't talked about that yeah. yet. <laughs> well, start get there. Yeah. I, I actually, I don't think that it is contempt. I think it's just they thought that that was a horrifically that, misguided attempt to try and make Wanda seem like really scary and spooky. And they didn't think about how people would hate it so immensely. Um, I think that uh, I'm not sure. So yeah, because what I would say about like Halo is, I think what happened with Halo is we're like television writers. We're not like s video game developers. You know, like we we actually like tell stories, not like these video games. There's that kind of attitude that permeates the Halo yeah. show. Like they look Halo, down Halo upon is like a, it's a video game, not a television show, so it doesn't present that much by way of like a meaningful experience. And they are not the Mountain Dew consumers. They do not oh, consume sure. the game fuel. They right. miss out on a lot of really cool opportunities because when we talk about like one of the strongest sort of just marriages of, of gameplay and storytelling, the ending of Halo Reach, it's like, oh, you survive. And you're like, but I can't. It's like, yeah, that's, yeah, you can't, but, you know, give it a shot. It's like, oh, that's like really good in terms of um I mean the Halo games have always been pretty good at balancing Ludo narrative dissonance in that like what you're doing in the gameplay never uh really conflicts with what the character would want to be doing in this situation anyway. But it's like find ways to leverage, you know, like the 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 gameplay to try and tell a story. And it's, it's not even like the Halo is like that amazing at doing it all the time, but I mean there's there's just a lot of opportunities that they took advantage of, um, and I don't know if the show they didn't play the game, so like I think they had no ability to leverage those things. It's not even like that they didn't play it. Like they clearly get the vibe that they didn't want to play it. Like that's play a video game to write. That's so mm -hmm. beneath us. Like now, play the game, read some of the Covenant books. Spy. Uh, well. Well, I mean, they they must have known enough about the games because they've got jackals and grunts and elites. How much do you want to talk about Halo? Like, what? Sorry. What's yeah, going on? We'll talk like, about Wanda movie. Wanda we got a whole EFAP next madness. week for it. What the fuck? I can't help it, Ma. It just happens. <laughs> the rest of us <laughs> weigh in. Look, like, are they done yet? Or <laughs> right? look, in Star look, Trek, they force where the the same. It's on the same streaming service. Are going? Uh huh. Yep. Uh-huh. We've been talking about this for five years. They made something of something they hated. They didn't watch any episode of Star Trek. They may they might have watched some highlights on YouTube at best. Uh and watched then they all the low lights and then made a show. Yeah. <laughs> then they picked the worst elements and then the showrunner complains that canon is hard. So yeah. You make it sound as though yeah. you're not excited for season three of Picard. All the crew's coming back. Rags, you're gonna <laughs> tune in, right? <laughs> I I would love. Oh, is Denise Crosby coming back? I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. Well, she would Why have to not? play that Romulan character if she was. That's I right. imagine. She unless will have they, to. Yeah. they might do it. They might do it. Brought back Wesley. Uh. Did, in, was he actually in the show? <laughs> he was in season two at the end. Yeah. Oh, okay. And was it like a cameo? Because just... I still just I'm just <laughs> amused really that his name didn't show. make it to season three. <laughs> When he's acting so excited and he's just jerking it off all oh, yeah. the time. On I get everything. the impression he's from like, him. He's oh, like, I'm a good little boy. Up. Let me back in. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Please let me be in Star Trek. That's all that I have. I'll do anything to be in a Star Trek episode. And I'm sure he would. And then he would cover the episode by saying he made he was it was such a good performance by the entire cast, including me, <laughs> <laughs> including me. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Will Wheaton, right? Yeah, Will Wheaton, who famously Wheaton did, the, uh, did oh what what I was going to say famously did? appeared in uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. <laughs> he's the guy who gets saved by supergirl in the beginning oh, right at the beginning yeah, right. Like oh the, yeah that was him yes what was 
what was his what was his thing? What caricature uh, was he? It was he the was like protesting something. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah well, he could have been the end is nigh. Yeah, I don't know. He w yeah, like the end is nigh or something like that. I can't remember I, if it was some anti woman thing was, either. Big Bang Theory, Will Wheaton. He played himself, and he was a jerk in that show. Oh, oh yeah, like that, I remember. He also that. did play himself. Oh. Um, well, What's he also commitment? did the, uh, the <laughs> audio book for Ready Player One, which is like, man. <laughs> I can't wait to read that book in his voice. <sighs> wow. That's the one I, thing I mean, that book needs. I mean, if you just want to listen to Will Wheaton reference pop culture, like, mm -hmm. I imagine that listening to that audio book is a good investment but i yeah <laughs> that's the dream that is awful. <laughs> genuinely like <laughs> disney hopes that every person who like watches this stuff is the kind of person who would love to read all those references in ready player one they're just like please be that person <laughs> yeah, like, just, hey we'll, you, we'll you bring in more right? yeah speaking of which dr strange and the yeah dr. Strange. um all i'll say before we we start up is that uh drinker shall arrive at some undetermined point uh, to talk about this movie, possibly to be convinced that it's much worse even than he thought it was. Who knows? Oh he, boy! Um, he mentioned to me that he watched uh, Gary's review and he was like, "Yep, you guys seem to dislike it a lot more than me." <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So anyway, I can't exactly remember specifically where we were. Was it right before Pizza Papa? Is that where we were? Yeah. We we were when they escaped from um. Yeah, I think so. Right. We they just got into the Illuminati timeline. Well, um, I guess we can open them. We're saying what, what, what you have as an opportunity for storytelling when they arrive in this brand new universe is that America's done this before, so she can be like, oh, these are things I've learned along the way, and then he can temper them by being a way wiser person. He can be like, yeah, you, you come up with some good stuff just from having done it, but you know, you, you got to think about this, that, that, and the other. First thing she says is like, don't assume how anything works. And even when I was watching it, I was like, yeah, that's fair. It's an alternate universe. Literally anything could be different. Um, and then she breaks that rule immediately, and steals yeah. food. <laughs> well, and, she broke it even earlier in the movie already, when well, she expected Strange to be able to talk Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> this is, and then so, she oh, also... Because the right. universe is a multiverse to her. <laughs> so what, what I find... All, all Spanish people steal things, even if they're from other universes. Well, some things you could take, you know. Not. No. <laughs> I, That's I what was... the film's saying, not me. Not me. Yeah, not me. Yeah, that's the film. Well, I was confused I what the film was trying that. to say with pointing out that rule and then breaking it immediately. I was just like, "Yeah, am I supposed to see that as her being like an idiot, or or or, or is that accidental?" So. Like, I'm assuming yeah. they didn't mean to do that. Uh, I think they didn't realize what that meant. Was, yeah, I don't think they realized mm -hmm. it. There's no way they did. Because if, if, if anyone's confused, because it could have been a result of just uh, ch ch chopping down scenes. Because they go from that to her being disappeared, and he's like, "Well, the fuck would you go?" And then she's like. Um, always find food, because she's already gone to find food, and he's like, she's back now, and he's like, okay. And he's like, how'd you pay for it? Because she doesn't have any fucking money, presumably. And then she's like, pay for it? You don't have free food where you come from? Which, I was like, when, wasn't she in a cafe eating food earlier in their world? Meaning yeah, she must have known it was paid for? Oh, she does know. She said because she found it weird that they had to pay for their food. So why is she assuming that it's not like the pizza the, place made Doctor Strange pay for the pizza after he just saved all their lives from the monster. <laughs> I'm sure they didn't know it was it was a different area, you know. That's true. Like, oh. That would have been funny though. It would have. If there was uh, like if Doctor Strange thought there was this understanding and the teller just clearly didn't, yeah. <laughs> they rung should, him up. It should have been the pizza store owner from Spider-Man Two. Oh also. yeah. Fuck you yeah, get dude. this multiverse when I when you fix this damn pizza. Hmm. Um, <laughs> Somebody said, lucky all the universes have breathable oxygen. I suppose that's worth talking uh, about. Talk about uh, that right? That's we not one we can talk about yet. we got to wait for the finale. Well, when, they, when they were traveling through all those universes, right? It's like, could yeah. you have died at like any time? Mm, Just like... Yeah. Paint one. They, well, they did turn into said. paint, but they were okay. Oh, uh, yeah, right. We can't talk about that. I'm, I forgot. This... We, we discussed this last week. Yes, it's, yeah. a, it's a tough one to avoid. We're going to have to avoid it. For a long okay. time, because there is one key element to them traveling around that gets explained to us later. It ain't gonna make any sense, but for now, we're gonna have to shelve the whole like. We'll discuss it all. Do not worry about that. Uh, I don't even remember what you're referring to. I'm excited. Oh yeah. Oh excited. yeah. That's great. Um. So yeah, she uh she just stole some shit from a guy, a vendor, pizza papa, and he's like, "What the hell? You just stole that." And then 
Doc Strange is immediately like, okay, okay, calm down. Just, she's a kid. She doesn't know what she's doing. It's sort of a normal way to, th th this sort of confrontation would start. But, like, super interestingly, uh, Pizza Papa, played by Bruce Campbell, is like, wait a minute. And he, he grabs the cloak, and he's like, this, this feels authentic. Did you steal this from the Strange Museum? And Strange is like, Strange Museum? Strange. I don't know what you're talking about. So, let go of my, my cloak. Um, when the obvious reaction to that should be Strange Museum, the guy we're looking for, being Stephen Strange in this universe, the only hope we have of saving the multiverse, is a museum is dedicated a museum? to him? Is he dead? Mm -hmm. That should be the first thing you say, because that's like literally your, your mission statement right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, he just goes, like, museum? What does that even mean? Weird. And then uh, he's like, I'm gonna spray it with mustard. And then, and then he, he sprays it back at him. Yeah. Get some good right. Never try to spray mustard at a wizard. At a wizard, yeah. <laughs> Never do it. Um, also, I, I guess you're just gonna recap the whole scene before we start talking about everything wrong with this? Um, okay, well, yeah, uh, I guess the only thing left to say about this moment is that uh, he casts some kind of spell that makes Bruce Campbell start hitting himself, which evokes something. Because remember, he hit himself in he Evil Dead 2, and he, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, and then they both just leave uh, while he's hitting himself, and she's like, "How long does that last?" And he's like, three weeks." Uh, That's a terrible, terrible <laughs> thing to do to a person yeah. for being actually kind of reasonable, is, thinking that you it's so wrong. Um, I don't it's even mean morally. The scene do. is all fucked because Doctor Strange should be really invested in the fact that he said there's a strange museum. Instead, he just wants to put this guy in perpetual torture. <laughs> it's like, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe it was. Maybe he thought it was lowercase strange. Maybe it was just a strange museum. It was. Is yeah, it's just a weird museum. <laughs> it's just full of weird yeah. stuff. Is Did you get that from the Strange Museum on the other was, street? Is there any reason to believe that, like, Bruce Campbell won't just starve to death and, and like, or... Well, if it lasts for three weeks, yeah. ...while punching himself, like... Break his hand. Not, die of probably, probably, yeah. So this is... Yeah. What we're highlighting is it's the problem when you... You yeah. pluck a portion of a Sam Raimi movie scene out of a Sam Raimi film and drop it randomly into a Marvel Sludge movie, it, like, doesn't line up at all. No, um, it, it doesn't fit the tone of what's happening in this moment. Because um, even if he manages to drink and eat, he will die of yeah. sleep deprivation yes. before it wears off. And I know and the people will be like, "Wow, lie. you guys can't have any fun, can you?" It's like, nope. well, <laughs> no one lasts um, that long. Look, when I when I see a guy, I guess when I see a person who's really who's suffering, sort of. Uh, for doing really nothing wrong at all, and then our hero says, "Yeah, he'll be like that for three weeks," and they walk off. I don't know. I guess my human brain—I'm yeah, breaking character for just a moment. It just goes like, no. "Oh my god, I can't! I can't believe that our hero did that to someone." That's that's a really awful thing to do to another person. That's not yep. heroic at all. And that's how it You're came bad. across to me. Was the riot was like, "You like Evil Dead, right?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah." You like this? And I'm like, "Well, I mean." <laughs> like, but I, I don't oh. to see Bruce Campbell suffer. No, because uh, that's what it is in this context. It's just a pizza vendor who sees that you've like looted someone's tomb. Or at least that's what he's under the impression you've done while stealing food from him. And so he tries to put mustard on you, and then you put him in a three-week self-torture cycle. It's like, oh. okay, I got some best you can come up with, like with Bruce Campbell coming back too. Yeah, I mean it was. I guess you get the after credit scene too, but yeah. I might be jumping the gun a little bit, but I mean, like, surely everybody that they pass should be like, holy shit, that's Doctor Strange. Like, it looks like Doctor Strange is wearing it. Like, Doctor Strange, our greatest hero. He's yeah. just walking around. People just York. walking by him, not recognizing yeah. him. I, well, everybody's just walking by them. And um, I'm pretty sure, like, in the scene, the vast majority of the extras are walking in the opposite direction, which means that most of them are looking at directly at his face. Mm -hmm. oh, it's yeah. like, it's nobody... Some... Lots yeah, especially weird because him. we find out in a couple seconds that he, in this universe, died to defeat Thanos and save the yeah. whole universe. So he is like very hero. well known. Mm -hmm. Again, to help people understand, it's 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 like us walking past Benedict Cumberbatch times a times a thousand, I guess. Yeah, we would notice. Well, it would be, I, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and someone might say like, "Well, he looks a bit different in this universe. He doesn't have the goatee." <laughs> be like, nah, no, no. I don't think that's, that's gonna no. do it. Totally throws him off. 
Yeah. They look similar enough that people would notice, but nobody does. Um, yeah. And, and, uh, and also, how does this random pizza ball salesman know what an authentic levitation cloak feels like? I don't know. Versus the fraud. <laughs> how does he know what it feels like? That's a good point. All yeah. of the, all of the I guess it just means it's, it magic. feels like strong material as opposed to... I don't, I don't even know. I don't know what he, exactly he means. Yeah, because uh, you could think that someone could make a pretty good, like, replica that would feel really strong and everything without it having to be the actual cloak. Maybe they can't cosplay in the 838. <gasps> uh, oh, yeah, they continue their very, very slow walk. And I'm talking about the kind of slow walk that if you guys, like, if you go into, like, the supermarket and you're walking with someone who's this slow, you'll get frustrated. You're like, oh, yeah. yeah. You just, uh -huh. you just really don't care. Because it's like movie walking where they, it's more so important that they get the conversation going when literally the fate of the multiverse is hanging over their head. Yeah. Also, just to remind everybody, a monster could spawn on top of them at any moment. They are aware yeah. of this. But it's exposition time. Yeah. Oh. Oh, very much so. Because, uh, slow things down. Next up, they visit the memory store. No! <laughs> they, 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 they stumble across the memory store. Yeah, that's, that's true. Good correction. Is, they is stumble it called, across it. Oh. What's it actually called? It's called, memory, it's called memory Lane. Memory yeah, Lane. Memory okay. Lane. All right. and Did you guys ever of... see Overdrawn at the Memory Bank? No. no. All right, then. Carry on. Uh, I mean... <sighs> <laughs> what, what can what can be said about this other than you had a problem to solve as a writer, which is to let us be aware of two core memories, one for each character, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, this this was how you okay. solved the problem. Quick reminder: this is the writer of Fan Four Stick and Loki who wrote this movie that everybody's calling <laughs> a fucking masterpiece right now. Did he write yeah. Fan Four Stick? I didn't know that. Yeah, Fan Four Stick and Loki, two uh, titans of the industry. Gums. Those those films. Yeah. Yeah. Highly respected. So, uh, Michael Waltron. Yeah, this is just, you know, if if we if I was like reviewing some of Fringy's writing work and he had this happen, <laughs> I would immediately be like, Don't you think that's a little lazy? Like you just you want us well, to I'm see their memory so they walk into the memory don't store. Don't you think this is terrible and I don't want to be friends with you anymore? <laughs> <laughs> like, even, like, yeah, even with this terrible idea, make it funny, have somebody walk by and they're like banging their wife this or something. Like, well, you know, I mean, it, this, is, this is like a Rick and Morty joke. Yeah, that they it is. Universe, stumble across memory lane. You'd have Rick would be like, well, I, I, "How is this legal? You're, this is that's that's my memories." <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, exactly. Everyone exactly. can see him now. Oh God! Oh, not that one. <laughs> yeah, because everybody uh, everybody can see them. Could you imagine? Like that, that seems like oh, oh, yeah, it's terrible. terrible. You this it's a complete. The, the, I guess that means that they just have some kind of contract with the country, like the government, that you could just do this. Like, uh, and the alert. This this universe is meant to be like. Not an awful horror universe, right? <laughs> like, no, it's to be like utopian. not convinced. Yeah, it's got yeah. flowers on the buildings. Everything's very chill and happy, and they've won the day, oh, and everything's oh, normal. The sky, the sky yeah. is gay. Also, and... why would I go inside to buy the memories if I can just use the one outside that tells I me get... I get it half off? You get one for free affordable? outside, maybe? Is that how that works? Yeah, you, we can give you a taste of what is to come. Oh yeah, and then it so... just shows me. It just shows me one of the most horrific memories I have that traumatized me. <laughs> well, like, back yeah, in Nam. that's like good advertising. It said and it shows like, you. I don't think I'm gonna come back. <laughs> it said it shows you significant memories. So it's like so oh, traumatic great. ones are definitely on the table, especially oh, oh, what yeah, America yeah. sees. I don't wanna. Like, well, why would you do that? Like it's it's. Oh, like, yeah. Imagine like like you're a really really big fat person and you walk past, you didn't realize you stood on it and they just have a memory of you sitting like naked on a bed eating a tub of mayonnaise. It's like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. this, this is what I needed. I, uh, <laughs> Some mayonnaise. I like to think it auto prints onto t-shirts and mugs as well so people just <laughs> are buying your memories while you're accidentally <laughs> experiencing them. There, there has to be people who just for fun time, they go in front of that store and sit on a bench and just watch other people's random traumatic memories <laughs> play. Yeah. The new well, form of people watching. That? It's a so, I mean, That's essentially what how this show is, is we watch exactly our random... Do well, how, do, how does the memory lane store identify what memories, and why are they presented so vividly, you know? like Vividly and from an are... angle that's impossible. 
because well, from uh, very cinematic angles. You yeah. Know, like. <laughs> well, it's, it's simple, Fringy. It's because uh, Cortana runs the store. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, that's. I a even understood that one. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that next week. We'll talk about that next week. I think the funny thing is, not only is it impossible angles, they keep changing, like zooming in they and do. moving around. It's yeah. like how? How is it's how? Like, the AI the running the store has a flair for cinematography. <laughs> ah, yes. And then we get this white shot of the parents getting sucked through the wormhole. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see your, want to see your mom's get sucked shit. through the interdimensional vortex it's wormhole in 4K? Hey, it was the bee's memory. Yes. That would make it more sense, yeah. And it would be oh traumatic for the bee, yeah. It becomes incredibly transparent because you're just like, oh, you want me to know the Doctor Strange cares about Christine? Yeah, I know. I know that that's yeah, going to be the relevance to the story. You could have achieved that with subtext. You could have um, had her just be like, you were with Christine in that universe. Where is she in this one? Yeah. No memory uh, lane. You know, but no memory lane, yeah. And then you, uh, and it's, it's like, like, oh, how can I possibly have America talk about the first time she experienced use of her portals? That's, that's, I don't know how to do that other than the memory store. And it's like, maybe yes. Doctor Strange could ask <laughs> her. A memory store. <laughs> Just, Imagine and, being in the writing room and that's what they say. It's like, I, I don't know how to do this other than a memory store. And they're like, well, I, I, I think that could have been a whole part of the whole, like, why are you here, kid, that they yeah. did at the beginning of the movie. Yeah, this is... She avoids talking options. about it at first until they get closer and he breaks down some of the walls on both sides and then they reveal some extra, you know, personal things. And talk about Spider-Man. You do have opportunities for subs. Yeah, because, like, if you can be like, well, where's the Christine in your world? Or it's like, oh, I was, I was at a wedding. It's like, it's like, what, your wedding? It's like, no, 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 no. Like, should get married to someone else. It's like, oh, you know? It's like, just, I don't know, just work with it. Like, have a conversation. So easy memory store. compared to the memory store. I feel like the memory store is so. Don't do flashbacks. It's like right. This isn't a flashback though. It's like no. It's worse. It's, it's worse. worse. <laughs> um. Yeah, because it could have been that it's one of his dreams that he has at some point in the film when he's asleep, and he's that's it. Mm -hmm. Simple as that to contextualize it that way. But no memory store. Um. Uh. So yeah. Uh. America's one is that she sent her parents through a portal and then herself. And she's never seen them again, and so she's been multiverse traveling, like since she was like five. And she's been to like seven, like seventy-two. That's what said? she said. Yeah, yeah. Which would lead me to believe that she's really stupid because she never got to go through it to any like school or in I think we're dealing from anyone with an Elizabeth situation here. Like her personality doesn't match yeah. what we understand to be her history. Mm -hmm. She's a fun, quirky person who's just having a great old time, and she's really smart, and she's always right because she has the pin, and that's just it. There's no <laughs> real actual issue with her being in that situation for her whole life, yeah. I didn't feel it. I don't know if you guys did. Very like, well adjusted. Imagine her just mm. being a much more just distrusting, socially sort of, uh, I don't even put it like... Stunted? Like, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean... I mean, shouldn't that tie in to her arc? If she's been, especially if we're going to have a, have the percent, like if she feels like she got betrayed in the opening, then it feels like it would lean more into that arc that she really doesn't trust anybody because she can't trust anything, right? Because she, she's traveled through all these universes where nothing like, it's, it's really difficult to grasp like what makes sense and why people would act a certain way. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense that she would become super shut off from the world. Mm -hmm. Don't get too attached, right? Because you're probably not going to be here forever. Oh man, you got like all these opportunities. Like, yeah, and, and, and it it almost writes up. itself. And the, yeah. the trepidation she would have at every like even opening of a door or arrival into a will because she can know how f how bad it can get. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but no. but it's like it, it's it's you kind of want to dip your toes into like having a character who has a history that's really sad, but you don't want to fully commit to the consequences, which is that person's just not going to act the same way as everybody else. Yeah, feel sorry for me, but without any of the pesky weight that such a circumstance would actually entail. Well, the film kind of doesn't have the time to meaningfully explore any of those. Like, they don't want people to get too sad or, like, too upset about, like... Because, cause, I don't know, like, why wouldn't you tell the story of how she basically had her childhood stolen from her by, like, nobody except herself? And, the, like, that she's actually really upset about that. I could totally see them... Back, like, being like, oh, that's too dour compared to what they already have in this film. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, yeah. So, 
they move right along until they discover that statue of, of Doctor Strange, and it says that he saved the world from Thanos, but he died in the process, and it's like, hmm. So who mm -hmm. is uh, Sorcerer Supreme, I wonder? You might think Wong, but no. It's Mordo! Yeah. Remember bum, bum, him? Bum. He's back <laughs> in Mordo form. I did not remember him. <laughs> well, that's the thing, I don't think many people will, but uh, yeah. the funny part to this is that is this like all but confirmed that there's a deleted scene with him, our Mordo, yeah, if you will? So so the the yes. leak was the leak that got most of this film right. Mordo was meant to get decapitated by Wanda at the beginning of the movie. That would be um, our Mordo. The, the, yeah, the the MCU Mordo. But I guess they decided they might want to bring him back uh, mm. later on, so they cut that and out. Right on the heels of fucking YMS's video about Lion King, Juatel <sighs> Ejiofor is a fucking great actor, and yet once again he does fuck all. It would have been a really good doctor. doctor. He could have like he could have been an amazing Mordo, but the character I am for Mordo yep. sucks. Like mm -hmm. he's kind of just a like petty, annoying little bitch. Which is <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, it, they always waste him. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't you got get a great it. actor. You got a great actor. And, it's almost and, like, like we just have him. It's fine. But, we won. We got him. He's yeah. in the movie. Well, moving on. I, I just it's a common problem with the MCU, which is that the actors get let down by the writing. Mm -hmm. I, it's pretty rare get an actor where you're like you're actually pretty bad at this like they're all they're all like pretty good actors some mm. of them are fantastic and it's like but the material yeah yeah what was that would you clap no i i, I put my hand down on my leg oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a clap for, for, for badness it's good a job, clap. badness it's a multi-clap of madness oh boy so what's interesting here is he says that uh, Mordo uh, introduced me to all the, the, the sorcerer shit, and then she's like, oh, that's, that's good then, and he's like, and he's been trying to kill me for the past however long, and she's like, oh, that's less good. And I was just sitting there like, uh -huh. wait, kill you? Wasn't, it, wasn't he, his whole thing was taking powers from people. Um, wasn't killing them. I didn't realize that had happened, and of course, without that scene to contextualize our Mordo, in the beginning of this film, that with that one being gone, I'm guessing that would have given us at least somewhat of a primer for how he got to where he is. Because at the end of Doctor Strange, he says... He's basically... I don't even think it's particularly well done, but his idea is basically there's too much power given to too many people who are reckless with it. And so I've decided that I will be the one to take it away from them and be responsible with it. He feels that Doctor Strange violated the natural law when he used the Time Stone to save the universe. <laughs> um, uh, it's like hmm. I can't. I can. I understand what you're saying, but at the same time, did you want the dark dimension to swallow everyone? Is that what you're saying? I don't understand. Like, is you know, I think that was a weaker part. However, he wasn't going. He didn't want to. He doesn't want to kill people. He's like a good person, quote unquote. With the he's gone crazy with the whole take everyone's powers away because they're all reckless. I like I like the idea of him going after Scarlet Wish. I feel like that's that lines up. Um, Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But Doc Strange saying like he's been trying to kill me for a while. I was just like, damn, I had no idea that was happening, and none of us did, considering um, well, you've been gone for five years, and then we just haven't had any mention of Mordo at all since the movie. Yeah. But okay. I mean, um, things just stop existing until they're useful again for a story. That's kind of the MCU now. And yep. then you remind yourself, whatever knowledge you have of Mordo is actually kind of useless, um, because this is a different universe and anything could have happened. He could be a completely different person, in a sense. But at the same time, you should probably be worried about everybody. Who knows who the good guys and bad guys are? Yep. So... Very trusting in this part. They're like, yeah. oh, sure. Frustratingly. He's like, things are cool. Let's go in. I'm going to tell you everything. Because they've established like that um, they believe, like, hmm, Mordo tried to kill me in the other universe. Better be careful with this guy. Oh, what's that? Tea? Thank you. Oh. Give me a hug. Oh, it's all good. Uh, which, yeah, I've, I found really fucking annoying. And I, I, in the cinema, I was like, that better not be drugged because I fucking hate it when they do that with characters who are much too oh, smart so to fall for that shit. Yes. You don't mm -hmm. have a look for poison spell, or well, oh, like, remember how he turns it's even worse, water yeah. to wine. You could, you could probably just neutralize oh, it with right. 
Not only yeah. is he, he fully aware of all of this, he recognizes like the spell. He looks over and he sees yeah. the pot that made it. It's like what the you you put the, the very poison juice in pot, the room. I might add. <laughs> <laughs> the conspicuous glowing jar of the flumps. Why would it be the in the tea? room? Like, like oh no, skulls <laughs> flying out. It was it. so conspicuous. <laughs> it's just like laying there and like. I, it's something of the something of sand, he says. It's like a spell. Something of sands of something. Um, we, yeah. we she later references it, uh, Christine, as what designed the bracelet things. We'll get to that. Um, so it's like a well-known quantity that can subdue people if they drink it, as well as subdue magic in general. It's like you knew all of this. You knew not to trust him, and you drank the tea straight away. Cool. <laughs> Good job. Nice. I'm, I'm just reminded. Be... Of a scene from Heavy Rain, where they, where where you are um, in a position where you can refuse obviously drugged tea, and they swap what button um, you would press to say no. So you, most people accidentally say yes to the drug tea. The fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I I don't know what to say about um, America could very well have activated her powers the second she realized she was drugged. I'm not saying that in terms of uh, her purposely doing it. I'm saying that was a fucking risk that she could have like panicked and then opened one up and Mordo would be fucked. There does seem to be that um, element, which I thought they were going to play into with the movie, of her portal seemed to open up whenever she gets like super startled or surprised or mm -hmm. is in peril, feels, feels she's yeah. in peril. So I... Which isn't the case, I guess. They never oh. do it. It's just well, really a couple coincidental times. for plot reasons. Yeah. Yep. It was, when, when the plot can't handle the fact that she could go somewhere else, it's like, no, we need you to stay here. And like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he's knocked out, and it's like, damn, guys, you've done terribly. It's, it, it, the fate of the multiverse is on your shoulders, and you just don't <laughs> fucking, like, this is your performance. Where are the real heroes? I don't yep. want to die. Um, then we got the uh, the horror scene, the spooky scene where, where Wanda takes over this universe, Wanda, and for the first time, we can talk about, at least with this one, the luck factor of the universe, and I don't even know if I can call this a luck factor, I'll explain that in a second. The universe uh -huh. that um, Doctor Strange and America are currently in is just one of infinite, right? And mm -hmm. everything changes when you enter these universes, all the variables can be altered, you never know what you're getting. Wanda needs to chase them, and she's going to do that by dreamwalking into herself in that universe. So, mm -hmm. imagine there was no Wanda in this universe. Mm -hmm. Which is perfectly viable, there's no reason why that wouldn't have happened. But then also, imagine the she Doctor was Strange there, the but she had no yeah. powers. Mm -hmm. Which, which is perfectly too. viable too. And then, what if she well, was there, she did have her powers, but her husband, Vision, was there as well. He mm -hmm. would be like, what you doing, honey? Mm -hmm. Like oh, I'm just gonna go kill. I'm just gonna go <laughs> talk to the Illuminati. What if um, um, what if the Wanda was there, but she still lived in like Europe or something? Is she just gonna fly across the Atlantic Ocean to New York to go fight him? Take Which is time. Time. By, by the way, she Fly. flies slow. She does well because isn't isn't because it it looks like the Westview House, and that was in New Jersey, right? So like. It's probably still going to take you a while to get to New York, like especially when you're not flying at like the speed of a like a car, you know. <laughs> like, well, yeah, and and this is this is the reality. It would have been incredibly lucky for her to be within flying distance just, of the Illuminati, wouldn't it? I just want to really? say that the phrase "flying at the speed of a car" amuses me. So <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, all those things are all. Really lucky, but like the kind of luck we're talking about here, I was gonna use the word astronomical, but I don't even know that that's uh, applicable. Like, inconceivable. It's, it's inconceivable luck. Yeah, the luck that is on display here is it's the ma it's the top it's max luck. It is the most lucky you could ever be in any story ever. I don't know how you could be more lucky. I don't know how you could design a situation where you could have more luck than you do in this movie. Because remember, you know, I initially gave this. It's infinite for film. everything that could happen. Yeah, I initially gave this film more of uh, the benefit of the doubt than it deserved because I thought what was happening initially is that she was inhabiting a normal wonder, but the dream uh, walking process allowed her to access her I main can't. universe powers. But then we see later that um, the wonder of that universe does have powers. So yes, she she did get lucky enough to find a wonder with powers. 
and I guess um, it's almost jumping ahead a little bit, but like this alternate version of Wanda doesn't appear to be as powerful as like the main Wanda, but like no. she can still beat all of the Illuminati. So like, yes, it's lucky mm -hmm. that Wanda had like yeah powers to begin with. Which, given mm -hmm. that she seems to be living a normal life and is like not active superhero, presumably, I don't know. Like it's it's kind of it's like wow. that's lucky. Um, she isn't too concerned about the Illuminati afterwards or anything. Oh, other oh we'll talk about it. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. So, now, um, and how did she find her? How did she find? Like, how does she know America Chavez has these powers? How does she know where she is throughout the entire multiverse? We're supposed to believe it's the Darkhold that does all that. Oh, yeah. okay. she can. That's actually because the, it's what fucking annoyed me when uh, America Chavez was like, "Wow, Doctor Strange, you just told them where I am." Like the the Scarlet Witch, and it's like, "Well, no, she always knows where you are. She's been chasing you for ages. That's what you told us." Like, are you, are you dumb? Also, I drink here. Oh, hello, hello, everyone. Hello. You seem hello. to be here a little bit early, or are yeah, you? Yeah, get out. Uh, I don't know. Am I early? Am I late? I don't know. That's fine either way. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. At an appropriate time. Um, it, it's not like I got completely mixed up about what time my other live stream was meant to be happening. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, wait. So how long have we got you for? Uh, you got me for the next two and a bit hours. Sweet. All right. Do my best to be entertaining. Okay. Next time. I'll, I'll do my best to get us to the because it's we're almost to the big scene. All right, we're nearly there. Oh. There's so many big scenes. In oh this yes. Movie. <laughs> um, so we we cut to Wong being trapped with with binds and this random sorcerer is like, oh hey Wong, and he's like, oh man, you you survived, which immediately is just like, wait, so Wanda didn't check to see like, who's awake yeah. and not a, alive oh. and stuff. <laughs> like, also Wanda didn't kill Wong for some reason and just bound him there instead. The only like argument you could probably make is else. that she wants to keep him alive just in case. Yeah. I don't really stop Asian leverage for I'm... strange if they come back. Or he, he is, yeah, he is. This, a good this hostage. woman is, this woman is pretty big on contingencies. To be fair, like she wants to get America Chavez's power to hop across universes just in case her kids happen to get sick with some, <laughs> like fictional disease that she can't cure in the existing universe. So man, oh, yeah. She, yeah, she likes to she likes to cover all the bases. I'll um. Uh, he's he's good for leverage against Doctor Strange as well, so I'm okay with that one. I'm not okay he's with her. He's just a fun guy to be around, you know. <laughs> like that is true, yeah. She's That's setting up her base it, camp yeah. spells right next to a, a a world where she has to go like unconscious, well, not really unconscious, but unable to see or hear stuff in the real world while she's doing all that shit, surrounded by people who are very likely not dead. Um, which makes you wonder if uh, if she just ran up to her, Wanda herself and stabbed her in the center of the fucking head, like, would she just die? Mm -hmm. I assume so, right? Like, knives in the head is normally a, quite the weakness I mean, for people. Yeah, like, she's not, um, she doesn't have, like, superhuman endurance or anything like that. Not like, she's still well, just got a regular old does. human body. You can walk up behind her and shoot her in the back of the head. She'd die. And that's what makes it a lot more interesting than just making her... Like fucking Superman, is, but more this powerful. Is, seems to be yeah, because then what I said before is like, why can't you just open a fucking portal directly above her head that's like inside a volcano or something and yep. just pours like lava onto her? It's like instant death. Dude, they cannot account for the portals and they never will. <laughs> they, they don't want to. <laughs> I'm putting the Marianas yeah. Trench. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good old space. Try that one. But, uh... I don't know if you could put her in the Marianas Trench with portals. Well, I'd wonder what it, would... I wouldn't want to risk that or opening because, one to space. Um, yeah, because if you put one into... If you put one in the trench, you wouldn't be able to get her in the portal because the water would be shooting out of it at an insane pressure. True. Yeah, and that's good point. I don't know how the space... And I, yeah. well, and I was well, say, she would, in theory, get sucked, get sucked into, into space. space. Yeah. I don't know what it would yeah, do. Be for like, so you don't as well. I don't know what it would do for the rules of pressure and stuff doing that like that's a that just seems like a risky event to do i would rather just put her on titan just drop her on titan let her stay there <laughs> fuck her <laughs> like she can she can rot on titan is is there a distance limitation to these portals no nope. can they just no. nope and nope. end game Endgame confirmed no. that <laughs> so, yeah. oh yeah remember you I'll can say... you can move portals that is true um and you can I'll say the Marianas Trench Portal would be an incredibly strong weapon, though. You just make a hole, and then it just 
just you just get bottom of the ocean pressure coming out at you in a hose. This insane oh, yeah. jet of water blasting out. What Dude, if you open a portal? Really and, remember how big they can make holes like, too. What if you opened one like halfway through her, and it just like chopped oh, her in half? You, it should kill her. There's no reason why it wouldn't. Yep. But oh well. Powers are, the the, the portals are really good. Yes, the <laughs> portals are trying excellent. to say very useful. really useful. Very handy. And they uh, also confirmed to us in wait, was it in Endgame or Infinity War Infinity where War. he cuts off someone's yeah. hand? Yeah, yeah that was Infinity War. Yeah, I have made with those portals. And yeah, they yeah, never should have like, shown oh, us that. <laughs> shouldn't have not shown us that one. No. <laughs> That's how Wong beats the abomination in Shang Chi. He uses portal against he his uses own fist. Portal to punch him in his face. Yeah, yeah. that's mm. what. Another well, good. Nah. I mean, that's more fun than anything they do in the old Bruce movie. Campbell. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this lady's uh, awake and she's like, uh, "Oh, Wong says you got to free me so I can destroy the book." And then she's like, "You can't destroy it." And it's because we find out that destroying the Darkhold kills the person who destroys it. It's some kind of weird curse-related thing, I guess. I don't know, but mm -hmm. um. I thought I, it was funny. I can buy it. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm mostly fine with that as an, a rule that's been thrown on. I um, Scary? Yeah. yeah. I find it funny that we establish this like, let me down so that I can destroy the book, and then she's like, No, I will destroy it. And it's like, okay, but you could still let, let me, me down. down. Let me down. Because <laughs> 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 like, like surely as the moment Wanda sees this happen, she's going to be extremely unhappy. So yep. I should like I should have the ability to defend myself at least. I just yeah. it's it's fucking hilarious to me. It's, it's just like he's fucked now, but all right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> left and then al I've left Wong alone in this room with a very angry sorcerer lady. <laughs> Good luck with that, Wong. Uh, yeah, buddy. I'm out. Bye. But yeah, it's also it just it's seemed ridiculous to me and many others that the dark hole can be destroyed by your average knife, like. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, we, we we talked about this before. It's like yeah, surely at least it should need like a really powerful spell or something to destroy it. Like considering how dangerous yeah. it is, enchanted no blade, special maybe special enchanted yeah. blade. Yeah, yeah, no basilisk fang, bone. no nothing, just a knife. And as we talked about earlier, it seems to take more damage than an actual book when getting stabbed. <laughs> like Absolutely, normal books can take yeah. a knife. <laughs> they really can. If you stab the normal book, it, it's actually kind of fine. You can still read it just mm. fine. But this yeah. one is it's, like... it's, well, a, a, a thick, solid it's, book. It's like trying to stab a knife through a block of wood. Yeah. Basically, it's it the same density. So yeah. So the dark very... hole is weaker than just a regular book. It's, dude, it's weaker <laughs> than a pamphlet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it kind of yeah. So it's implied to be like a living thing, I guess. And stabbing this is just like putting a blade yeah. through its heart. Yeah. yeah. And then like we got the scene where are uh, you meant to feel bad for like Wanda? Like, oh no, you like getting kicked out of that universe. You know, like that yeah. that shot yeah, she, where it's cut. Yeah. You know, I like I, I. It's like yes, the good Wanda is freed from your influence. That's, <laughs> That's good. good. We're all very happy that this has happened, but then, yeah, uh, immediately after that, so, like, like in, a, in a sense, it's like, oh, isn't this sad for you? Like, hmm, starts just torturing some people, you know, yeah, as you do. Torturing and, in order um, to extract information from Wong, poor Wong there, just, like, having a really bad oh, day. I wish it I could say poor bad. Wong, but, uh, he I brings a lot of this shit onto, onto himself. I fucking hate the line here where, like, you're Wong, you ain't said nothing. She boops you across the floor. You've seen her Darkhold get destroyed, and she's like, the Darkhold can't be the only thing in the world. You're the Sorcerer Supreme. Tell me stuff. So she's basically shot in the dark. Please tell me yep. there's more than yep. one, yeah. you know. Yeah, I'm this, yeah. So the means of accessing its magic. Wong's supposed so to be relatively intelligent. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, <laughs> like, into the many. Right. And wait so, to show them out. Show, show us. Consent, just lie. Well, you, you there, have the dialogue so tree. Many... Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many lies you could tell her, like, oh, you know, yes, there is another copy. It's stored at Avengers HQ. You're going to have to go there. Hope yep, nothing yep. bad happens to you it's, along the mm -hmm. way. That's, that's a <laughs> fucking great example of a lie you could tell. He could also, crazy idea, say, what do you, that's, that's it. That's the dark hole. That's, that's it. Destroyed. That's the thing. That's I it. Can't. It's <laughs> gone now. Do you and want, it's it, gone you want a dream walk multiverses. when that is literally the book for that? That is it. You, I can't help you. What do you mean? But instead, because he's a fucking idiot, he says, I'll die before I talk. <laughs> it's like, you idiot! You've just confirmed there's something to say! Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah, she had nothing, but he says that, and so, ah, oh, sweet. Um, yeah, and, and, and it takes her a second. She just threatens, well, I say threatens to torture. She just does torture does. a bunch of she sorcerers. Does, yeah. And they're screaming their heads off. 
um, she'll probably be a hero again in the next movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. in that scene, I thought she somehow resurrected a bunch of dead bodies and then started torturing them. <laughs> yeah. But instead, they were just laying there. They were all playing like, dead. Oh, guys, don't move. <laughs> she, she'll go away eventually. Go away. <laughs> she's a bit conspicuous. You're like a giant green bull. I was like, no, 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 no. I'm dead. I'm dead. She'll I'm never dead. notice me. <laughs> Make dead noises. <laughs> uh, just just laying on the ground going, <laughs> eh. <laughs> so easy was lame. I thought the Sorcerer Supreme was supposed to make the tough decisions. I'm yeah. sure they signed an NDA or something before they got the comitage. Like, hey, if a dark witch comes for the dark hold and like hold you hostage, you're gonna die. It I was guess, yeah, the if, if the multiverse is at stake, sorry. Yeah. It was it was established so. that this will cost the multiverse. He knows that. Are they, just, like, are they just trying to show that like Wong is different from Strange and that he'll he he's not as willing to make those trades? I think that needs to be addressed at some point though. Mm. Well yeah, because Especially the problem because is they'll die the anyway. Too high. The stakes are way too high. Like, yeah. I wouldn't even mind like a scene from one of those tortured sorcerers being like, You fucked up. And like later right. you know, once this is all over and he can be like, What do you mean? It's like you fucked up. I don't care that you or saved my life. Try. No, or, like, he refuses to say anything, you know, like, he, he does what you suggest, and he's like, nope, there's nothing I can tell you, like, there's, that's the only copy, and it's destroyed now, sorry. And then she starts torturing them, and one of them lets slip that there's something else, and that's what gives the game away. You could have it be the one mm -hmm. that says he's lying. Yeah. Yeah. That could, that could do it, that could fix it. Do you, like, write stuff, me. Drinker, or is that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's what I, heard. I don't know. Also, um, oh, they wouldn't even know, right? Well, you, I think we can allow that. The, they don't know anything beyond the fact that the Darkhold is something that was copied from somewhere. That's all they know. Yeah, or they could have heard rumors or something. Like, there's, there's plenty of ways you could work it in and have it not compromise. Yeah, like the security of Mount Wen Wentacor. What was it called? Wen was it Wentacor? Because um, did Doctor Strange even know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he knows anymore. <laughs> I guess it's also worth noting, by the way, the Dark Hole doesn't exist anymore, so the influence of the Dark Hole is ceasing at this point, or unless it's permanent, yeah, in I which case there's no that, hope for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, she does some of the worst. She, she it does. Does it matter? Like the Dark Hole being there or not made no difference to her fucking personality. So, mm -mm. um, yeah, yeah, she was already a monster in one division, and that was before she even got her hands on it. Yep. Yeah. So Wong um, tells her that the book was copied from some temple on the top of like a mountain. Again, he could have lied. Literally, he could have literally said it was at the top of Mount Everest just to delay them. And then he could have said, "Sorry, I can't portal up to the peak of Mount Everest because my stupid." I can't believe she just takes that as true. His rule about the sorcerers can't go anywhere closer to it. Like, could he just say like, at the go to the base of the fucking mountain, be like, "We can't trespass on here with magic. It doesn't let me." So then she has mm -hmm. to fly them all the way up the mountain. It's like, th he just didn't do anything that, that could have delayed her. It's almost like he wants the world to fucking end. <laughs> it's like a, it also this. bugs me a, um, a thing about, he just says, like, it's up on this mountain, and then they're just there. Like, he yeah. knows like, exactly where it is, where this one peak is. I mean, might it have been worthwhile for him to actually just open a portal to the bottom of the ocean to try and, like, you know, distract her a bit so that he could, like, escape, or... I know, know it's grim, anything? but, um... Probably should have killed himself. Should have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. he knows that he can't. No tales. Because uh, there are payoffs like that in a couple of, uh, I guess, darker movies where someone is being used for um, information. Actually, that's just reminded me. I don't know if anyone here has seen it. Is Guardians it... of the Galaxy. That happens in Guardians of the Galaxy. It not that one of the assistants of the collector guy? Oh yeah, well she's she's yeah. just trying to escape being a slave, but I think that's fair. Yeah, you can definitely reference something like that. I was and more what, so going what with that. What that does um, as a result is it like ends up like freeing everybody. In uh, there's a film called Unthinkable. I don't know if anyone's heard or seen of it. It's um, nope. It's a film about uh, a terrorist is captured and Samuel Jackson yeah. is brought in to um, interrogate him. And eventually they're like, because he's threatening to blow up schools, uh, and he's got bombs ready, and so Samuel Jackson gets told, there's no limits, do whatever you want. And the film, he goes really far, uh, to the kind of lengths that we would all be like, Jesus Christ, you can't do that, uh, that go well beyond the person. Um, it's, uh, it's Michael Sheen is, is, the, is the terrorist in that, and yeah. um, 
let's just say, I guess this is kind of spoilery, but I want to make a point here. So the I, I don't know if the film is that great, uh, so don't worry about it too much in that way. But he um, he pushes him to such a degree that uh, things happen to, in the third act where he gets a hold of a gun and um, he threatens to point it at several people and then he just shoots himself. Because it's like, that's the surefire way of making it so that no more information comes out. Again, um, mm -hmm. it would be grim to portray that, but you've kind of put yourself in a corner. This with movie does it. This yeah. movie's ready to go grim, so it's, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, that yeah too. And you could even, well, yeah, you could have him at least try to end his own life, and then she she uses her sorcery to prevent it. Again, you I mean, show him taking, like, smart, logical steps. It's like, I've exhausted every other option, I'm just going to have to kill myself, and then, you know. You know she stops when him. she stops him then we we establish that that's something wong's character will do in these circumstances mm -hmm. which is good for him to, but you don't actually commit to him being dead like the mc because in, in infinity war gamora tries this when she realizes that um because gamora is like a hero um like gamora tries to make that trade on on um on vormir when she realizes what Thanos is going to do. Oh, you're right. Yeah, she tries to kill herself. To... Mm. Kill her. uh, and Gamora someone in chat because, just yeah. reminded me as well. Remember the Nazi that kills himself in Captain America? Hmm? To stop, uh, well. <laughs> to stop yeah. the interrogation. It's it's one to one because he he would have information on Hydra and stuff. So it's just like, yeah, this is something that they've actually done before. Um, but obviously we can't do that to Wong because he's too important. Well, because we're gonna have Wong around and like show up in a bunch of different projects in the future. I dude, I would assume Wong. he's got like complete plot armor. There's there's nothing that would kill Wong at this point. Uh, I think he's yeah. Um, well, he's I certainly think... immune to fall damage. <laughs> yes. <Hey>, well, well. <laughs> so jump too far ahead. Um. Yeah. Good yeah, references. We... I didn't even think of those. And also, Wanda can do like these. I don't know. Control tisms. That she does later on to to America, mm -hmm. so she could just use that here after Wong tries to kill himself or whatever. Yeah, yeah there, are ways, like, there are ways. Like oogly boogly, make yeah. open the portal to wherever we need to go. It's like okay. Well, and that's kind of Do the first thing. Um, we'll we'll get there in terms of she provides him a sling ring, and it's like oh god, I hate that he has <laughs> that. It's such a good weapon, but he'll never yeah. use it as a weapon. Uh... So we wake up. In the Illuminati facility, Doctor Strange realizing mm. he's got some funky bracelets on that mean he's, he can't use any of his abilities. Um, presumably, that means America can't open portals or use her magical punches. Um, because why else would she be wearing those? I say, I say this because that'll be mm -hmm. relevant later. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, they don't, again, act with much urgency. Doc Strange first wants to talk to Christine, the equivalent in this universe, about, like, how... Just, 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 what's, what's up? And who are we to each other in this world? And blah, blah, Instead of, like, guys, you need to get us out of here right now. We've got a fucking squid monster on the way. Or, as, as scary as it sounds, literal witch is gonna come in here and kill everybody. He takes a while to get that part out, and he's mostly being snarky. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which, again, it just right. comes across as strange for him. Uh, I would see him more as getting more and more angry, not snarky, like yeah. frustrated. I could maybe see Iron Man doing it, but like Doctor Strange to me has always been someone seemingly that's like when the world is actually at stake, he gets very serious. Yeah, I mean that's like Infinity War was the classic example. Like he was super focused on on the end game of what they needed to achieve. Um, yeah. and that's that's kind of what you should be facing here. This is in in most ways like even more severe. This is a threat to the entire fabric of reality across every multiverse yep. it's like the stakes just can't possibly get any bigger than this and mm -hmm. yeah he's just kind of goofing around and swapping hey, banter who are you to me here or how was i to you or whatever i want to talk about the relationship he's already explained right. it to mordo it's like yeah so Might as well try <laughs> like you can... someone else who's more receptive if, yeah, and she she's in a position to free him, so he absolutely should just try and win her over as quickly as possible. It should be you know, all he's I, saying, because it's, it's literally the most important anything? thing ever. Why is she saying anything? He's a prisoner from another universe. They don't know anything. They're trying to say, like, she's like, oh, all right, I'll tell you some stuff. I would just not say anything. Well, it's weird, yeah, because she has this weird mirror, middle ground where she's, like, toying with him. She's like, I don't I don't even yeah. want to know, like, about you and us from your universe. Like, don't you want to know everything or nothing? Like, it's going to be one of those two, right? You want to know. Oh. He would have told Mordo, and Mordo would have told you, that he reckons 
that there's someone that's trying, chasing him, trying to kill him Mordo, across the multiverse. So why isn't she behaving as though that's believed, or is she so just going to lock him up and ignore him? Yeah. Um, and it looks like she's had experience with the multiverse before, seeing that she's mapped a bunch of it by herself, I guess. And what, if, what does it mean built... to be able to do that if you can't travel between multiverses? If, if America's the only person who can travel between multiverses, how do they, like, scientifically study and explore? Like, how do they... Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? How do they do that? I suppose I'm not saying the best when it's thing we can imagine is they don't. They've simply decided that this is what they will have as preparation if someone was to arrive. I I guess. I guess what I mean is, like, what does it mean to know that there's a universe called 616 and that yours is 83? It means you've cataloged universes that you... Can you observe them? Can you see what's in them? Oh, yeah, like, that's actually... Wow. They couldn't have cataloged more than literally that. Unless Doctor Strange, their Doctor Strange cataloged a couple. Why is their universe not Universe One? Just about <laughs> like, to ask that because <laughs> I would be like, "Oh, so we're one, of course, because it's us." Because we're the best. And we have two, three, four, yeah. five, six. Yeah, what is their what is their frame of reference for all these different universes? No idea. I guess it's, uh, it's Doctor Strange dream walked into them, possibly. What well, I was saying is, how did she yeah. catalog? Cataloged, or he she took up his work or something. He dream walked into her and wrote it down. Yeah, because I thought he did all that secretly. Um, he only told them once he caused an incursion, is what they say, right? Yeah, that's what they say. And, and so at that point, what information is he going to give you? It's like, I went to one that was paint, call that, you know, 131. It's like, why? Universe mm. P. We already or have a universe P. Everything's okay. urine. It's like, ah, oh, damn. Mm. Right. damn they wanted to hold off on the surprise. I mean, she, if she was so willing to talk, she could have said, well, we've got this uh, Omega level mutant that can read your mind. Uh, and. Uh, don't Everything. remind me of how much this oh, is badly wow. done. It's yeah, yes, you're so, right. Would you, what do you have <laughs> learned about yeah. Kang? Probably uh, Kang, uh, the, the, the second well, the Star Wars yeah, yeah. universe. She would, he would have known. He would have gone, ooh, that's different. I guess the sacred uh, timeline, like they would have known about that, right? It's also, uh, uh, I guess, to touch on it, right? It's the, the MC universe is 616, which is the comics you on, right? Like yes. 616 yes. is the main yes. comics continuity. So I guess they've decided to like lock the MCU out of being like directly in like a multiverse that it contains like, the, the comics main out? continuity. Yeah. They, they've kind of locked the comics out, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, it's kind of funny nice because stuff. the MCU is supposed to be in Earth 1999999 um, and now this Kind of contradicts us. The only way you can um, rectify, the only way you can reconcile that is if this is just the numbering system they happen that to be using in this universe, which while the actual number system is different. The one Mysterio said, and in, in yeah, which I was going to say, they made it up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's stupid. No matter what the actual explanation is, unfortunately, they never should have done it. They just, I don't know, why? Why can't you just give it its own name? Why can't it be one nine 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 nine? Universe Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. it was um, just a formality they already killed the comics but doing mm. it in this film maybe it's it's like halo maybe the the less they involve them the better <laughs> yeah. well i mean the halo show is called the silver timeline and the gold timeline is the game so it's like okay at least I mean, we've recognized least... it's less valuable well, they, thank yeah. you <laughs> I, I was gonna say yes but it does not deserve to be called the silver timeline Fucking yes it's like wow, the poop man, timeline yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. terrible uh you know, I was thinking about this, um, and with all of this um, miscategorization and everything with their relationship with the comics, I just realized that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, who have had, a, I think, at least a couple of multiverse events to this day, actually did it better than <laughs> Teenage Marvel Ninja Turtles. Did. I can believe it. The multiverse I can believe that. Me. I can absolutely believe that. Uh, because um, in both, because there was one with the 2003 series crossing over with the 80s series, and then there was one with the 2012 series crossing over with the 80s series, and in both of those crossovers, they established that the original comic book Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was the Turtle Prime universe. That's where everything Turtle Prime. From. Turtle Prime, I yeah. love it. <laughs> <laughs> but meme, I am did someone punch reality in their timeline? You know, I don't I so. remember someone punching reality, resulting um, in a bunch of resurrections and uh, shifts. <laughs> uh, I don't remember a reality getting punched in the uh, face. No, that's a, that's a shame. Um, yeah, the, the sh <laughs> <laughs> so. um, yes, I'm desperately trying to force a meme from yesterday. Shut up. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs>
Watch Metals Forge and find out how Jason Todd <laughs> got resurrected when Superboy Prime punched reality in the face. <laughs> Man, did you do that to reality? Uh, the oh, uh, we get show. we get back and forth with Strange and Christine about how they're just as fucking awkward in this universe as they are in every one of them. Nobody cares. And then he's like, "So what is this place? Hydra Shield?" And then Mordo's like, "Neither." And he's like, <gasps> Was, what is this well, place? Some sort of suicide squad? Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, and he's like, well, uh -huh. what then? He goes, the Illuminati. We'll see you now. And I chuckled in the cinema when I heard that. I <laughs> did. I was like, so they're evil, right? Yeah. <laughs> it is like, it just evokes the, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, why did you call them that? But it's set up as this like huge revelation. And ultimately, it just boils down to, yeah, it's just your version of the Avengers. Yeah, 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 okay, you got three members, but it's the same fucking principle. Well, apparently they have an Avengers be, yeah. as well, because they, they still describe Carter as the first Avenger. It only... It's, it's something that, like, has gravitas only on a meta level for people who know what the team is in the comics, because, like, to Doctor Strange it means nothing, right? It's, like, dramatic, but it doesn't really mean anything to him. Well, yeah, and they certainly... Anything, right? Most people aren't aware of the team in the comics. And they go with the good old fashioned undercutting with his response being the Aluma Wuddy. It's like, uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that yeah. big of a word, Doctor Strange. I think you'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were you smart. You used to be smart. You used to be, uh. Yeah. You used There's to enough be memes smart. around this. You should know. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, next up, Wong takes Scarlet Witch to the place. He, he literally does everything that she would want him to do to a T. He doesn't fuck up any of it. So cooperative. Yep, um, but they do establish that sorcerer magic doesn't fucking work within the um, the, the range of the temple, which is a really funny thing for them to establish because they just completely break it several times, like oh, yeah, minutes do. later. Yeah. I don't know why they even did that. I don't see the point. Um, well, but okay. Maybe don't <laughs> think about it. Maybe that was Wog's attempt. He was like, I know, I'll take her most of the way so that we're in fucking, we can see the location and then she'll be stuck. It's like, I can fly. And he's like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> At least she'll be far away, I guess. Also, um, yeah, like, I shouldn't have to imagine she, she... her getting on a plane. <laughs> yeah, like, shouldn't she just, like, fall out of the sky when she gets within range of, like, the, the magic dampening field? Oh, no, sorcerer magic. Magic, magic, uh, magic's yeah, fine. Is witchcraft. Witchcraft, They're very yeah. specific. This uh, isn't sorcery, this is witchcraft. This is witchcraft. <laughs> Um, that's, uh, that's another Rick and Morty joke where it's like, oh my god, it's sorcery He's like, no, no, Morty, it's, it's witchcraft it's different, <laughs> it's totally different, it's way worse yeah, <laughs> um, yeah and, and I, I people want me, wanted me to bring this up, I don't even I don't even know what to say, it's like, they're wearing a very normal amount of layers on like a peak of peaks, and, and it's obviously terror, it's just freezing completely freezing, it's like uh, it's a big open space. neither of them open. behave as though it's cold it's 72 I degrees. I hate this in movies. Yeah. Yes, it's super fucking freezing. I don't even know if you could breathe up here. It's exactly. so awful yeah. to be in. And everyone's like, ah, dee -dee -dee -dee, yeah. Wasn't there like, when you move from that <laughs> like altitude to that altitude instantly, isn't that supposed to do Depends. stuff to you? Um, well, I don't yeah. think it'll affect you. Um, it will uh, underwater, I'm but I don't think sure it will. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure well, it does. Your pressure is enough to do that. Yeah. 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 But yeah. like, why, do, why does this place exist? Like, what? why is it allowed to exist? <laughs> like, if if this is where the dark hold was copied from, right, and they got their copy, put it in the book, he, he and then did. they they guarded it. Why do you need the original temple? Because surely it's just a massive liability that someone's going to discover eventually, and it's going to give lots of really dangerous information to the wrong people. Like, couldn't you just arrange for it to be destroyed? I feel no. like in this universe, they often forget that it's like, why don't you just get like an AC-130 to like fly over it and just blow it up? Like, yeah, well, Wanda clearly <laughs> has a lot, big enough killer streak for it. I can explain yeah. this. This didn't exist before this movie. So. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, right. Right. made up. That's true. That's it. That's you can't blame yeah, the if, characters for if doing it. If it, it exists exist. and Wong knows that it exists, he should just be like, hey, US Army, can you like blow that place up? And they're like, what is it? It's Trust me, right? It's literally it's, evil. It's, it's just evil. It's, <laughs> it's, it's just it's, an it's, evil temple for <laughs> evil, horrible, terrible things. Just destroy it, please. It's like, oh, if you had the ability to drop a nuke on Sauron's fortress, like, <laughs> in Lord of the Rings, it's like that, basically. You just, you want to blow this thing up. Yes. Yep. Uh, 
and let's um speaking of the conditions there and let's not forget that these are the conditions that f that um the ancient one forced strange into to force him to open a portal um yep. and learn how to do that yeah yep. that's right yep. or else yep. die yep. up there you're right yeah fuck the They're first movie they don't care anymore that was that was that was like several was movies ago yeah well, just no mm -hmm. one remembers that no so, marvel fan yeah. is gonna remember that Something that often gets overlooked in like speculative fiction stories, but you need to account for just whether there's air that you can breathe and the temperature of places and the gravity of places. If we're talking about different planets, just and the wind in mind. Wind, just the wind, just the natural oxygen, element. cold. Not, not we everywhere. We hand wave gravity away all the time. Yeah, we don't even <laughs> want to think about gravity. <laughs> Everywhere is balmy, you know, like a comfortable 25 degrees Celsius. The real everywhere is like a movie set, oddly enough. Yeah. Well, how about that? Or green screen. screen. Where you yeah. can breathe comfortably. It's not like the Earth has very extreme climates and temperatures in extreme places. Just Here's just a remember. funny thought. Did Jimmy Neutron actually handle this better because they actually had an <laughs> explanation? <flew> <laughs> but but it's just off screen. But you just can't hear why they can breathe in space. But there is an explanation there. They, there it does exist in that universe. But this, they don't even bother with it. Why would they bother? That takes screen time. Fuck it. Uh, yeah. Jimmy Neutron wanted Idiot. to teach children about science, maybe. So they, I don't know. A more yeah. accurate way commonly accounts for like these sorts of things <laughs> it's like, i don't know so it turns out there's four big demony beasts that are just chilling out in this temple for been there for the, thousands of years they just yeah, wait for i guess and cards well, i don't know if because wong says when the first demons arrived in this world or something they inscribed their magic onto these walls and i was like is that them are those I Wow, I mean, they old. sound really, they sound really like intimidating and strong. I'm sure. Wow, I'm, yeah. I'm sure they're gonna be a big yeah. problem for yeah. our heroes later. Oh yeah. Oh well, when yeah, they, when they arrived, I was like, oh, we're getting a big fight scene with them then. I mean, well, yeah, of no, course. Nobody's happy with how the monsters in this film were like treated, though, right? Like everybody kind of <laughs> agrees that that was a waste. I can't. Uh, see, how could anyone categorize it any differently? Like, <laughs> it's that's all it is. Um, they're really shit. But we'll get there. They bow to Wanda because she is the, the Scarlet Witch. They've been waiting for her for eons. It's a prophesized whatever. She is the one. A jump scare. Ooh. Oh yeah, you get that Ooh. too. Um, but uh, as it was prophesied in uh, in the in the dark hold, she will. What was it? Either enslave or destroy the world. That's that's the the, yeah. the prophecy. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Which, which, by the way, is, is where the stakes come from, which is so bizarre that they don't mention that's how they know that. You have to have seen WandaVision. Yes. Wow. They yeah. mention it briefly, and Wanda mentions over and over again that that's not what I want. I just want my kids. And, I mean, she's believable in the movie. I'm, so I'm, we're going I don't think they say that, though, do they? Will... Like, they don't say that that's from the Darkhold. They just say that's what she wants, that, or that she may yeah. destroy Yeah, the they universe. don't say it's from the Darkhold. No, that's from WandaVision. That's, yeah, because uh, I... I feel I like if you haven't seen one vision, you might be like, "Whoa! Why did you assume she's going to destroy the whole universe? What the fuck?" Mm. Lots of assumptions in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> they make an ass out of the film and the film. Uh huh. And me for you, going to. Are see you it. implying <laughs> that watching one vision might have been an important thing to do before either watching this film or maybe even making it? Well, it's definitely uh, something that might get. Oh, especially well, like you're writing it, and directing this it. Film yeah. Basically made. Yeah. Just to sell Disney Plus subscriptions and get people to watch WandaVision. Yep. Uh, I, I don't understand why you wouldn't include that in the film. It's like, oh, I'm sure people watch the show. It's like, to be fair, Sam Raimi didn't even watch it. So, like, why, why would <laughs> like, <laughs> you... Know, you know what you don't need to watch? Doctor Strange 1. You don't need to no. watch that movie. <laughs> Not really, no. No. It might just get in the way. Um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, we cut back to the Illuminati, and Doc Strange is being delivered to their council <laughs> by Ultron. Nice nice to see old Ultron again. Yeah, doing whoa. Good Ultron now. He's, Except he's... all he does is he's just in just some lame Useless. robots. Yeah, yeah I, it's not like James I, Spader or anything. Yeah, yeah I, didn't, robot voice. I was expecting I like... to see, like, an Ultron that he presents himself as, as a singular, you know, like an Ultron. Well, I Instead, like it's I a... guess he's just some robots who are shit. It's non-binary with birthing hips, uh, Ultron. <laughs> hips of Ultron. Oh. <laughs> I think it was a complete waste that you, 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 every scene you can have interactions that are interesting. As they're dragging him to the council, you can just have, it doesn't have to be James Spader if you want to make it a different actor because you can't get him, that's totally fine. But just have them talk to him. Why not? 
It is a Ultron is a personality. Even if he's a good guy, he's gonna have one, presumably. No, mm -hmm. different universe. Absolutely. Not allowed. Um, yeah. Same. But anyway. It nice to see this version, because it would have been cool to see Ultron, but that's fine. Oh, whatever. It's whatever. They oh, knew the... about him? I guess that's the weird part. They knew enough about him to put him in, but they didn't put him in. Yeah. I assume it's only there to in. make you feel more like, ooh. Though, he walks into the room, and Mordo is introducing himself, and he interu the strange interrupts to say, your name is Carl? And then a shield gets thrown at him. Uh, bounce, yeah, bounce. Why? It goes to why? Captain Carter. Why, why would you I do that? This fucking <laughs> shield. I, I, I guess she's really pissed off um, for some reason. Well, it was because they wanted the shot of the shield flying back, yeah. and yes. then you see... They wanted the crowd going, ooh, and everybody tweeting, oh my god, we just saw Captain Carter in the movie theater. Seen a shot, it's just like, man, look, look, people. Look at them, look, look you want these. It's, it's all just, yeah, like, it, I'm look, she's doing the thing, you know, later on when she's like, uh, I could do this all day. It's just, we'll just, just cheaply no, throw in all these references. It's just, it. I felt like I wasn't watching a movie anymore. It's like, I'm watching, like, I don't know what this is, but like, this doesn't well, feel it, like... This is a Stockholder's meeting. It's full circle. It it's back to yes. your friend showing you his collection of toys. Being like, check yes. out this one. Yeah. Check out this one. You're like, yeah, that's, wow. that's really cool. So look what it's we like, bought. I think the clearest example of this is when they show Mr. Fantastic, it's like, you did a portal from like the, from the like feet up so that you could have the reveal be as like maximally potent as possible yeah. from a medicine. Oh, look, it's John Krasinski. You all wanted him in the role, right? It's like, yeah, like, but why did so. you shoot him like this? <laughs> Like, I don't know, I don't get it. If it was like, um, in 10 years time, you watch that and you would just be like, man, it was really weird how like they put all of this exaggerated emphasis on a pretty inconsequential like thing in this movie, or at least in, in, in context. Uh, next... Now, personally, I would have had him stretch in, but you know, why would we want to see him stretch in this film? Why would we want to oh, see him fantastic oh, stretch? Oh, we get plenty of stretching. Why would we want to see him demonstrate no. any of his great intellect that he's supposed to have as well? <laughs> He's well, they smart. tell us he's smart. Isn't that good enough? Yeah. Hey, just like Doctor Strange. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so Professor X. Next Schrodinger's up IQ. is Black Agar <laughs> Boltigan. Is that his name? Black Agar yes. Boltigan, the greatest name for Oh, my God. Is that a Zack Snyder <laughs> reference? I, 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 apparently, <laughs> that is the name. And, uh... It it's made a, perfect it, sense in the comic book stuff. Well, I was gonna say, I've got no context for why he was named that. It just sounds funny. Uh... And then, yeah, wow. Captain Marvel, but not Brie Larson. It's no, uh, it's Maria Rambo. Yes, I'm sure, she'll be much less of a bitch. Yes, and then yeah, Reed Richards comes in, which is the yeah. out of all of these, that's the one that people were most likely to be excited by. So of course he's well, lost. It's, uh, I guess it's interesting in terms of the choices because basically you've got like two MCU creations and then you've got two like hyper comic accurate at least in terms of look um like established characters um i guess it's like mm -hmm. an interesting ensemble in terms of uh how it is arranged well uh cuz the illuminati is supposed to be a collection of the smartest people right is that the idea yes. uh, yeah, so i don't like that marvel was general that. idea uh, iron man is is usually on the team isn't he iron yes. man is and namor usually... That was the reason. Yeah. Why, uh, the reason why it was speculated that there would be like superior Iron Man, right? Because he's mm -hmm. like part of the. And they can't have Namor because he's going to be in Black Panther. Are there not any I smartest guess. people who are just normal people? Which doesn't make sense, well, by the way. Why couldn't they? Why, they could still have Namor even if he is in Black Panther because they just kill him here anyway. Oh, yeah. I, well, I mean, especially since they had Mister Fantastic, who will be in it only to kill him. Like, does yeah. feel a bit weird that you would not have him in there if if, it, if that was an option available to you. Um, and, and they got yeah. Anson Mount back as Black Bolt, yes. Black Agar, Boltagon yeah. from the Inhuman show, and you know they're kind of, they're going to really utilize his talent here. Oh I'm, yeah, Mr. Black Agar, Boltagon. Very I well. It, yeah. I find it really funny that Inhumans is broadly considered to be like a failure and a catastrophe and like a Marvel mistake, but meanwhile, just like all of this other stuff that's come out recently is just like mm -hmm. it's fine. Not only is it fine, yeah, right? It's like, some people think Phase Four is like the best it's ever been. I guess no. Oh, oh how unfortunate. Considered a mistake when there's probably a good chance that you watch in humans. It's like, yeah, it's bad, but it's like not like the worst thing compared to what we've been getting lately. 
Um, um, it's more just cringe. It's just funny. And so yeah, it's like normal bad. Oh, no, in the Inhumans, Medusa, her power is hair. She has really yeah. long, and they shave her head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, right? They don't have the money. I guess. Uh, I just didn't yeah. feel like dealing with it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so like, I what was the deal? Like, wasn't there like a few years ago when the Inhumans got pushed really hard in the comics, and like the X Men were getting yeah. pushed like to the sidelines because of rights stuff? Because of rights issues, they did yeah. that with the Fantastic Four and the X Men. They took. Two of their most popular That's comics. So lame. That's so lame. That's so lame. Like that you're like, we don't have the rights to these movies, so like we're gonna allow this to influence the comics and push them out. That's super lame. Mm. But I guess now mm. they've given up, right? Because now they've got X Men back, so they don't really want to do anything with the Inhumans anymore. No. Not really. Mm. Uh, it it looked good for like a second, and that's that's all they need. I mean, with as much money as this movie made, I mean, they got a point. They don't need to explain anything. That's the frustration. Well, I guess it's uh, that's the because it's, I guess it's an interesting strategy in this film because they have Charles in his animated series chair with the music, and mm-hmm. they have Black Bolt in his comic accurate costume, but there's no reference to mutants or um, in humans. Like it's I guess very they're clinical, not doing that it? yet. No. Nope. Well, it's just it, it relies on. T- if you knew nothing about like the comics, I feel like you'd be very confused. It's like, so what? 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 What is like Professor X? What? What? Who is he? What does he do? You know, what's what's the? Oh, yeah, he's probably the least powers? confusing because of the Fox movies, isn't it? If if yeah. if there is if if there are X Men in this universe, it's meant to be comprised of like the smartest people. Why isn't there like Jean Grey or something? Like what? Where's or uh, mm-hmm. or Beast or like any number of the X Men? To be fair, this really is, like, how is Captain Carter and Captain Marvel here other than, like, it doesn't feel like, of all, when you're familiar with every smart person in Marvel, and then you compare to, like, Captain Carter's probably something that would be, like, it'd be really cool and we have Hayley Atwell and we got the what-if thing happening recently, so it'd be cool to have her there. That's probably, like... I mean, that's that's probably what it was, was, Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I I mean, don't don't get me wrong, it's always nice to see Hayley Atwell on screen again. I mean, I I like Peggy Carter too. Um, I don't oh know God. about this Run character because the very little I've seen of her, she's been fucking. We'll get there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, she's half the woman she used to be. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. nice. <laughs> you cut uh, to the core of the matter right there. Oh, oh, no. No one. So. The Illuminati, uh, basically, in this conversation, try to explain, because Doctor Strange is, like, confused. He's like, we got Scarlet Witch is coming, the fuck are you guys doing? And then they're like, yeah, uh, f- first of all, there's the, the part where she's like, oh, we'll handle your witch, uh, the, like, your little witch. It's <laughs> like, oh, God. <laughs> <Yeah. fine acting. laughs> some fine acting by Lasagna Lynch, by the it's, way. Just top tier uh, stuff. Is her name actually Lasagna? No. <laughs> It is to me. <laughs> it is to you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, say, that's Italian appropriation. I didn't know. This. <laughs> I think it's got to be pointed out that she is a smug bitch in every universe. That is the reality mm-hmm. that we've got, uh, no matter and, what. And, yeah, even in the Bond films. Yep. She. Um. I don't know what it is with Captain Marvel, but when you get her powers, you become an asshole. Um. <laughs> So yeah, she's like, we can handle your witch. Day. We'll remember that line. That's just one of them Telltale oh, Games yeah. things. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, oh, uh, and then Reed is like, you know, Stephen, we're not worried about the Scarlet Witch's impact on oh, this oh, universe. Oh, we're worried about oh, you. And he's like, what? And then he, and then they, they explain that they're Doctor such Strange. A weir- but- yeah, it's <laughs> such a weird thing to say to him. Like, who could he might have no concept of of any of the things that they're referring to. And he's like, look, I am literally just here to warn you about this horrifying catastrophe that's coming your way. Like, no, we need to spend the next 20 minutes explaining what your predecessor did in our universe. Oh, dude, it's, it, I would argue it makes some sense what they're saying, but then it leads to breaking the entire film several times over when you really think about what they're saying, unfortunately. This, nice. This, what, what the extra week gave me was long thoughts about incursions, universes, Doctor Strange, Wanda, everything. So we... There's so much for us to talk about. It's, it, and oh. what are the rules of an incursion? Because Mr. Fantastic... He lays it out. Yeah, he says that when you're in a universe that's not your own, even through dreamwalking, you leave a footprint. And the larger the footprint, the more likely you cause an incursion, which can destroy that universe or that universe and yours. Uh Uh-huh. That's what he says. It destroys everything that we know about this film uh, and everything that's going to happen. Because, of course, Mm -hmm. the dumbest thing that could be said in this whole movie comes out of Reed Richards. 
great. Um, so yeah, <laughs> which, is, which is saying something because there's already been some pretty dumb shit before this. So. Yes. And we'll, and, and we'll we'll lay it all out. Do not you you worry. But f so first they they say that, and then he's like confused. It's like Doc Strange is like a fucking hero in your universe. What's going on? And then we hear the card. I don't almost want to call him Professor X. Oh my God! Patrick I got Picard Stewart. flashbacks. <laughs> we should <laughs> tell him the truth. Don't tell him the truth. It's um. What? Stop doing this to him. Leave him alone. Let him read his. Let the his old chair. man. Let him be an old man. <laughs> Is holy shit it's, it's the way Mordo introduces him as well. It's like, ah, oh, and I forgot to mention the final <laughs> member of the council. I just forgot, you know why? Like, wow, you know why? Thanks, what? Professor yeah, X was like, fucking lost on his way. Yeah. He got lost on his way up, and Mordo just didn't announce that he's lost. He's like, no, it's fine. We'll wait until he's here, and then I'll announce it. Totally chill. It totally we'll does geriatric. Like... He had yeah. to change out his catheter bag or something. Like, oh, <laughs> fucking hell. And it doesn't look like at all that there's six people act acting like by themselves. They aren't together. Uh, no, you know no. It, they're all pieced. It's seamless, completely seamless. Uh, but yeah, Charles says that the reality of their universe, Doctor Strange, isn't what you think it is. And so we'll leave that for a sec. Come back to to Wong and Scarlet Witch quickly, and then we'll be able to really get to the meat of the Illuminati. But yeah, all that happens is Wanda's like, "Oh, goody, we're so close to being able to fucking do everything I want," and Wong is like. I think she even says, it's like, you worried about what's going to happen next? Wong's like, no, nah, I'm ready to die. It's just like, and he could Well, if you were ready to die, <laughs> really. <laughs> he, he didn't have to, to let it, give her the keys to the multiverse before you killed yeah. yourself. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, A shitty Sorcerer Supreme, that's what he is. Is this the point where he says as well, like, look, can't you just be happy that your kids do exist yes. in other universes yes. and they're loved and that's great? And then no. she just blasts him off the cliff. Yeah, th yeah she, which is, she tries to kill him. It's not making sense. It's hard to reconcile that with stuff that happens later, but that's okay, we'll get there. The um, film yeah. directly punishes him for saying something in this film that makes a level of sense. Yeah, yeah so, which world someone world else world then world says world. later and is totally <laughs> accepted. It's just Episodes, like, yeah, well, you, you're not allowed to problem. say it, Wong. I guess it would just be that a persistent problem in this film is conversations end before they can actually, like, hash out a uh, a conclusion to them. Every time hey. that, like, someone asks Wanda a question that she has no answer to, the, the conversation ends and there's a fight. Yeah, you're right. I yeah. that so much in movies when a scene cuts or when it gets interrupted right is like so conveniently well, so the writers don't have well, to actually have, have characters well. address these you know it like sucks uh, Stephen... go ahead i was just gonna say it happened in moon knight as well steven yes um when he was having this conversation with ethan hawk yes. it just it it stops when he asks like the first question that anybody would ask of somebody who has this it happens in fight report system yeah um Ooh. and we've got examples of like i feel like i'm just gonna sing the praises a little bit of civil war here um the conversation Iron Man and Steve have about the state of Wanda, it doesn't end because they run out of time or because a big fight starts or an explosion or anything. They just come to the conclusion that Tony's vision of keeping everyone safe involves prison, essentially, and Steve can't accept that. Tony's like, it's for the greater good because otherwise we'll all end up in prison. That's just a fundamental disagreement. There's, there's no way forward once you do that. And they have three conversations that all end that way, where they've reached... Uh, Fundamental difference, except for the first one, which is interrupted by um, Peggy's death. Uh, but of course, it, the point being is that uh, when your ideas are lopsided in terms of one side has the clearly superior ones, you have to just cut the conversation off because it, it just doesn't work otherwise. Um, and yeah, Wong uh, highlights something that should have been highlighted fucking ages ago, which is, wait, why do you need to kill America? Why can't you just use it to send you to the place you want to go? Which is funny because... If she knew that America couldn't control its power, then that would be the answer. But for some reason, the film's pretending that she doesn't know that, when I thought she would have, um, because America never uses it against the pasta monsters until... I, I guess she just assumed she could control it this whole time. I don't know. Because you'd think, right, if you were chasing America with these monsters, that she would just open a portal and suck them in whenever they try to get her. But she doesn't, and it's just like I don't know. You might have inferred something from I mean, that, but yeah. I mean, I think my opening gambit wouldn't really be to send terrifying like demon monsters after her in the first place. Like, oh, if I really would, just yeah. need cooperation, <laughs> dude, dude, I know that's probably covering what you guys have spoken about before. Well, you're just you're absolutely right. It's so fucking stupid that the film tries to justify that. Um, but yeah, as uh, as you mentioned before, this is this is the part where Wong says, uh, 
why can't you just have her send you there? And then she's like, well, if they get, if they get the flu, I might need to travel across the multiverse to get a cure. Well, <laughs> you know, summon America Chavez back to help you again or something, you know? I think it's, it's, it's just beyond, it's like, you're insane. And I think most people would be like, well, yeah, the Darkhold's got a hold of it. And you're like, right, 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 yeah. So. <laughs> right. Even at the end, or at the beginning, or everywhere it's just else? just always. I she's always crazy destroyed. And oh. Is this the part where we firmly establish that every single Wanda across the multiverse is happily married with children, except for this one, who has yeah. now gone insane? Um, oh my goodness. She, she, does, she does use the line. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's to the effect of, yeah, every other me every other version of me has got these kids and i don't and that sucks no and way. that's why i want them no i way. mean not in the multiverse i was gonna say i can't remember what her lines are specifically but it, uh i guess you can argue she's filtered the dark holds representation of worlds to show her the ones where she's happily with her kids which why to be would fair, even need they would be infinite brain, of those though. maybe next brain, time there'd be an infinite Hello. number of universes where you don't exist or where like one yeah. of them doesn't exist this is what i mean when she's yeah. when she's choosing I'm willing to agree, like, okay, yeah, she can find a whole bunch of them. But when she's not, when she's doing it as a result of, like, someone's gone somewhere and she chases them and she still ends up with a Wanda who's with yeah. her family, it's like, oh, okay, that's just... Mm -hmm. Is that a universal constant except for you? Find a real boyfriend to have sex with? <laughs> yeah, really? like... Everyone's wondering who the dad is. It's like, is it Vision? Is it a human Vision? What's, what's going on? Yeah. Like, why is, why does he not exist in any of these universes? Like, where did he go? Didn't want to bring him in. Didn't bring him back. The movie. I guess. I assume it's worse than that. I think they just didn't want him in. They didn't want the family right. members, like the mum, the dad, the brother, all vision. They wanted them all out. They wanted to focus on the kids. Yeah, keep it as simple and and easy as possible to deal with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they didn't want too many men. So we then move on. Oh well, it's the temple, the power. She's fucking launching it back up. Yeah, sorry, Wong did get booped off the cliff. He totally died. But you know he didn't die. I thought it, I thought Again. he was dead. I, was, I thought that like he was dead because you yeah. you you die from that. Well, from getting thrown off a mountain, you generally die from that. I mean, he even <laughs> landing on the ledge as he does, like he fell hundreds of I feet. I don't know how oh, you, he landed get, on that ledge. You get shown how far he fell later in the film, uh, because they zoom out Very from the whole far. cliff. He is he's yes. dead. There's just nothing he could have done. And, and he doesn't. Why, why there's nothing she... for him to roll off. Yeah. It's just a tiny little ledge where I guess he just face planted <laughs> and somehow <laughs> remained there and he's okay. She she also has the ability, as we see shortly, to disintegrate people or turn them into spaghetti or whatever. Like if she just wants him dead, why not just do that? Why does she oh, like man. just knock him off the cliff and take the chance that he might survive that fall? And it's a great thing to point out because it's like, wait a minute, yeah, didn't we say that we theorized that she would keep on a hold of him for leverage and then she just kills uh -huh. him? It's like, huh. Well, okay, well, no that's out of the window for now. Yeah, I guess that theory's gone. Uh, I'm trying to help you, film. Yeah, <laughs> you sorry. keep ruining it. <laughs> Why would you let us help you? <laughs> so she accesses the Darkhold power in the walls, and she grabs up Wander and starts flying, and it's just like, yeah, as we went over earlier, like, if you are a significant, you know, distance away from the Illuminati base, you're never getting there in time. But I'm sure she's right next to it, so don't worry about it. Yeah, she was pretty close. Worry about it. Um. So yeah, the uh, the Illuminati talk about how uh, their Doctor Strange. This is this is where we'll get to talking about how much this is fucking broken. Their oh, Doctor Strange great. worked with them to make the Illuminati. Real cool, great, excellent. Thanos comes along and he's like, I'm gonna destroy everything." And they're like, "Oh God, what do we do? We don't have anything that can take him out." Which is interesting to think about because it's like, can't Professor X alone take him out? Or even Black Bolt, like his, yeah. he, all he's got to do, like, I, I'm, I've am i looked into the upper limits of his scream, and if he screams at full volume, he could shatter planets, apparently, like yeah, he's that yeah. oh. He's a pretty powerful dude. Uh, because, yes, right, he, another he could, OP character we have in this, oh, well, I guess had for a little while, but. Yeah, yeah. it was not OP. <laughs> <laughs> Black Bolt and Professor X could take out Thanos. Unless he has the Infinity Gauntlet. Then well, yeah, the well, upper hand sort of thing, right? Well, if... And that's the problem with the Infinity Gauntlet that even goes back to Infinity War. He's got the reality gem. Right. You can kind of, you can rewrite reality like whenever you want. Well, yeah, I guess we're supposed to assume oh. then that they were like, we need a surefire way to take him out instead of, you know, a risk. And it's like, all right, so Doctor Strange in their universe goes looking through the Darkhold. And he's, uh, he's dreamwalking. He tries to find 
different ways that other universes may have dealt with Thanos. It's like, on paper, right, if they're describing this story to me, I'd be like, okay, that sounds reasonable. And then, and then if they were like, but he knew the Darkhold was evil, I'd be like, oh, well, that's a problem then. But it didn't sound like that. And it doesn't sound like what they say, that their Dark, their dark Strange knew why using the Darkhold would be a bad thing to do. He's, he's using it, he's trying to find ways to defeat Thanos. And um, they fucking cut to Captain Marvel, who's like, and, um, and he used the Darkhold to try and find a solution. He didn't find one, but he kept doing it anyway. Uh, yeah, because kind of probably the reason he didn't like, find one yet, you uh, stupid uh, bitch. Yeah. It's like, this, 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 line this is the stupidest it's, yeah. fucking line. Like, what, of course he keeps trying. Why would he not keep trying? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like he was looking for his car keys. He couldn't find them, but he kept looking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that evil man. Once Kids again, now. it was in the last place I looked. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, she says it like it's a criticism of his character, when to me it's just like, so he's a good man then, to keep trying, even <laughs> though it seems futile? Like, she, what are you telling me? In all universes, she's allergic to people being good. <laughs> she's just like yeah. the, the world's mm -hmm. greatest multiverse's most <laughs> horrific turbo kind. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, eventually, he comes to them, Doc Strange, and says, I'm sorry. I've destroyed a universe as a result of dreamwalking. And um, the way Reed Richards says it, he's like, you, our friend, like, stop trillions of lives. And I was like, but you just explained it to, to us as though he had no idea that was possible. Like, yeah. it's horrible, I agree. If he had no idea it was possible. But like, and then they yeah. say he renounces the Darkhold and never uses it again. And I was like, that's, what else can he do? He's done yeah, everything yeah. right. He tried to save the world, it cost a universe, and he has now said we cannot use the Darkhold, even if it means saving our universe. Like, this guy, he's on point so far. I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. he seems to be a real stand-up guy. You guys are lucky to have him on the Illuminati. He yeah, I wonder how this story ends. He actually stands in contrast to the rest of you. <laughs> no, it's the implication <laughs> how did, how did from there that, that uh, it, it's, it's corrupted him, he realizes it's corrupting him, and he knows that there's no way back from it, and that's why he's like, yeah, I, I can't they don't be allowed say to that. continue. Don't you get no, I mean, I'm just inferring it. No, no, because what you're saying would be a way better fucking story, but they don't give us... The, this is this is kind of why I'm building it up this way. I'm very frustrated with what they tell us is the truth about all of this. Um, the, 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 the grim reality of why they had to make this choice. And I'm, I'm almost there, right? So he works with them then, after renouncing the book, to find the Book of Vishanti, which is essentially... Just the good book. It's the book that is it's full of Bible. spells. They literally explain that it can just give you a spell that'll destroy any enemy, no matter what. It's now Damn, the power well, scaling is so fucking annoying. Really useful. They make it sound like the Infinity Stones combined, right, are like the ultimate power, but it's like, no, nah, Book of Vigante beats that. It's like, oh. Now, we are, the Infinity Stones are an address for somewhere being paperweights, but the Book of Vigante, which yeah. I assume the TVA has many copies of as well. Oh, or probably maybe a bookcase full, yeah. I don't yeah. know. So, <laughs> don't, 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 even, don't. even though there's only, well, you know what, I'll say though for later. So yeah, they yeah, get I'll that, later. <laughs> they use it to defeat Thanos, and um, this is this is the part, there's a bit of contention over this, but I'm I'm telling you, this is this is what they say is the reality. So you, you have them, uh, Charles say that Thanos was defeated, but one threat still remained, and then he plays the clip. Inflation. And they, uh, <laughs> they show them killing, um... They are Doctor Strange after saying, I'm sorry, and I'll miss you, old friend, stuff like that. And it's like, huh. Um, so you might wonder, like, so what exactly did they kill him for? And the assumption a lot of people have made, along with myself, to be fair, is that um, as long as he's alive, there's a risk of incursion to the universe. I thought that's what the problem was. But it's not. Um, that's not quite how incursions work. It, it, it's only when he's dreamwalking that it can risk in, an incursion on his own universe. When he's not doing that, it's fine. Um, and so if it's like, so if, if it wasn't that, what was it? And it's like, well, if you just listen to old um, uh, Captain Carter. He said, like, because the, the, they're talking about what um, what is to happen with our strange, or why they even have a problem with our strange, and this mm -hmm. this line. When he wrote this line, he made a huge mistake. She says, We made a difficult choice because we knew what he was capable of. What all strangers are capable of. Mm, all of them. Welcome all of them. to Minority Report. But Woo! even worse, actually, yep. because they don't have oh. proof. They just tell you that's what you're going to do and then kill you. Yep. Um, so to be clear, 
She's saying they made the difficult choice of killing Strange because we knew what he was capable of. As in, they think he might do something evil with the Darkhold again, maybe. Maybe. But it's, it's worth pointing out that these, because all of them, well, apart from Peggy, are, are kind of like supremely powerful in their own right. They're all capable of causing enormous amounts of destruction. Yep. If, if uh, you know, they, they get seduced by some kind of dark power or they, they fall victim to hubris or, or greed or whatever, are they all supposed to just wipe each other out because they mm -hmm. could potentially do something bad? Well, it's surprising that nobody highlighted, like, you're killing him because he has the potential to do great damage. Um, yeah. So that's really evil. <laughs> like, I don't know if anyone has ever told you guys this. Um, yeah. And Why does this movie shit on Strange, like, so consistently from well, start to movie. finish? It so shits on not that. just Doctor Strange, but multiple versions of Doctor All Strange. Of him. One is not Every enough. Version. Yeah, like, the, the heroic guy <laughs> who was, like, protecting the entire multiverse right at the beginning, and he's portrayed as some kind of betrayer. Yep. Really like, fucking what? annoying, too. You hate the only rational choice. Exactly. So they describe this whole story, and then you, you find out that Superior Strange gives his life just because his friends believe he might do something evil, and he agrees to this. Jeez. What a legend. What a great person. What a fucking hero. Right? He did everything right. <laughs> like, yeah. So, um, yeah, and so they explain, you're a Stephen Strange, you're not in your normal universe, so the longer you're here, the more you're likely to cause incursions, and we're deciding whether or not to kill you. And the vibe is, they're gonna kill him. Yep. Yeah, um, absolutely. <laughs> and I just, like, it's unbelievable. It's fucking horrifying. You, you're you just gonna wipe him out because you believe that he could do evil things. Mm -hmm. Because his alternate self did. When you know, if you know anything about multiverse, everyone's gonna be different every time. You have no idea what to expect. You don't know what's gonna happen. All, all yeah, men suck. All the grand God. calculus of the multiverse. Unfortunately, there's a theme running through this film that Stephen Strange in every universe has to be holding the knife. He has to be the one in control, and that leads to more people dying. No. It's an arc he's going I, on, okay? I think they're trying to say something here. It's like, like we can't have him cool. be the one that makes the calls the shots all the time. When, like, he's trying to save the world. I don't know. Like, it's always so... Stupid. They never actually like have the argument out. No. Because yeah, Ned, like if if not him, then who else? Like, why is anyone more uniquely qualified to be in control of anything than Strange? Like, why is that a negative that he wants to, you know, be in control of things that he's actually quite qualified to to help well, yeah, out he, with? Think of the sacrifices he's made. The amount of, he died like a bazillion times to Dormammu to save the universe. He uh, gave himself yep. up. With the Thanos incident, yeah. Uh, uh, since he doesn't know anything about sacrifice. Remember? Oh yeah, true, true. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I should have yeah. remembered. Even though he's meant to be the best of them, at least in the ancient the one's MCU. opinion. Yeah, ancient one's opinion. Well, she was dumb, obviously. <laughs> Nobody likes it. She <laughs> fell through a window or whatever. Uh, so yeah, um, that's all dumb. But then you're like, wait a minute. Anybody who's not from their native universe can cause incursions with their footprint. So it's like, so America Chavez is gradually destroying every single universe she goes to? <laughs> yep. Yep. And it's just like, the film does not want to address that. It's like, what? No. But also, no? If, if, this is, if this is the case, she should be very concerned about Wanda coming to this universe. I was actually going to, yeah. So it's so hard to get all this down sort of as a whole, because there's so many things to think about at once with how stupid everything they said is. Wanda wants, she's been prophesied to destroy the entire multiverse, right, in an alternate universe. Is that yeah. not worrying enough that you should be oh, keeping uh, an eye what on your... Doctor, what did Doctor Strange say? Hey, you killed me for being corrupted by the dark hold. She's corrupted by the dark hold. Right uh, now. <laughs> yeah. And her, Professor X. And it's you guys, you fucking idiots are the ones that told me that she could dream walk to get me here. So... Why don't you care? Why are you doing nothing about yeah. this? They're like, well, Why we're more concerned you... about you, the one who was chased here. And the one who's <laughs> currently chained up and incapable of doing anything at this moment. And not the one of the two people we have who can actually travel through the multiverse at will. Yeah. It's all backward. None of it makes any sense at all. And these are supposed to be yeah. like hyper-intelligent people. <laughs> at the very least, he could suggest, like, look, you know, deal with Wanda first, right? Put all your resources into sorting her out and stopping her and then we can resolve this thing with me later 
once all yeah, that has, has been dealt exactly. with and we've protected mm-hmm. the entire multiverse, then you can decide whether or not you're going to kill me. Yeah, because you could even be like, look, I get, I understand the, the attitude, just kind of, but like, you, you got bigger fish to fry, like, with everything if, you've just told me. You know, if, if they were aware of, like, the, because it was Mordo who told them about dreamwalking, why didn't the Illuminati, like, do anything to preemptively uh, prevent the Wanda mm-hmm. thing? If they're shown to be this ruthless, why didn't they just go to her house and kill well, her so that she could come? They were to all Cuba? working on their big entrances. You know, uh, they're like, I, okay, Professor X, yeah. you're going to win in later. It right, doesn't. To, for a more dramatic entrance. It just doesn't match up because they don't care about the witch. That's what they keep saying. It's like, who fucking cares? Whatever. And it's just like, why not? Like, why yeah, not? Like, <laughs> they just think it's, she's not a big deal. It's like, oh, we're just going to yell at her with even black though she's and she actively dies. Gonna be, even though she's actively pr- possibly causing a, uh, an incursion by simply being here. Yeah, right just now. Just like Steven. They except don't, she wants to kill you. They should be sending. Like all of their old trombots to her house to figure out yeah. what's going on there. Mm-hmm. Exactly. They have all the reason to think she's on the way. It's so weirdly done, and it's because we're just trying to set up the big action scene where they all die. That's that's mm-hmm. all it is. Nice. Um. And woo. So does it ever does it ever explain what actual circumstances lead to an incursion? Because it seems to be like being as there. we were saying there, being there seems to raise the risk of it happening, but mm-hmm. then it might not happen at all. Yeah, yeah, so it's, like, it's what just is a, it about being there that causes an it's, incursion. It's, it's, it's the risk. It, then, it might happen if you're there. They're non specific about it. And to be honest, with what they've described, it should have been one in No Way Home. By the all, sounds of it, yeah. all those people yeah. from different universes just fucking yeah. around, that should have caused an incursion. If one dude dream walking can cause an incursion. Yeah, I mean, they it kind didn't of... talk to each other. That's what happened. They didn't talk to they each, didn't talk other, to each other about what they were doing in their stories. Well, No Way Home kind of breaks it in a lot of ways because that established that um, beforehand that America Chavez's powers are not actually 100% unique because under cer- certain circumstances, you can just pull people out from the multiverse. You don't mm-hmm. really if you cast necessarily a spell need to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Wanna yeah, just pull um... your children in by fucking up a spell. Do it. There you go. Well, that'll be great. Uh... But yeah, no, nothing they say makes any sense in terms of what they tell. Like, because what they tell us means that America needs to leave the dimension. Uh, our, she needs to go back to hers at all, yeah. like at all costs. Exactly. But nobody behaves that way in this whole film. And I think they're going to forget that incursion rule going forward. I don't think they'll care anymore. And, and just to be clear, we're, we're using fringy rules in his Endgame video that we're not going to bring up Loki at all. I'm talking um, about fairy. I, I uh, think you can you can bring it up here and then I don't I don't have any issue with that. He wrote Loki and then later. The reason he goes, why I don't bring up uh, Loki and Endgame is because the rules they contradict each other and it's just too difficult to <laughs> try and account for them. Yeah, it would have been a twelve-hour video. And, well, it's yeah. just everything was Kang. Like that's kind of yep. just that's like yeah. So, <laughs> but in this case, I guess we have to because Loki caused the multiverse in in the Marvel yeah. Cinematic Universe. He caused dreaming to happen. Yep. Oh, yeah. there, were, there, were no, there were no dreams before that. Um, that <laughs> so was that was stupid. a really bad idea uh, to have dreaming be a mechanic. Like, is about... People said me. I had several di- uh, DMs that uh, that were like, "This is evidence that dreaming has taken place in the MCU before Loki happened as a show." Okay, and I'm like, "No, I know, I know, I, I believe you." Like, I... <laughs> uh, we we know. The we Iron Man three comes to mind. He kept yeah, yeah, flashing yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. it's like a big deal that happened. So. I mean, but I don't need to be shown in the film to recognize that people have dreams. It's a biological <laughs> process, necessity even. It's it's not even, yeah, it's so stupid. Um, but all right. Um, crazy, I know. I can't believe you guys aren't going to believe this. An alarm goes off. Turns out Wanda is assaulting their base. Whoa, and they're like, wait, wait, wait. And the, see we see Ultron is just getting fucking wrecked. Like, he's, he's, he stands yep. no chance at a, against her. She's just annihilating him. Which, um, she did fare pretty well against him in Age of Ultron, but she was also with the entire Avenger team. But also, I mean, this is one of my... So the problem... Age of Ultron's a really bad movie. Um, yes. One of the problems with Age of Ultron is that they don't seem to understand that, like, the Prime Ultron and, like, the Sub-Ultrons, they're all Ultron. They're all, like, the same entity, Ultron. Why would you make like a million shit robots and then one really cool robot instead of just making like a bunch of really cool um, vibranium robots? Yeah, mm-hmm. and the same applies here. Do they have access to vibranium? Presumably, 
Like, why don't you just create a bunch of really well, awesome Vibranium Ultron bots? She tears them apart with Telekinesis, so I guess uh, they can't be Vibranium, because she can't do- I don't think she can just- Unless she can, I don't, I don't know. Unless you can now destroy like the most powerful. If the robots this are made is, out of remember, this is, this is normal Wanda though. Yeah, this that's what I'm like saying. Like, I don't think normal Wanda though. could like pull apart normal. pieces of vibranium. Um, normal Wanda like pulled out Ultron's like little robot heart, but but that was like after he'd been completely and utterly destroyed and was immobile. Yeah, and it looked like she'd pulled a vibranium core that was connected by like tubes and stuff. Not necessarily mm -hmm. that she ripped vibranium apart but maybe she did maybe i'm just being a little like like fine i guess maybe she can do that it's just well, ultron was useless at the, the point film is that if those robots were made out of vibranium the illuminati would have destroyed all of them in every universe because of what they were capable of true mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah mm. wouldn't want ultron evil ultron fucking dream walking into these nice ultrons would you no <laughs> i'm sure it's possible uh -huh. I don't know. so what they see all of that call dream walking like like sleep mode walking or power save walking. I don't know. There's a there's a computer joke in there somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, yeah. So they all rag. awkwardly walk yep. off to go fight her, except for uh, Mordo and Charles. Even and though like, Mordo is the Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah, well, <laughs> Mordo's a fucking cowardly little bitch. That's, that's all he is in this movie. <laughs> we know this. Um, so of course, he doesn't want to get involved in the fight. He's scared. Uh, but. They had, like, the weirdest bit of- there's loads of really shit dialogue in this, but this one just threw me off completely, and I'm assuming it's similar for you guys. Charles just said, Steven, if you should <laughs> escape this facility, please make your way to the Book yeah. of Ashanti. Like, like he's a fucking quest giver, and it's like, I'm sorry, were you gonna kill me a second ago? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That What's... was fucking bizarre. And, and, like, Mordo is the audience. He's like, what, what the hell are what? you saying? Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. But like, if he if he wants him to do that, why doesn't he release him from the cops? Exactly. And go? Why is he still static there? I don't yeah. to do anything. I I thought I missed it's something just, while I was in the cinema, because all of a sudden he's like, "I'm gonna help you now." It's like, wait, yeah, why? What, 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 what if she loses? Oh, yeah, it's like, oh no, no, we're gonna kill you now. Never mind. Sorry, we she lost. <laughs> just kidding. It's it, yeah, and it's funny because like, there's just no other way for them to do this scene. They need to just have it be that Strange gets out of here. So like. Yeah, he gets he gets the Book of Ashanti information off Charles because, and then Mordo's like, "Why are you saying this?" And Charles is like, "I believe we can trust him." It's like, oh, <laughs> okay. Doesn't, doesn't he say explain like, why? Oh, we <laughs> no. give every we, we should them all give a second chance well, or some blah blah or whatever. Think about this for a little bit longer, right? You'd be like, "Well, Charles I wouldn't have done to. that no, without <laughs> the." Surely he would agree that the whole council should sign off, not just him, unless, of course, he thinks he they're all about to die. They agree. Unless he thinks they're all about to die. Which, uh... Mm. What does he if, say if he does, to then he should be making different choices right now. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, Very different choices. Judging from his dialogue a little bit later, their deaths was not something that he was expecting. So, we're supposed to assume, he's like, while they're off killing Scarlet Witch easily, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope you get out of here? <laughs> like, what? it doesn't make <laughs> sense at all. It's a total, like, something went wrong. Either in the writing yeah. or the shooting, you forgot to account for something, and you're like, "Oh <laughs> shit, we can't reshoot this." It's oh, completely um, fucked. Um, yeah, and I just thought it was hilarious because it's, it's just like he just switched characters. <laughs> like, yeah, he's totally someone else did. now. It's like okay. Well, the um, explanation is pretty obvious. He has fucking dementia. Clearly, uh, I no, you Logan. realize that there's an infinite amount of versions of you that can potentially be dreamwalking into you at any time. Then pretty it's scary, always an excuse it? whenever you act out of character, isn't it? Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Christine realizes the base is under attack, and then she says, everyone get out of here, and then struggles for, like, 10,000 years trying to open up America's box. I don't know why. I don't it, know why it, this... It, yeah, why can't it just be a single button or something? Don't say America's <laughs> box. It should be an emergency, <laughs> slam dunk, open up, especially, like, what if there's a fucking fire hazard? It, surely you have a way of opening these things up. You have the control panel, but she's typing away, for fucking ages, just like I can't do it. It's like you opens up strangers, and you didn't even type Cause anything. Because with she, she starts normally and can't do it, but then like halfway through, it gets scrambled by yeah. Wanda, I think. Yeah. Why, why didn't you do really it like from slide. the get go, so we don't have this confusing thing right. where exactly. she's gonna be stupid it's... this whole time? You're completely right. It should have been the second that the facility started to go. <laughs> she looks at her screen, and they're all going fuzzy, and it's like, oh shit, yep. she's tampered with the digital whatever. Like, easy, but nope. Nope, nope, nope.
Oh, some people saying he could have read his mind, though. And it's just like, yeah, so if, if, if he's read his mind, then he should fucking release him if that's good enough. But if he it's not... He would have already done that. I mean, yeah, be, and why wouldn't that be... Yeah, yeah. That, that should be step one for the council meeting, if that's a yep. thing he can do, or does do. Because this is the thing, I don't know if they have ethical reasons against it, but I mean, they minority report people, so I doubt it. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, they don't. Which <sighs> takes us to the scene. Here we are. The scene. Scarlet Witch is heading to America's box, and then... Yep. <laughs> 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 Why is everyone giggling? And, and, uh, no, you know. It's like, when they all fucking land... Like, oh no, the Down Syndrome Avengers. <laughs> they just fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Captain Carter, Black Bolt, Captain Marvel, Reed Richards all assemble to ask Wanda nicely to stop, which is fucking insane. You've lost your element of surprise already against a woman that could <laughs> annihilate you if you're not careful. Good job. Um, hey, Wanda, here's our uh, most dangerous weapon. Here he is. Here he goes. <laughs> Yeah, why, why are they even trying to negotiate with her in this light? Like, what do they think they're going to achieve by talking her down? Uh, ho this? Hopefully she'll just go home. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, you've convinced unfortunately, me. Unfortunately, you can't present the Illuminati as being so ruthless that they would kill their own friend who didn't even do anything, but they wouldn't kill this Wanda. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, there's no way. Especially if the multiverse is at stake and that's well, their through line is, well, we got to... We got to do what's like expedient to like save the world, even if it means crossing lines. They're gonna kill her. Why they would know, you take any chances? They know evil Wanda is currently dreamwalking in this Wanda. They even address her as though they are aware of that. It's just like, okay, we got that. That means that yeah. by their logic, she is currently causing incursions, causing or at least incursion. risk of incursions. So you have to delete her as soon as possible. It's there's nothing mm -hmm. else to this. Like. I would, I would even go as far as saying if I was on the council and they said, okay, so for as long as she's awake and walking around, or even inhabiting this body, our entire universe could be destroyed. Do you yeah, think we should kill her? Trillions. I'd be like, unfortunately, trillions, we may have to, trillions. yes. Or at the very, at the very least, try to subdue her right off the bat. Like, the problem, stun her, the, knock her out, That's whatever. my point, though, is even if you subdue her, she's still occupying the body. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. there's this unfortunate realization that, yeah, Either we tempt her to leave the body, which is incredibly unlikely, or we kill her mm -hmm. to prevent that from ever being a thing. Um, they opt I, to talk to her. I, I now, what, let's remember I in this. And let's remember in this moment, we really need to remember how Reed Richards was introduced as the world's smartest man. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> the world's to, um... smartest man. Yeah. I mean, uh, if, 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 if they wanted to, if they wanted to, like, make her go away, what Reed could have said is, like, hey, Wanda, by being here, you're going to cause an incursion that'll kill your kids. you got to leave. Otherwise, you're going to kill them. That's something they could try. That would have yeah. been a thing, but yeah. That's if, if, you're, like, hey, if, yeah. if you're not, if you're not going to hey. kill her immediately, then you should try and find ways to get her to leave that can leverage things that she cares about. With you having said that, I feel like I am now prompted to say you've highlighted we're almost to the point where you've highlighted why this whole movie doesn't even work um Ooh, oh, no. not even there yet guys wanda, <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, I we'd, wanda we wants we, so we know the rules wanda wants to put her let's call it 616 self into a different universe forever which naturally will cause an incursion and kill everyone there it doesn't work In including oh. herself yep uh, oh, literally oh, her whole plan can't work with what reed richards knows it, it, yeah. And so he could just tell her that. He could be like, I'm sorry to tell you, but everything you're doing here, even if you kill all of us, it'll only result in the destruction of everything. You can't have what yeah. you want. You you just can't. It'll destroy you, it'll destroy your kids, it'll destroy everything. You can't <sighs> have it. But, um, so this is what happens when you create really short-sighted rules to yep. solve yeah, one particular you... problem in your mm -hmm. screenplay, and then it just causes yeah. a million other problems further down the line. You have to think when you're writing a story, you have to think through how any choice that you make narratively when it comes to a character decision or like a world building element or a plot point, it doesn't exist in a vacuum. Like its influence is going to spread throughout the film or throughout the book or throughout the TV show. You have to account for all of these things. You can't just. Are you sure that this doesn't world. exist in a vacuum? Because everything in this movie sucks. Well, it's just it's, I, I it's just that um the little. 
you might think it oh, i get matter. it i get thank it you. Uh, thank you thank well, <laughs> you you might think that it doesn't matter but like these choices narratively ripple out um why, why am i reminded of hyperspace trackers for some reason uh, um, <laughs> uh -huh. there's a couple of people in chat who are like yeah she's gonna kill the wanderer and replace it and it's like okay to go through this again your <laughs> you you are like branded with your universe's I don't know, fucking mojo. When you go to another one, <laughs> that is automatically starting up the incursion process, and the longer you're there, the more likely it begins, as opposed to, you know, is, is possibly happening. So no matter what Wanda does, if she goes to a universe that isn't her own, she's put a clock on it every time. Mm -hmm. And it, the, nobody, Doctor Strange and Reed Richards, n neither of them tell her this, which is the biggest yep. reason to stop her crazy plan. They should know yeah. it. Um, but they don't tell her that because they're really dumb people. Like I said, <laughs> that line from Reed Richards about incursions, it just destroys everything. Um, mm -hmm. Nothing works. Nothing did work, but nothing works anymore. Not anymore. When it comes to multiverse, you've really blocked yourself off from like ever fully leveraging multiverse now because every time it'll be like, but you can't be here, that'll cause an incursion. You can't like fully lean into the multiverse or have characters from different universes mm -hmm. exist in other universes for a long time. I don't know why you would make the choice to have this be the way that universes work. Mm -hmm. it, you just you've really off closed a lot of, a lot of yeah. You fucked yourself yeah. over quite a bit, but they got them a really nice set of visuals in the uh, third act. So yeah, uh, that, uh, that bothers me as well. By the way, because how is that a destroyed universe when they can clearly still exist and walk around existed. in well, it? Well, I now. guess they're saying it's in the process of being destroyed. It's got yeah. like X amount of time left because still got oxygen yeah. in there. I don't, still I, I, yeah. I don't know <laughs> why how it works that way. The little red lines flying around. What are those yeah. things? Um, so what's that? Doesn't that mean then that America Chavez is dooming our universe? Like, yeah, I went over this a bit earlier. She yes. is, um, and nobody seems to realize this. I think it's because the film doesn't understand that because they said that there's only one of her. It's like sure, but like she comes from a universe, yeah. right? She this is not her from, native like, universe, a... so she's gonna have but... a bad mojo. But because she's yeah. got this unique ability to cross over them, like, does that make her somehow immune to the... Maybe, but I, I, I feel like they'd have to explain well, that. Yeah, right I was going to say, would you want to take that risk? Yeah. They can't know that, so... She has the potential to cause great harm. Well, well we know it, what happens to people like that. Exactly. If, if, if <laughs> all of us, like, found out yeah. one of our, like, friends, America Chavez, who joined us recently, has the potential to destroy our entire universe just by being here and she can leave at any point, I'd be like, um... Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! I don't even <laughs> want to yeah. condemn another universe to that. No, 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 because you remember, right? Um... By the time of the end of the film, she can choose where her portals go. Send her back to her universe. Oh, Someone yeah, that's right. Someone in chat said, why would Wanda believe Reed? It's like, well, remember, this is assuming that they don't just kill her straight away. Um, like, this is if they decide that they want to talk her oh, down. Yeah. It's like, this is well, the best argument they can it? make. It's the best argument they can make, and I mean, surely they'd be able to have, like, evidence of this. They could even be like, it's in the dark hold. like, did you not read that part? Like, it's, or, or just any number, like, if you're gonna say anything, you can't just say, hey, please, can you please stop? Like, you gotta do better than that. Oh, and I was gonna say, if why you... would you even highlight, like, oh, why would you, why would she believe it? It's like, they've tried reasoning with her over and over again, so we already know that they would give this a shot, and they don't try their greatest argument. Yeah. They often don't try their greatest argument, because the yeah, writers they... know they can't. All the writers are unaware, which is more well, likely they with this aware. one. I think, I think it's a lot more likely that he didn't realize that these were arguments that could be put forth. Yeah. And, and believe us, chat, we're gonna get into the more tactical options that they uh, oh, we'll, sorely uh, neglected. Well, we're, we're, right, <laughs> we're, we're right here we're right now. There. So, um, there. yeah. This, one is this scene is way. so fucking terrible. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is. It's like, <laughs> Wanda, be chill. I know kids are cool. I have my own. And then she's like, do they have a mother that's still alive? And he's like, yeah. Like, good. Someone can raise them. And it's like, Reed, yeah, if you, you needed any more of a red flag, buddy. <laughs> but also, just like, on a more broad level, you gotta understand, it's really hard for me to ever have much investment in a character who someone's like, hey, I have a family, and they're like, oh, ha, 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 I'm still gonna kill you anyway, you know, sucks for you. It's mm -hmm. like, man, like, damn, Wanda, like, yep. my god, <laughs> you're a really bad person. And oh. then comes the legendary line, um, you know, I, I... <laughs> I don't even know, like, 
Because there's some people listening to this who have no idea what happens next. There's going to be at least one person in chat who's like listening to this as the story unravels. They get, they're picturing in their head the four superheroes standing across from Scarlet Witch, and they may have some awareness. Maybe we should do this first. Captain Marvel is almost, as far as we are aware, quote unquote, indestructible, and has like the power to just blast through basically everything. So she's pretty powerful. I mean, I would say that it's like, surely it really is a thing that like Captain Marvel may well be as strong or stronger than the Scarlet Witch. I don't see why she wouldn't be. Um, I'm willing to agree that they might draw, but there's no way that Captain Marvel loses because she has the indestructible element while Scarlet Witch does not. Yeah. Captain Marvel flew through Thanos' ship and like blew it up. She's the, she's, she has to be the strongest, right? Yes. This, this, what You'd think so. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but obviously I'm just trying to run through them quickly. Captain Carter, kinda kinda weak compared to Scarlet Witch, so she's not Captain really them, you, yeah. you don't need to worry about her. Black Bolt, yep. for those who don't know. Well, someone here is probably better much better suited than I am to explain Black Bolt's powers, I, I guess. Anybody want to take that one? Yeah. Black Bolt could have just opened his mouth at any time and fucking vaporized her. But what are his like what's his power set other than that? Uh I not much. I mean, he can, you know, fly. I thought he had like some kind so, of strength or agility thing. He's got you know? strength or agility. He can fly. Uh, yeah, yeah. But all he had to do uh, was go, "Hey, bitch," <laughs> and he would have been dead. <laughs> she's like, cunt. she's like, "What can I'm you do?" And he just says, "Cunt." <laughs> he just yeah, kills that's, it. that's the word he uses to kill her with. That would be great. Cunt. Love it. Cunt, 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 cunt. Can her can her witchcraft protect her from? This, like, if he had like screamed at her, I doubt her it. Magic of could have. Like... Had to move really fast. Yeah, she'd like, probably need to know it's coming to be able to defend herself from it. Um, right. If only the they. Nature? Maybe if someone could tell her. I don't know. Uh, anyway, the <laughs> the next person in line would be Reed Richards. Okay, now Gary, you can explain his power set. Go right ahead. Okay. Well, he's stretchy and really, really fast. And, um, I mean, they didn't explain it in this movie, but he is the smartest man in the Marvel universe because his brain doesn't work like a human brain. It's, it's the same aspect of his, as his powers. So his brain can basically, uh, he's quick and stretchy, quick and stretchy. He can, he can think things out quicker than anybody. And he would have figured out a way to snap her neck. It would have been just that easy. He's like, that's, uh, it's weird that they're this late into it and like the stretching effects were no better. Chris mm. Gore pointed this out no better than they were in the fucking fantastic Tim Story Fantastic Four movie when like Elastigirl in the Pixar films is rad. Like the way they show the stretchy par powers. Yeah. yeah easily yeah. done. I remember uh, talking about that with you because, uh, She's she's really fast in Incredibles when she punches people and stuff. It goes <laughs> like that's how she's stretching. But in this movie and in some other stuff, it'll go as it's going forward. It's like, oh man, that's gonna get me. <laughs> you coming for yep. me? Okay, yeah, it's like Austin Powers in front of the <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it's 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 pathetic. So uh, and. Yeah. yeah, with with all of that known, right? That's your power set. How in the fucking will is the Scarlet Witch? Together? Yeah. How is the Scarlet Witch going to defeat this team? Well, Reed Richards is a very gracious man. He's like, you know <laughs> what? I've given <laughs> her every chance in the fair. book. Now it's time to Monday. let her know that she she's not looking great in this fight. I would like to let her know about my friend and his powers and how they work uh, in order. You might to... as well have said, "You look fat in those." <laughs> pre boring too <laughs> blows him up immediately like. um yeah uh, i don't like i said i don't know how else to say it uh reed richards explains to the scarlet witch what black bolt's powers are and what she needs to do to kill him pretty much yeah and then <laughs> she does that uh, uh one of the most frustrating things in the mcu <laughs> like, hardest just... man alive and the like... defense for this is reed richards has never been street smart so <laughs> Oh, <laughs> out of oh. here. So, so even Street ignoring smart. <laughs> Street <laughs> Smart, <laughs> Street Smart One Hundred and One. Jesus dude. Christ! I think it's <laughs> nobody said that. Tell me, please. Nobody said that. Not yeah, no, that's that. that's actually the, the most popular defense of this moment. In oh my internet. fucking that's god! That's even a defense. Read a comic book for fuck's sake. <laughs> I didn't. So, I didn't know that this well, is street smarts. I was like, "Is this combat? Isn't that like it's one of the most important aspects of his critical thinking?" Smarts. 
Yeah, so because Wanda, she is just so down with the streets, you know. What, she is, knows the well, what are they appealing to? What is street smart about revealing tactical advantages? That's what is I'm saying. Like, yeah, if we categorize insane. it as like book smart versus street smart, I think tactics relating to like war goes book into smart. book smarts. Yeah, yeah. This I have like fought and defeated well Doctor Doom like a bunch of times. He's not street smart. Yeah, <laughs> but, no. but let's think about how Black Bolt ultimately oh, died, which is. Uh, 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 realizes that his mouth is sealed he realizes it and despite having spent most of his life you know probably very conscientiously never using his vocal folds for some reason when he's in a position where using his powers would be an instant suicide button he decides to let off a little <laughs> and his uh, fucking now, yeah. Dude, that's, that's, that's one little humiliation before they Sorry. give the maximum yeah. humiliation so it, and that was the whole point of it. There's a lot the to touch on there. Of the fucking oh, scene was to humiliate, right? Oh. And it's you're humiliating Doctor Strange throughout his whole fucking movie. You 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 kill the the the, the Illuminati, uh, the ones who are there in order of privilege. It's fucking retarded. And as, as, and we haven't even got to the ladies who just stood there and did nothing. We'll talk and about that in a second. <laughs> Um, I guess to touch on the, to expand on the Black Bolt thing, so, so first, first of all, yeah, Meme, you're totally right, like, given that if ever he opens his mouth and, like, speaks at all, there's a risk that somebody dies, I imagine he's very careful, like, he's constantly aware of what he's doing and what he's saying, and, um, yeah. and, and, and so, like, the fact that he would let out a little scream, it's like, okay, so, yeah, like, for whatever panic there is, I think that he would be so in control of that aspect of him that he wouldn't do that, but... Even if he did, why would it reflect off of his mouth and blow his skull up? Why wouldn't it just blow his face off? Like, why wouldn't he? Well, like, he should blow through his lips and he mouth. should survive. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. should survive. Well, well, am I, does this it mean hurt. that he, is, is it that he makes sound or is it that he opens his mouth? Which is it? What, what, what is the, what does the power stem from? Speaking or opening his mouth? Speaking. Okay, so like, wait, so, so what happens? So, so that means so the like, power travels through his biology yeah. at least to some degree and he's immune to the damage from it until it he reaches be immune to his the damage. skull if, if he closes his mouth and goes <laughs> does that blow his uh, presumably yes explode his head but presumably that explodes his head does it uh, well the problem is we don't have enough to work with other than knowing it'll smash through his skin and flesh but it won't it won't smash through that but it will smash through his skull well, because if the noise is coming up your throat if the noise is traveling because that's <laughs> where the sound comes yeah, from, his right? nose I get, yeah, would, wouldn't it, it could come well, out yeah, of his nose. Yeah, it would go yeah. out of his nose. Yeah, mm, He'd blow yeah right. his nostril holes into the floor. Yeah, yeah I think you're right. Yeah. It should have gone out his nose, and if not, it should have blasted through his lips, and it should have hurt like hell, yeah. but that I should have happened would've... before it blows up his skull. Yeah. It should be pointed out that his tuning fork is on his head. That's how he directs what? his power. The fork on his head. That's how he so directs it? The one they it? Okay. have in the show, yeah, that's how he directs his power. All right, well. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, you probably I, guess. I mean, uh, I don't know. It's not anything I thought about. I've thought about th the thing taking rock shits, but I haven't thought about this. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and let's think about Mr. Fantastic's powers for a second. He could probably make his fingers really sharp, right? So he would just be like, oh, sorry, uh, this is going to hurt Black Bolt. I'm going to cut you a new mouth hole. And then suddenly he's got the ability to shout again. Yeah. Please don't scream in pain said, when I do. The minute that happened to Black Bolt, then Captain Marvel could have shot her fucking galactic beams at her and fried her. Because uh, Captain yeah. Marvel, unless it's different, is essentially the way they've amped up her power over years. She's the Superman of the Marvel universe. Mm. Essentially. Yeah, I think exactly. the, well, the moment... Unkillable. Yeah, the moment they see what she does to... Um, to Black Bolt, it's like it should be just full attack with everything yeah. that you have. It'd just over all of you, oh, yeah, well, go so, out or so for take those, her out. For those who don't know, because there are some who don't know in this chat right now, listen, I'm oh. sure of it. You, you're thinking to yourself, so Black Bolt's just been killed, his head's been fucking blown off essentially. Three heroes remaining, what do they do? Well, Captain Carter does nothing, <laughs> Captain <laughs> Marvel does nothing. nothing, Reed Richards nothing. does the best move he's got. Slowly just, moves towards her with his stretchy yes. hand. <laughs> slow, fucking uh, really at, at slowly. Which, at which point, at which point, he is turned into spaghetti by uh, Wanda. Just a slowly pile of from the ends of his slowly, limbs up. painfully, the ends of his limbs up. Yes, not from his head. Painfully, 
the painful demise of Reed Richards. And then, um, right as the spaghettification well, of his head would have happened, she explodes it. Yeah, it's yeah. just like a little pop, like a comic kill. Mm -hmm. It is. And that's, that's, finish him off. Yeah. That's the beginning and end of Reed Richards, his first appearance in the Marvel Cinematic yep. Universe. He, here, here's, my, here's my biggest problem, though, and it goes far beyond this scene, is if Wanda has the ability to, you know, sew someone's mouth shut or just turn them into spaghetti and vaporize them with a single thought, why would she ever fight anyone physically in any no way? Idea. No idea. Draco doesn't make fucking sense. She's she's a, she hasn't killed Doctor Strange and Wong like ten times when she well, easily yeah, could. If yeah, she, like if imagine she... if Strange is going up against her in the finale. She just like looks at him and just instantly vaporizes him. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Know that she Why can do fight? I'll she... just I'll just press my apparently multiple insta kill buttons and just win. This is the thing. This mm -hmm. is the depowered Scarlet Witch that did this. Yeah, she's not even Darkhold she... Witch or Scarlet Witch yeah. Witch. Just Wanda. disintegrated people, like, effortlessly. So, like, the yeah. super-duper powerful Scarlet Witch should be, like, no contest, right? Yeah. And she certainly yeah. wouldn't waste time on someone like um, Captain Carter, and yet she ends up fighting her. Oh, like, this is well, some hand-to-hand -hand gladiator I, contest. And I, I guess it's because we almost skim past it. Reed Richard dies a horrible death and nobody does anything to stop it. Yeah, they, they still haven't there. reacted at all. They watch him get yeah. shredded slowly, and they do nothing. While he's screaming his head off. Screaming. Like, he's, he's, it's not, it's very unpleasant, and they're just it's kind of, like, not like, doing anything to help him. And, and I, I would be surprised if this is how it went down. They shot the scenes with the separate actors, and they didn't tell them what was going on. Probably. Uh, they were well, worried about so, fucking so spoilers, or they uh, didn't have the story. Yeah, they probably told him that, you something... know, sudden death for both your friends. That's all it is. Well, yeah, Captain Marvel's uh, reaction, I mean, it's like, they, they basically told her, yeah, it, you know, it looks like uh, Scarlet Witch just gave you a mild insult. Yes, because that's the way she reacts. It's like it's she compl absolutely it's does completely not wrong. react. Yeah, she doesn't react the way that she should, given her like colleague has just died a horrible death. Captain Carter reacts more like the, the way that you would. She looks She's shocked like, and stunned, surprised. which is yeah. something. Um, but yeah, Captain Marvel looks like she's saying, "Okay, you've made me angry now." Yeah, which is like, dude, they wow. just what the fuck? your friends are dead. <laughs> yeah, two of, your, two of your friends have just died. I guess they aren't I, friends. No, I guess uh, uh, it's probably close. worth bringing very up because um, you, you mentioned it. Apparently, these people did not shoot together. Like, there may well it may well have been that like John Krasinski wasn't there at the same time as everybody else. That's why they never like look directly at each other. Yeah. Kinda, oh like, yeah. They, they, they totally interact. did not shoot any of these scenes together. They were all separate. You could tell. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's tell. awkward in in the council chambers. Alone. Yeah. They just never look at each other. What a fun way to make movies. They just shoot actors uh, individually against else? a fucking green screen. How else will we get fucking cartoons. cameos, Drinker? Jesus. Come on. Mm -hmm. Marvel films are cartoons now. That's all they are. That, I mean, like, nobody's wearing costumes. Cartoons. Yeah, I'm sorry, I shouldn't. <laughs> Leave cartoons <laughs> alone. <laughs> it needs to be their own, their own it's, it's... special little um, thing. Marvel films are just, they're just a, their own little category. The, they're chasing like green fucking tennis balls everywhere yeah. on sticks and in a green room so being shot separately. Which I guess is funny to say that because like Avatar 2, they got the trailer and I already know that with that film they like actually shot underwater for the underwater stuff. Like they, they did motion capture oh, underwater. Very impressive. Well, but they developed the technology over just... the course of like a year and a half to, to do it accurately. Yeah, we have to because, acknowledge yeah. that Marvel's on a horrible crunch time crazy level production uh, limit. Yeah, because... Avatar did their yeah, motion capture years. shooting for this film like four years ago. This film yeah. has had like years of post production, and I mean, it already shows in that trailer. It's super mm. impressive. It does. I mean, it looks nice. It's yeah. quite a trailer. It's. I it's, mean, it's a look. We're, it's something. We're in this weird, awkward world. Way of the like, water. Hmm, like I kind of this this Avatar movie, man. James Cameron has really wanted to make it for like a decade, <laughs> and he, he's invested years into it. It's like. I mean, that's and kind these of people are just Yeah, and, and the MC stuff just feels like just this corporate sludge that gets put out. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, we might get lucky and have some piece of creativity or artistry in it, but... Uh. See, see, when we're talking about shit reactions to, like, non-existent monsters, I know you guys all have talked about this already, but that moment when America Chavez is running away from the giant squid monster in New York... The look like so. on her face is so... Like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Uh huh. There's a lot it, of bad compositing in this yeah. film. Um, 
there's like a lot of shots where you can tell it's like, ooh, that doesn't look real. My top pick yeah. would be the them on, on Titan. Oh, that Professor looks X. awful. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're starting to use more for our uh, films the uh, that light stage thing that they use for Mando, which uh, mm. gets it, it seems to be the main issue is it's hard to do lighting to match the lighting yeah. with the. And maybe it's just because you didn't even know where it was going to be, like yeah. with these films, because be they have no idea. Nobody talks to each other. Nobody knows what's coming. Nobody knows like it's very know, assembly line esque, and nobody talks to each other at different yeah. points. Well, the only line. person, the only person who seems to know what's going on all the time is like Kevin Feige, but he doesn't share that with everybody by the sounds of it. So it's like, how do you how do you reliably tell stories when you have no idea like where things connect? But this is the fun That's part. They don't. Weird. Well, they don't, but, no. uh, but yeah. <laughs> they don't need to. Uh, well, it doesn't matter, right? Anything. Because look at this. Yeah, this film's made a ton of money. And uh, just in case, because I, I actually think we may have actually just gone over the main point because there's so many points to make. Yeah. Reed Ridges did something incredibly stupid. That's yeah, very, yeah, just, very, yeah. very stupid. It's it can be understated how fucking retarded that was. This guy can stretch anything anywhere. Hmm. Like, <laughs> Let me grab. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna grab you with my hand. I'm, I'm strangle you with my cock. <laughs> you're, you're almost curious, like, what, what do you what do you think he would have wrapped his fingers around her? Been like, gotcha. <laughs> no, <laughs> and then she explodes. Yeah. So well, yeah, really well, disappointing. Also, something I want to say about how Professor X could have been utilized, but I think I should we should wait. Yeah, we'll get there. Don't worry yeah. about that. Because we we've got the the Captain Marvel fight. Right. So <laughs> the. Once Reed has been exploded, and as we've talked about, should be the fate of these other two, the music starts up and the fight begins. And it's like, hang on, why? Like, why is there even a fight? How could that possibly happen? And yeah, uh, the Scarlet Witch manages to go toe to toe with Captain Carter, a, a super soldier with a dinner plate, as Jay Longbone put it. Uh, how? Funny. How? How is this happening? Like, you should just be dead. There's just nothing There's you no can do. Or Captain Carter would be able to fight her. No, nope. she's way too strong. It's not happening. Um, but yes, they they have an extended fight scene. Um, all I'm gonna say is the first half of the fight scene, we see uh, she fucking like Her torpedoes. She torpedoes a statue into Captain uh, Marvel, and it like pins her against a wall. It smashes right in. Just wanted to highlight that. So that's something that happens to her, and she's fine after it, okay? All right? Yeah? Totally good. Mm -hmm. yep. Absolutely fine. Um, really, if this was the real Captain Marvel, like, her getting hit with that statue wouldn't even stop her. Like, she would just blast oh. right through yeah. it. Well, remember, in her origin story movie, before she even, like, fully understood the breadth of her power, she, like, just flew through a ship that was charging right towards her, and it did nothing. Mm -hmm. Captain Marvel is incredibly powerful. Like, a statue... I think it's safe she to say that she's impervious to statues. Absolutely. Yeah, There's like if this yeah, would she would just she would basically hyperdrive straight through Scarlet Witch and blast her into, you know, atoms pretty well, much. Well, she can yep. that fly at light dead. speed, that's right. She can she can fly at light speed, so she can kill her before she can even blink. Yeah. But, which is something yeah. like it's should be done all by the all of them pretty much. It. But that's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um we cut back to Mordo being pissy. Just, just being like, they're gonna come back and judge you soon. And Doc Strange is like, they're all dying. And he's like, no, -uh. <laughs> no, -uh. is, is like, dude, access your fucking Ultron bot security. There's no way she killed all of them. Watch your teammate die, and then have you have it confirmed. But we'll get to that anyway. We cut back to the fight. Access your telepath. God damn it. No. Yeah. <laughs> cut back to the fight, and for some reason, Scarlet Witch and Captain Carter are having like close combat back and forth. It's like, <laughs> what? Why? Yeah. It's like, how did? Mm. No, happen? you don't understand. This is her being reasonable. Oh, God. <laughs> oh right. My bad. Um, well, like when when Carter like lunges at her and smashes the shield into her face, would that not cave her skull in? Like, isn't it Wanda should. dead? Well, that that was the point where I just realized that Wanda is no longer a glass cannon. She's just got super resilience. Um, Seemingly, yeah. Because that should have absolutely. Killed her. I mean, She's it's just vibranium. It's 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 like indestructible. Your skull is destructible. You know, if one of these things is gonna break, it's you. Thick as it may be, it is quite vulnerable. And then, for some reason, it's with Captain Carter that she says this, but we know exactly why she says, uh, "Haven't you had enough?" Wanda says that, which is weird to me, but it prompts mm -hmm. a line. 
That one you all oh, love. No, I oh, could yeah, do yeah. this all day. Oh, oh, Steve said the thing. Oh, no, Take no, it no. back. It's like they completely why? forgot uh, why that line has meaning. It's not just a line that he says randomly. And well, no, the first time he says it is when he's fighting a dude who he cannot beat. Yeah, yeah it's in the, um, the alleyway, it's isn't it? It's always like, yeah, that's skinny right. Steve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a line that's said basically acknowledging, I'm, I'm probably losing here, but my spirit ain't broken. Yeah, like it's the core of his character right there in that single line. Yep. Whereas it's like, is it the core of Peggy's character? It's like, well, no, Peggy has other things going on for her. Really? She has a different. Even if it, w this is this is kind of my the best compromise I can give. Maybe I could see it that she can deliver that line in a scene that would make it meaningful. But we haven't been given any of the context for that. All we've got you here. Don't know who she is. Yeah. All all we've got here is it's a line you like from Steve. Can I have it? Like, uh... please. No, actually, give her, can't. give her her own line. Give her her own cool line. Yeah, like, what does it have to do with you? Anything? Is there anything in the story for Carter? We don't even know what. It, like, do they assume this you've is... seen the What If story? And if so, like, there's nothing in that. But, but Steve could have inspired her to if? say the line in the What If story, and that would be something. But that doesn't this happen. Just, this is just desperate attempts to milk something out of these characters that are on screen for about four minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, and we got a chance to get to know none of them. We, we can't is... possibly care about them. It's gotten so superficial, the writing, that if someone picks up that shield, then they have to say they that say line. I do this all day. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, I wouldn't but, be surprised if mean, fucking Falcon says it in Captain America 4. But it's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> funny that she says, I can do this all day, and then 10 seconds later, she dies. Yep. Like, yeah. I, I, don't know what, Again. I don't know if that was on purpose, or like if that was... I don't get it. Well, because uh. the music reflects that of like tragedy when she dies, but it's funny. Like what? It's really she funny. even she dies in like the stupidest of all the ways you could have killed her that would have made sense. This isn't one of them. Cap getting a shield yes. thrown back at him is one of the things that he can deal with. Yeah, he'll catch it, or like it won't chop him in half. Like, and they, <laughs> the editing is so garbage. They try to imply yeah, that is. Cap didn't Carter throws it, and she's already recovering from the throw by the time it reaches Scarlet Witch, and then she like pauses when she grabs it, then spins and then throws it back. And for some reason, they reset Captain Carter to be turning her back to her. For recovering, yeah. It's for bullshit. Recovering. That's the only reason she dies is because they like undo her ability to react to stuff. It's just like the, the universe bends to make her fail, and she's already yeah. easy to beat for Scarlet Witch. You don't need to cripple her. Mm hmm. Ugh. It's pretty Snap lame, honestly. And she it's dies. actually, that's it's it. actually kind of lame that you would have be like, "Hey, yeah, Captain Carter," and then that's how she dies. Being an idiot, <laughs> but they're all idiots, so you know, whatever. Yeah. Oh. And and then it's just after this, it's like, ah, now Captain Marvel breaks free. If she had broken free a little bit earlier, she could have saved her friend, but Never she, mind. she couldn't. And it's how she doesn't really have friends she... amongst these people. <laughs> I well, think I they all hated her. Yeah. Yeah. How? <laughs> How choked up is she that one of her, three of her four friends are now, have perished painfully. It's like, oh, get out of my universe. It's like, that's a weird thing to say. <laughs> you, I think, yeah, like, if she'd been absolutely infuriated and just gone at her with everything she had, like, okay. That would have been better. That would have been way there. better. Oh, yeah, you, you'd want, like, a, a scream, if anything. Oh. Like, yeah, like, she's oh, just yeah. out for vengeance a now. Anything. Yeah. There's, there's no facial she's, she's well, it's LaShawn, LaShawn Lynch. Well, Maybe she was trying to act. We just didn't the, see it. The, the, the problem is that, uh, as the line was just delivered by Fringy, it's like, it's essentially that. She just says, get out of my universe! Like, oh god, yeah, what the fuck? Just, I feel like it's... Why, 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 why can't you give her a character, like an actual one? <laughs> yeah. Like, no. <laughs> well, d d like, just uh, like, look at Tony in Civil War, that last fight, when he realizes there's a guy here that may have killed his mum and dad. Just, yeah. Keep an eye on his face, mm -hmm. the the expressions mm -hmm. he gives, but also the few words that get out of his mouth are, uh... I mean, we got, we got heaps of examples of this, right? Remember in Guardians 2 when he goes like, yeah, I killed your mom, and then he just immediately blasts him. It's like, yeah, because that's what says he's angry. Mm -hmm. Like, is Captain is Captain Marvel, in, like, not angry here? Your friends are dead. These are Again, your comrades. It's, it's, it's your either... Buddies. The direction, the writing, the Gacta, or all of them. I don't know, but I something's don't... wrong. <laughs> yeah, wrong. Give you a window to, to defeat her, where it's like, she's so bent on revenge, she's so infuriated that she's not thinking tactically, and she makes some, you know, unfocused mistakes in yeah. the fight that Wanda can exploit. Then, okay, that's... Yeah. 
Well, well the, work, the way I would want to do it is that they establish the there is some kind of holding cell for Wanda. It's perfectly designed to contain something that powerful. And then you have it so that Wanda puts Captain Marvel in it. Because um, I don't understand how you, she can kill Cap uh, Captain Marvel. I just don't get it. Other than just vaporizing her, but I don't think that's satisfying. It would just be like, oh, I don't. okay. I guess I don't even know that I would buy that it's like, what does it mean to be able to vaporize somebody who seems to be pretty impervious to like physical harm, you know? I don't know. Or, or is it, because I mean, isn't that. it, the way that works in like DC is fantastic. Mm. Why, it, the way that works in DC is that Superman is vulnerable to magic, right? Like that's like a big vulnerability of his. Yep. Because like being, being exposed to like the sun and everything, that doesn't really protect you against something that isn't like physical or like tangible from physics or anything. I, maybe that would be the way to do it here. Like actually have Captain Marvel not be that effective against Skull. The problem is I don't even really know what Wanda's powers are at this point. Like I, um, I don't know what. She no, do we've never known what Wanda's powers are. They're just whatever mm -hmm. the script needs them to be. Yep. Same for Doctor can Strange. I, to be fair. Can I point out as well? Apparently, Doctor Strange has dropped eighty-two percent week over week. Ooh. What? Ooh. No, wow. wow. That is a brutal is drop. What kind Brutal of drop. What kind of drops do we usually expect? 60, like 60 70? 70? 68, 65, 68. Damn. Wow. What, uh, I, 82. I, I guess why. that will be. Ooh. Well, maybe it's pretty much like, value. I, it I guess, well, because there's a lot of factors, right? It could be that word of mouth is not good. Like, word of mouth helps a lot. It could be that all the people who wanted to see it went in super duper early because of cameos and stuff. And so, like, Maybe it misrepresents the overall broad interest in watching the film. No way home like, factor. Maybe, yeah. Like people had expectations about what the film was going to be that don't align uh, with uh, what the film was. Because No Way Home didn't like. I mean, again, No Way Home made like one point eight billion dollars. Like that's it's a lot of money. Uh, no Way Home was a film that was worth rewatching. This is very much not very. Well, much I, not. If you don't feel like no shit when you're done with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's the the thing is um No Way Home it's pretty obvious what people are going to be getting out of that film which is like meaningful character moments um that are going to be appealing to a wide breadth of people pretty much universally I don't I don't know what I actually don't know what you would identify as being really great in Doctor Strange like really it seems like a lot of it is focused on the filmmaking which that's fair enough, but I'm not sure that that translates as well to like a broader audience of like, yeah, the filmmaking was really good. I think it's always going to be characters in the story that is like the big, broad universal appeal that's going to get people, you know, content and willing to come back or, yeah. Well, wow. I, I just think it, it had a, a lot to do with the, you know, just the anticipation. It was the last Probably. Marvel film, technically, and I think that had a lot to do with bringing a lot of people to the theater too. They were expecting a similar experience because it's normies, so they're like, oh, it's Marvel. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? One film oh, yeah. is just about Spider-Man. It's about everything so Spider-Man. It's like, now Spider-Man's a big deal, but it's just Spider-Man, and this is the multiverse of... The problem is I don't want to lean into that too much because a film can really be whatever it wants to be. Like, it doesn't yes. need to go crazy with cameos or anything like that. But I mean, I don't even know if it's a matter of cameos. They really don't leverage the multiverse here. Like they don't. No. Oh, they don't. Yeah, no. they, they feel wasted. Maybe it's for the best at this point. Yeah. Uh, it's been cool so though. Just these some crazy with, universes. Mm, yeah, but we just That's get cool. other oh. city versions. Yeah. And like well, yeah, a little glimpse of some weird universes in the thing when they That's... go through the uh, portals, I guess. Well, it's just all of these universes feel like much more interesting places to explore for a long period of time than, uh, yeah. than just hey, a little bit futuristic New York and a little bit destroyed Plans. New York. There are like, other, oh, cool. you know, what? the paint universe. <laughs> yeah, like spend a little time in the paint universe. Exactly. I I think they yeah, said it on Real BBC, but it was like, or or, or with Fring or something. But just you could even make it a gag where they just. The, you know, the grand music and the the camera angle spinning around, they stop there, just the frame still, music stops, pile yeah. of paint, and it's just like... How, how do, yeah, how do they not go into a Kirby universe? Yeah, fuck a paint universe. Kirby, like, Kirby crackle everywhere. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, they're dumb. Like, well, just... imagine, remember Looney Tunes back in action where they're jumping in and out of the paintings? It, it, there should be, a, like, a scene like that, surely. 
Well, it's yeah. a one minute sequence. You get like a one minute sequence and that is the the most that you're going to get out of like the multiverse premise and it's yep. nothing. Lame. Um, it's really lame. Lame. Yeah. So, they, uh, the, the, what else can you do when you're a hack writer and you got to make these two fight? You put them in a <laughs> I am all the Jedi type fight where they just blast a laser at each other. And in circle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, until they just blow up and it's like, whoa. Is, yeah, crazy. Um, yeah. And then, you, like, I think legit in this in this film when I was watching it, I was just like, how in the world is she gonna kill Captain Marvel? And you know when she vaporizes her like face mask thing, I was like, oh, is it just gonna be she vaporizes her? I guess that's a way to do it because how else can you do it? But no, they they went way worse. Uh, they blast away from <laughs> each other. Captain Marvel hits a statue and then falls down to the ground while Wanda just. You know, almost like a leaf, just sort of lands much nicely. Because obviously, if she slammed into a statue, she would have broken her back. So, can't have that happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but she spots the Captain Marvel is down on the floor, and there's a statue above her. So maybe if she makes the statue fall on her, she will win, and she is correct. Which is fucking stupid. Captain Marvel doesn't yeah. give a shit about a statue falling on her. Come on. She flew no. through a space ship. <laughs> she, could, she even, like, when the statue's coming at her, she puts her arms up to, like, defend herself. I was like, just fly away. Lost it. Fly away. Yeah, fly. Yeah. You have so many options. And, and this it is the like, thing. No, no, you, you have all of us who are not fans of Captain Marvel being yeah. like, hey, like Captain Marvel deserves better than this. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, the thing is, if you. What her powers would be. Yeah, if you can't reconcile how powerful this character is and there's no logical way to overcome her, just don't put her in the fucking movie. Yeah. Swap yeah. her out for someone else. Wait, is that really how she dies? A statue falls on her and she dies. A statue falls on yep. her. Yes. Yeah. Yep. yes. Yeah, Captain Marvel's weakness is stone statues. It, 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 it doesn't... Yeah. Only she can with fly no through statue. an entire ship. The, she can fly through it and blow it up. And the only unharmed. defense that I'm aware of was in, I think it might have been the prior EFAP or a different catch-up stream, but someone said um, she wasn't dead, she was knocked out. I it's, mean, I, 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 don't know what I'm meant to, I don't know what I'm meant to pull away from her, like, hand falling to the ground. That feels to me like a she's dead shot. Yes. But then, uh, let's yeah, just, let's just, let's just amuse, it's, it's, amuse that it, idea. It, even if that's true, she's not going to be knocked out for long. Well, she shouldn't, no, she's and she shouldn't be knocked back out. It's, when it's she's no going to get back up, as an at, the latest, at the latest, when uh, evil Wanda is going to go away from this Wanda version, she's like, this Wanda is going to come back. She's going to get obliterated by, oh, yeah, yeah. by Captain Marvel <laughs> instantly. That's right, and then that's the end of that universe as Wanda. Yeah. Which makes so GG all the ways around. But even if she's knocked out, it's no better an explanation. Like that's still no, a no. statue shouldn't even have the power to do that to her. Yeah, no, you're right. It, it, it would be an absurd. Marvel, she, <laughs> she flew. She tanked a punch from the power stone, like directly yeah. to the face. She tanked a punch from the stone that is power in Kamala. <laughs> if she can power. effortlessly fly through intergalactic battleships. Like what's more yeah. powerful, the power stone, literally a stone that controls like power in the whole universe, hardest into a fucking punch, or one statue like, boy. On. Hey, we don't know what that oh. statue's made of. True. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just studied that's... with power stones. <laughs> yeah. And, and I guess the whole time you might be here like, where is uh, Professor X? That's a good question. Chilling. So the next well, scene is... Uh... Dramatic... He was waiting for his other dramatic entrance that he yeah, planned. Yeah, he's, he's scooting. He's scooting oh, his way there. He's not there. Yeah. <laughs> he's... Going as fast as I can. Where is he? Um... <laughs> I'm gonna see if you know. He's recovering from getting to the Illuminati so, chamber. Mordo, Mordo looks around at the fucking like the 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 literal the walls are shaking because because of how much damage is being done, and uh, Doctor Strange is like, uh, all your fucking friends are dead, so you may as well cast your vote now because he's the last council member, and Mordo does eventually do that. He says, "I'm ready to cast my vote." The implication being, since he's the only one, he only needs one vote to condemn Doctor Strange to death, which means. Everything we see of Mordo in this scene is with him knowing all of his friends are dead. Yep. And doing nothing about it. Yep. But, well, I'm not even, I wasn't even going to go there. I was just, look at, look at how he's acting. Look at the way he talks. It's like, he doesn't care. Nobody cares. I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like that was shot in a different movie and they reshot 80% of the movie and didn't bother fixing that part. A little bit. Um, mm -hmm. and was yeah. that the original plan? Or was that this was Maybe. a different movie or a jumble oh, of two be. different movies? Or? Gotta be. 
the, the, I don't know what this movie was supposed to be originally at this point. But the fact that they reshot so much, moved so many things around. They moved things around just because of how popular No Way Home was. Mm -hmm. Because it makes you wonder what kind of decisions get made that they don't tell you about. Uh, we, we brought it up before, but if we're saying again, um, there's a joke that's made actually by somebody saying that they do I can't remember whose video I saw this in. It could have been Gary's or, or Drinker's, but um, the thing where it's like, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch doesn't even know if he's in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> what? That wasn't, my, that wasn't mine. I'd take credit for that. But. So, uh, it was just a funny clip. I can't remember whose video I saw it in, but I was just like, yeah, that's, that's the reality of the filming right now. And, and Benedict Cumberbatch himself said he wasn't sure of what his character is doing in this film. Like, he doesn't yeah. know. <laughs> Man. Well, Sam, Sam Raimi was quoted in Hollywood Reporter. I'm paraphrasing that. Yeah, it's, it's a little difficult to make a movie when you don't know the ending. Yeah. Man. Man. Oof. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh. yeah, this is. Why, why bring make money? guys like this him is... if you're not going to make use of them and you're not going to actually let them tell a story? Of Sam Raimi. Fucking hate it. It's, it's crazy to think about. It's just like, man, what kind of movie do you end up with when you have that kind of uh, approach? You're like, well, this. This. <laughs> this is what you get. A, a true multiverse of madness. There was a little slip on the red carpet. We didn't put it in the video. Uh, we might put the audio in later. Perry found it. Uh, where a co-producer says, and it could have been him misspeaking, but he like clearly says, like, I directed this movie with Sam Raimi. Hmm. And it's a guy who's been attached to a lot of other Marvel films. And we already know that, well, with the female directors, they don't let them direct the action. So I don't think there'd be any different with the dudes. I think those those set pieces are set up in advance. Uh, so they do the pre-visualization for all of the fights, yep. like a lot of that, a lot of the effects pre-visualized in 2016. Yep. yep. Oh yeah, I don't know. I feel like it explains a lot. But um, so for those who are following along, it's like yeah, Doc Strange is tied up in those anti-magic bracelets, and Mordo is the only one left in the room. So he says, "Hey, Mordo, you're like you're like a bitch, and you always didn't like me." <laughs> And, <laughs> you little cuck. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And, <laughs> and, and he's like, I bet you were glad that I died because boy. then you can be your little sorcerer supreme. Isn't that right? And then Mordo's like, enough! You're annoying me! I'm gonna kill you now. And it's like, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Mordo's a little smart jerk. person. Yeah. And so sorcerer he supreme. jumps... Yeah, I know, right? Like, why would <sighs> this guy be the sorcerer supreme? Whatever. So he why keeps... would any of these people be the sorcerer supreme? Like, we've had three and they're all shit. The first thing you might think with Mordo is like, if he's going to execute Doctor Strange, drop him into the Blender universe with your portals. Do that. <laughs> the Blender yeah. dimension, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean, might as well. Um, There's got to be a, a Blender dimension somewhere. Yeah, surely. Uh, well, it, it, maybe he keeps a Blender in his basement, a big one, and he just has it on all the time, so he can portal people there whenever he needs to. <laughs> well, I don't know, just teleport him to the universe where the heat death has already happened, and there's just nothing. Just Volcano, space... Deep you know, in the middle of the you, ocean. You would, be, you would be surprised how much of the universe is actively trying to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> so very tiny, he can very, do all very that. tiny parts of the universe you could actually live on. Or he can chop off his legs. For you guys. Do, do that standard yeah. thing with a portal. He can do a lot of things with this portal. But let's just... He doesn't He doesn't have one, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't have one. What's he going to do now? Like, well, I guess he'll attack him with his trusty sword that he has. And then the every magic sword, so there you go. Magic every fucking sword? attack yeah. he delivers is getting blocked by the magic bracelets. It's like, hmm. Yeah. Mm, hey, job. Mordo, can you maybe figure out what Doc Strange is trying to do here? I don't know. No. no. Also, one of no. the things I found really weird about this fight was that if it was Doctor Strange's plan to have his dagger sword go through the bracelets and break them, holding them up in front of you to block the blade... I don't know, man. That's quite a risk you're taking there with that maneuver. This this whole plan is kind of insane. Work. Um, like it's a huge risk. All of it is because Mordo could have killed him in way more efficient ways that prevent him from doing anything. I like how Mordo is that petty. He's like, "Ha! Huh, you said mean things about me. Guess I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <Time> <laughs> to die." And the whole time I'm thinking, this is a Doctor Strange movie. He's in this inconsequential fight in some crevice with fucking Mordo. <laughs> And uh, Wanda's like wiping out the Illuminati Reed Richard, yeah. and the Illuminati uh, without Professor Yay. X. Well, and it wasn't even uh, it wasn't even the magic sword that did it. He got thrown into a wall, and that's what breaks open the bracelet. However, it doesn't break it; it opens it to be closed again. It's like oh, that was, that was lucky. Yeah, really lucky that it all worked mm. out that way. Um, 
And so, yeah, Mordo doesn't stab him as he's approaching. He instead prepares him nice and slowly to do an execution, but then he gets his, his hand caught in the bracelet. So now neither of them have access to magic. Can oh, no. you Damn believe it? it? And then they, like... <laughs> good old-fashioned fist fight. They roll... I just want to see him slapping each other, like... <laughs> <laughs> Well, so Stop that's the weird thing. Um, they're both very familiar with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, I didn't know that. I guess I didn't realize that's what Doc Strange was taught as part of the... Uh... Part of the comatage. I, I guess so. Because well, I just hadn't seen it before, I guess. I, I always thought that it was magic that he does, not like actual... Um... But I can believe that that's something they taught him, I guess. But this is confirmation, at least. Yeah, my sauna and corporeal sauna. Mordo could have trapped Wanda, this Wanda, in the mirror dimension. He would have given that a shot, and he couldn't have known if she could escape. And maybe she couldn't escape. He could have saved all of his friends. He could have tried so many things. All of the things could have been tried. Yeah. And all, all of it. Just any number of moves. All of it happening while Charles is doing something. It's like, hmm. Yeah, well. Wow. Like if Charles, mm. you know, held her still or something while yep. everybody else could... Well, they know. had, uh, you know, the 88 handicap ramp, but it was just like way <laughs> off to the side. So it took him a while to get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, wait, <laughs> wait, oh, you're all oh, dead. Oh, wait, <laughs> why does this hover chair only have one setting? <laughs> It doesn't go <laughs> very high. Just slow. I Where's demanded a turbo set? button. <laughs> turbo <laughs> <trip>. <laughs> You think uh, the Illuminati could afford a turbo button? <laughs> oh, I am very tired, though. Yeah, they they very luckily fall off into this fucking hole that's just here. Nobody knows why this hole is here, but there's a hole here. It's a, it's a big old, as they said, crevice. It's just like this pathway. It doesn't go anywhere, though. Either way is blocked, so it's just like this hole. And But they don't just fall down into it. They fall onto, like, a some kind of thing. A little that, notch. Yeah, yeah, and it... And they wrap around it so it breaks their their connector. So now they're both magicless but separated. Like, okay. These, yes. these magical restraints that are supposed to like <laughs> stop the most powerful beings, you know, yeah. in the whole universe potentially, man, they are really fucking easy to break out of. Really are. So you might even say it's convenient. Uh I wouldn't though. Very convenient. Um mm. Yeah, they have just back and forth, back and forth until Strange just jumps out by kick 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 off the sides, wall jumping, and he just gets up to the top. And it's, it's like, that's that. Sick parkour moves, yeah. And, uh, because then he, as if the he scene couldn't get any worse, off. uh, as if the scene couldn't get any worse, he then ends it with saying, I'm starting to realize why your Mordo doesn't like you very much. Like, dude, your friends are dead. <laughs> 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 what that's are we his, doing? That's a killer parting line. Distraught. Ice quip. What Jeez. cartoon have we been launched into? Right. I, uh, so embarrassing. I, I, I will have to go in a second. I just wanted to leave you with a thought. Um, Do it. Strange has to go off, and like his objective, I guess, is to get to America and rescue her from mm -hmm. her chamber. But notice how he's not even allowed to do that. She has to rescue herself and get yes. herself out. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then conveniently run into him just exactly where they needed to be. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. I'm sure this movie isn't MCU. It's totally <laughs> it's, yeah, you've got to obey the rules. That's okay. <laughs> amazing. Well, uh, thanks for joining us, Drinker. Uh, always appreciate it. And I guess I'll see you Thursday. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to do... I'm, I'm going to do a long overdue Super Chat catch-up, actually, tomorrow night. Potentially. Oh. So, I don't know. Well, you don't. if you're around, great. If not, Oh, well, yeah, I'll join you if I am. I think I will be, so, yeah. Perhaps okay. I'll see you there. Um, Bye. <laughs> nice, <Mel. laughs> uh, Well, Drinker's link is in, the, is in the description. I think everyone in EFAM knows who you are at this point, but you can still no. be like, you can tell them why they should subscribe if you want to. <laughs> totally yeah. irrelevant. Give it a go. Worst, nothing, nothing bad is going to happen if you subscribe, probably. Yeah. I don't know. You got a video on um, this, this film right now. It's one of your newest ones, isn't it? It is, yeah. I think you, uh, that's my latest one. Do you think, has it gotten any worse at all since you reviewed it, or do you think it's still kind of just the same? It's getting worse the more I talk to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the more I, I discover, it's like, oh Christ, yeah. <laughs> there is a depth to its insanity. But um, yeah, well, uh, have good fun with wherever you are heading next, and um, we'll, we'll see you when we see you. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Predator, so mm. that's all good. Ooh, uh, yeah. But yeah, thanks guys, and uh, yeah, good luck with the rest of this. I think you're going to need it. Thanks very much. <laughs> See you, dude. <laughs> Later. Bye, bye. Right then. So yeah, unfortunately, that's the end of that scene, which means we're we're at the scene.
Fun enough, this was the death that annoyed me the most. Um, everyone gets their own pick, okay? Uh, but before that happens, which death are we at now? Um, I lost track. The death of <laughs> we so <laughs> basically like that whole fight she had with the Illuminati. What happened in the interim? It's like, well, Christine decided to try and use a fire extinguisher to bash open the holding cell that's meant to capture anything from the multiverse. You should like, probably know that doesn't work. Uh, she Once she designed. Yeah, she's designed it. She'll know that it won't work. Oh. I don't know why she's even trying. You, you can't even argue like, oh, well, you know, you'll try anything at that point, right? And it's like, no, I, I don't think she would do... Th she would. It would be like tapping it with a pencil. It's like, this might work. He'd be like, like, oh, I need to do something else, because that's obviously yeah. futile. I, well, I need to explore be, some other option of getting it open. There's got to be weapons in this place. Somewhere. She's got to go get one and try and use that to open the box or something like that. Not a fire extinguisher. That's so stupid. Dunk. Um, but yeah, she's almost given up. And then America does one of her power punches and it smashes, well, cracks all of the oh, Conveniently worked the window. Which means that her powers aren't magical, right? Because oh. she is wearing the... What does that even mean? Like, what could it possibly be otherwise? What would it be categorized as? Yeah, I what's a question. Mean? Cosmic? I, I guess. I don't know. It, yeah, that's what I would say, right? It's it's some sort of. It's meant to be more scientific, so, I guess. That means Maybe then that those mutant. bracelets were never going to do anything to anyone they capture that has powers that go beyond witchcraft or sorcery. Yeah. I guess I have no idea. It's... That seems I mean, to be a dumb. Which means they never probably... would have been able to stop her from using any of her powers from the get go. Like she, she yeah, just never tried. Out. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. America. Um, but yeah, she definitely has the bracelets on still at this point, so I, I just, yeah, I don't understand. But uh, I guess we just have to assume her powers are not magic related. They're not. Even though, something else. It, even though Scarlet Witch and Doctor Strange are both magic users who are able to extract those powers somehow. Yeah. How the fuck does that work? That, no, I refuse. I, I, <laughs> like, it, it doesn't. It, boo, it just doesn't make any boo. sense at all. Um, but of course she hasn't broken out just yet, so it's all too late. Scarlet Witch is here, and then you hear, Enough! It's Charlie Boy! He's here! Ba, ba, da, ba. And he's oh, doing his little... Oh, he's doing his stance, where he puts one hand on the head and one point, finger pointing at the person he's going for, and they enter yeah. the mind... What is it called? Like, Mindscape or something? Mind... There's a name for this. I, like I have no clue. It's like the, the, the Mind Palace? Oh, I think that... I don't know if that's that. That's like Sherlock, isn't it? <laughs> he has a body yeah, palace. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a more general term. Like, a, 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 the mind palace. I think it's applicable in a few um, scenarios. Mindcraft, now, that's it. Astral oh, Yeah. Well, it's... um, it, it's a, fight each other on Minecraft. It's a mind will, <laughs> basically. And Charles is looking around, and this is, again, it's there's plenty world. to compliment about this film's visuals because that's what everyone's doing and, and it's because mm -hmm. that's a thing to compliment the way that wanda would have rationalized being trapped within her own consciousness is loads of rubble and a tv like which is representative of the history that we were told she had um so it, i appreciate that that means that, that somebody yeah. somewhere cared about something oh um, good job somewhere because I imagine it's going to be specific to the person, because he's looking around like he doesn't understand this place, right? So it's built almost by her. It's, it's symbolic of how she believes her situation to be. Um, unfortunately, Char Charles is like, if I can pull you out of this rubble, that'll mean that you can get rid of evil Wanda. But as he's doing Maybe, it, possibly. big old red smoke cloud appears behind him. Very and he just, evil. <laughs> he just gives up on Wanda. He's like, well, that's not oh, well, I guess that's it. <laughs> And then big spooky zombie wander appears behind him and tears his fucking head off. Just fucking breaks the neck. Just it's, no, she corks. tears the head off. It's... Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> I, I, so I feel dumb. the need to specify that she tears his fucking head off looking like a crazy golem creature. Um, and then <laughs> we cut to the real world and he, his neck seems to be broken. And I, uh... that's the end of Professor Hanks. <laughs> yeah, yep. 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 oh, at least that they're in the... <sighs> During the Professor X's thing is that he so his, is his, mind control. That's yes. His thing. So, this is his element more than anything else. He gets in people's minds and he can navigate that and he has the mind his, powers. Mm -hmm. And Wanda still outminds him. 
Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which she could. Default I mean, Wanda. the way you could do that with the powers, but like his perception there is is not like I'm looking at something and you're gonna walk up behind me and sneak up on me. That's not the way it works. Well, it's gonna be a fight like it was degrees. when he had yeah. to fight with Jean, who like it makes more because Jean is the most powerful like mutant essentially. Did it better. In Legion, when Legion's fighting the Shadow King in the TV show, they animate it like because they obviously didn't have the money, but like fighting in the astral plane, and it's you can do whatever the fuck you want. It's crazy. Uh, and she could have found a way to fight there. It could have been interesting, but now nah, she just fucking breaks his neck. It sucks. Uh, there's a lot and to cover for why it sucks fact- specifically. Uh, Wanda, especially non juiced up Wanda, her mind control abilities aren't too great. Uh, they're fine. Like, and, and you might be like, what do you mean? It's like, so com- we're comparing to Charles Xavier here. She has to be close <laughs> range. She can influence. I don't think we ever saw her, like, full-on puppeteer person. It's only in WandaVision that the hex thing happens, but that's all without her intention. Like, that's just, like, an expression of some kind of weird spell. She didn't even mean, or have full awareness of casting. It's all a very strange thing to add to it, but up till, you know, well before that, her mind control is pretty limited compared to his, which, if everyone remembers, he's pretty OP. He can basically control people completely and on mass, mm-hmm. multiple. Yeah, <laughs> and, and that's that, that's even if you're just going on movie powers, right? Because like what we're having, what we're doing is conflating comic powers, movie powers from different universes, and that's why you got to set this up. Maybe this is just a retarded <laughs> Professor X who can, has to look at everything. I don't know. Maybe that's it. Uh, but yeah, there's a there's a lot of things they could have fixed in this movie with a sentence. With a sentence, I I had this expectation, stupid me, that <laughs> Wanda, Wanda was still going to be in the Scarlet Witch, and there was going to be some kind of inner battle between like Darkhold, Scarlet Witch, and Wanda. Like that's kind of what I thought we were going to get from the trailer. But no, she was just gone the whole time. Uh, which again was stupid because it all happened off screen. Uh, and and yes, a lot of this stuff could have just been re- fixed quickly with dialogue. I hate it when they do that, but it could it would have been something. Um, yeah, and as people pointed out, if you if you were to go by the movies, you still have that he can do the entire oh. Earth at once um, with Cerebro, uh, obviously powering yeah. it up. But at the same time, it's just representative of he's he's OP, he's top tier in his uh, regard, and that's why. Uh, as, as was just mentioned by Fringy, but still, I'm just going to repeat it. X-Men 3, the really tizzy bullshit movie, handles this so much better. Uh, Jean Grey doesn't consider it easy to kill him. She has to fight him, beat him, and so on. Like, like it's not just she appears and breaks his neck. There's a reason a dude in a wheelchair survived that long in the Marvel Universe. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> and uh, in the mindscape, I have to question... Why does he need to physically pull her from the rubble? He has complete control in that mm-hmm. in that space. Surely he's walking around. That's already a defiance of a symbolic meme. I I think that is what they're going for. It's supposed to be like um, I don't know how minds work. Like that's not meant to be taken literally. What we're minds, seeing is just yeah. a visual version of what is actually happening underneath, yeah. which is he's fucking bumbling around like an old man until he gets killed, <laughs> <laughs> which sucks. Yeah. Well, complete Dumb. disrespect, but why would I be surprised at this point? It was kind of a hard season one, all in one scene. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's a microcosm. Uh... And, and and then there's the fact that Wanda is at least temporarily subdued here, which kind of brings us to the larger problem with the Illuminati fight yes. as a whole, which is yep. to say, Professor X could have just stuck his finger yeah. out, <laughs> her, and then... And then they could have slapped the magic, the anti-magic gauntlets on her and oh, then dude, beat just, her up. Just shove a fucking knife in her throat, for fuck's sake. <laughs> End it. Jeez. As well stand around her and kick her in the face. It's like, fuck you! <laughs> like, what you could have done, I'm not saying this would have fixed it, but had, like, Charles sense her the minute she got there, and then they did their fight first. And he just dies yeah. while he's sitting there, you know, yeah. while they're about to judge him. And that get, gets everybody to go and killed systematically but oh, oh well. so bad <laughs> thinking of better things uh and this is the most notes i've made on any movie since i've started my channel it was ridiculous <laughs> i can get to everything mm-hmm. no it's just so much to say it's uh 
Because, yeah, uh, when she, like, realizes what's going on around her, it's that uh, they've broken out, they're out of there already, and so Wanda's now uh, gonna have to chase them. And uh, Christine and America make their way down some hallway, and they happen to bump into Doctor Strange. Oh, just, ah, oh, beautiful. Lucky us. Yeah. Oh, lucky. Oh, good stuff. And, um, oh, and the cape meets up with them all, too. Oh, right, yeah. Like, the Hello, clo the cloak is, is fixed and it's available and it comes to him. It's just like, man, there are so many reasons why that shouldn't have happened. Like, it, shouldn't it be in its own containment thing? It's literally yep. like an enemy. But okay, fine. It's just fine. It's fine. This is all fine. Funnily enough, these kinds of problems oh, are really low on the list compared to everything we've been through recently. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so Doctor Strange has been told that the Book of Ashanti exists, but he needs a w to get to the waypoint. And he says, Charles uh, told me about it, where is the waypoint? And then Christine is like, oh, for fuck's sake, you're just like my Steven. You always have to have your hand on the knife. You always, you're always gonna, and that knife, it, oh, killed, yeah. it killed trillions of people. It's like, I'm sorry, did, like, Christine, did you, do, all of the Illuminati are dead. <laughs> this is also, the multiverse is in, like, it's, at risk of being destroyed. Can you not be a bitch for two seconds and help I, me? Like, fucking hate Christine in this movie. This is not uh, the first time she's done this. And it's like, are you not paying attention to any of the- Do you have to have your own little bitch fest? Like, seriously. I know that, again, it's about his arc, so the words she's actually expressing have nothing to do with the scene. It's to do with you understanding what Doctor Strange's uh, through line in this movie is. But it fucks her up completely. She should be desperate to get to that fucking book. Like, we've got oh, yeah. to get to it to stop this woman from literally killing every single of one of the greatest heroes that our planet has ever been graced with. She's annihilated all of them. Like, please. But instead, she's like, well, Steven, what are you going to do with the same, ver the very same book that we destroyed Thanos with, with your help? What are you going to do with it after we beat Scarlet Witch? You going to kill everyone? Is that it? Is that what you're going to do, Steven? <laughs> it's like, no? What? If no. There were, if there was a 50-50 chance I would, you should still help me. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely fucking absurd. It makes no sense that she's delaying us all by saying, yes, but Steven, what if the, the one in billion chance that you might do something mean with the book? <laughs> As opposed to the horrifying witch that's going to destroy the multiverse that's chasing yeah. us right now. Yeah. So oh, by the way, because what, terrible. What, what, did we already talk about how lucky it is that we are in this universe where we have a waypoint to this thing? Uh, did, did we already talk no, about that? No, we can't talk about that yet. That one's, oh, that one's shelved okay. for... We've got to wait until Zombie Strange talks to America, so we've got some time before we can talk about that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that is a real <laughs> sentence we, that, that makes sense in this movie. This, this film feels like it was written... Well, it's written with the morality of a Hollywood producer, for one, and, like, half these notes, I've said it in my video, it feels like Victoria, the X-Men are outdated Alonzo. Like, we just got uh, promoted at uh, Marvel, by the way, wrote half of this fucking movie. It's so stupid. It's, it, you, the, the fucked up morals thing is definitely a huge problem throughout a lot of... It goes beyond Disney at this point. It's happening with a lot of movies. you just talked about, you have murderous Scarlet Witch going to kill you now, but you're worried about the man who might kill you later. Like, what Not even... Fuck? She has no reason to think that he would kill her. <laughs> like, there's just nothing. <laughs> but they're like, yeah, you'll, you'll use the book of happiness, goodness, and all that. It's literally referred to as, like... The magic book of good or some bullshit like that at one point it's a, a really magic book of good it, I, I, I that, think... that matches up with the writers yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i remember uh, noting it because i was like good god the dialogue it hurts um so uh the, the, it gets even worse because america is like no this strange he isn't gonna kill trillions of people he's different and then he's doc strange different. looks at it and, and and then she's like what and then she's like trust me like like this guy he's a good he's the good strange and i was like you guys have spoken to each other for like a minute. What yeah. are you even talking about? This film completely forgot that it didn't have a The Last of Us level journey with these two. It thinks it yeah. did. It's like, no. They spoke very briefly in a cafe, and then they spoke twice, like sentence, two sentences to each other in Kamataj, and then they had a little walk through the city where they talked about Pizza Papa and lights. That is it. Oh yeah, they had the memory scene, but... That's that's like the only it's thing you could even say that would have binded them together in any way, shape, or form. What in that journey has convinced America that this is the one strange in the universe who's the good strange? Or oh, sorry, the multiverse. Well, she wasn't 72 of them, so she has authority. Yeah. There you go. I fix it for you. This film did not earn that moment at all. Not bad. <laughs>
And yeah, by the way, her admitting that is tacitly admitting she still thinks that Defender Strange is a bad person, which fuck her for saying uh -huh. that. Uh, yeah, especially yeah. he's such a good person. He's like he's so he's such a good person. He gets shafted in this movie. They literally puppet his corpse. <laughs> so. <laughs> true, they do. Um, yeah, annoying as fuck. But um, that's enough to convince Christine to then get the book, which is something she shouldn't have had to be convinced for anyway. It's yeah. all of it's horrible. I was just like, oh, none of you are talking like people. But anyway, let's just, yeah, they, they, they start, they're running, because she releases all of the cuffs they have for magical stuff, so we're back to full power, everybody. Yay! Um, dun, 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 dun. Then they very deliberately show you that Wanda walks across glass from the smashed, uh, the, the, the smashed area, which is going to hurt her little feetsies. And it's like, wait, but why wouldn't you have flown over that to avoid it? Yeah. You can fly away faster. Because she's tough. Well, and the, and the funny response to have, if you had the writer here right now, they'd be like, well, she didn't fly over it because we need to have her limping later. <laughs> and you'd be like, limping? That's true. But she can fly. She, and they're like, no. No. She just threw a shield that cut somebody in half. <laughs> She's limp. So, so you remember how they transplanted the Evil Dead stuff into onto Bruce Campbell earlier? Do you mm -hmm. think that they got confused and thought that Sam Raimi directed Die Hard? I I have no clue. I, I, it's, it's potentially. Po I've seen people say that the reason she's not flying here is because it's a reference to Evil Dead. I was like, you can't keep saying this. <laughs> like, you can't Everything's keep saying. Everything's a reference to Evil Dead. It's like, it doesn't uh, make any fucking sense. And it's also worse. Wanda, Wanda is maybe Wanda is just. I guess the Evil Dead exists in this universe, maybe, and Wanda just <laughs> she's really likes it. Yeah, she's a big fan. It's just like, yeah, it's the spooky zombie-like creature that's trying to reach you. It's like a horror moment. It's not meant to be taken as, like, Wanda can fly through it. That would ruin it. And it's like, oh. You showed oh. me she can fly. Like, she flew to the base. She flies later. Remember fight. when regular Wanda comes back in control, she flies up to the, up to the doorway. So, there ain't no way they're getting out of this one. She should have flown. But it's worse because she's estimated to be about four meters away from them at one point chasing them and she doesn't grab them. We see her grab several people at once with her powers at greater distances. But she doesn't hit by the way, in, in minutes from now we see that. But she doesn't do it here. Well that that is a once again that is actually a reference to the evil dead where, oh. no one is, <laughs> where she doesn't no one in that film is grabbed through magic. Uh, so that means that uh it's a, it's a reference to you that can't have that doesn't happen. Having things, yeah, that makes sense. I like it. Uh, and then I don't know if you guys remember the scene happens where they close a the door on her and then they all wait to see if she can get through it. <laughs> yep. Oh That's no, fine. she got through it. Let's run more and close more doors. And this murderous woman who's killing everybody will eventually take over the universe. Uh, Doctor Strange goes, uh, Is this before the light goes on top or afterwards? I can't remember. Oh, this is before because the horns are not to drown. Yeah, that. Yeah, dude, it's 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 old, fucked. Hold your breath. We got the ma biggest stakes possible, and he's like, kind of joking, he's like, "Hey, wonder if you're in there. Hold your breath. Hold your breath." <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um, you should grab them instantly. She doesn't. He then prepares a spell. He's doing like a spell channeling, and she doesn't just grab him. She just lets him do it. Really annoying. But whatever. And then he, um, yeah, he smashes open the ceiling, which lets a bunch of water in, and they go through another door and close it, and so they're like, there we go, and then America's like, will that stop her? And he's like, no, it'll give us some time, though, like, like, seconds, even. Um, I wouldn't assume anything from it, I'd be like, she's right behind us. Always assume she's right behind us. Um, and, like, this is, I want people to understand, when I say this movie is, like, fucking incredibly catastrophic, it's non-stop. I can't describe a scene it to It really you. is non-stop. That's like, it's all the time. Oh, you know, this scene's okay. This is where they just talk about this, 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 and it's fine. It's like, it's never that way. So they get to the end of this fucking stupid tunnel system, and it leads them to a door that leads to the Book Tunnel. of Ashanti. It's a waypoint. You're like, okay, I understand that mechanically. Unfortunately, no one knows how to open it. And you're like, oh, well, yeah. that doesn't make sense, because oh, they, they used it to destroy Thanos. So I guess at least Doctor Strange, their Doctor Strange would this not open it, right? And it's like, well, I yes. Suppose it's post Thanos, he's... right? Hang on. So, their Doctor Strange is the one that creates the lock for this thing. He's the one that organized it all, blah, blah, blah. So, 
the when they killed him, he didn't tell them anything. Oh no! Oh, oh my! We are in trouble now, aren't we? <laughs> so how did so he put it back? So that means that he, mm -hmm. with all of his potential damage and everything, made sure to go back and put the book back where it came from, and then seal up. It's such a mixture of what is being done. You don't even. And it's the, the book is super duper good. Yeah. Yes. So, so like, doesn't everything it does good? I mean, we're, I'm using the mechanics of the MCU here. It's supposed to be the opposite of the dark hold. So like, even if you were had ill intent with it, it would probably corrupt you with good and you wouldn't do good. You wouldn't do bad things with it. With yeah. Idea. With the way they present it in this film, uh, Christine figures it out the key to it. She doesn't know the key to it. She figures it out. And it blew me away that I was just like, they have to fucking figure it out. And why? So she can reveal that the key to the door is the broken watch she gave to him. To again, be like, you see, Christine is the most important thing to Doctor Strange. That's why this happened. It has nothing to do with the universe or mechanically. That's why they completely forgot that Defender Strange would of course told them how to open the fucking door. Why would he not? Mm -hmm. And funnily enough, um, I was talking to Jay, Jay actually about this, and Jay was like, they had the perfect opportunity here. They could have said, how do we open this door? And then she's like, well, I don't know. And then Doc Strange would be like, what do you mean you don't know? How do you not know how to open this door? He must have told you. And she's like, he did. And then he looks at her confused, and then she can say, he told Charles Xavier, Reed Richards, Black Bolt, Captain Carter, you know, name all the people who just died who are at the top of the Illuminati. Mm -hmm. You can be like, oh... So at least you could say all of them knew and they're all dead now. Yeah, like, and so, acknowledge their death. Yes, somehow. Yeah, you can way. even make it kind of like a somber moment that you could appreciate they fucking die. But no, he didn't tell anybody. So they just have this power locked away. Professor X was being honest with him. He said, there is a waypoint. I don't know where it is or how to open it, but there's a waypoint. Go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> like, this film uh, <clears throat> breaks in so many creative and interesting ways. It is very um, creative. Oh, it's yeah. so headache-inducing. How could this possibly be the way that it works? And I have another question. Uh, so in this scene where he's trying to figure out the combination of how, the, or trying to figure out how the hell he's going to open this door, he uses the Eye of Agamotto, which is, no longer has the Time Stone in it, but yet he opens it up and it seems to do a magic thing. And we're never really, it's never really made clear what the Eye of Agamotto does now, because... It, it, does it, it doesn't have the time zone, and we haven't established it has any other function. And plus, I'm pretty sure Thanos crushed it. You could put anything it. else in there, right? So you could put like a... Stuff. Yeah, like yeah. a couple bucks, because you should carry a couple around a bucks. Bit of cash. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Thanos did crush it. Was that meant... Oh, wait, no, that was a meme illusion one. That's the... That's right. Oh, okay. He still, he still had the real one, remember? Because that's what he... And maybe wait, you could wait, just... wait, 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 wait. Is that actually true? Hold on. I'm I, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, well, well yeah, the thing is, I thought he took it out of the container and just put a little um, cloaking spell over it because we never see him get it out of the real one, quote unquote. Yeah. But he does call it a fake at the same time. So, um, my brain, help. I, I can't understand. <laughs> that's all. Does he have it in, in Endgame? That's, I guess, the question. I can't even remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think uh, he. D well, I, I think he does, but a lot of people have cited that as an error. So. Well, like me, that costuming well, error. You could, that, you could always yeah, make another one. Later, his little um, sorcerer done. <laughs> yeah, in, in Infinity War, the it breaks, and when he reveals the time stone, he doesn't reveal it from the eye of Agamotto. He just reveals it from the air, so that it got destroyed. He made another one. Yeah. It because someone said no. He he crushed the fake one. It's like no. I think he crushed the real one. Yeah, like um, he calls it a fake, but we never see the real one get re-revealed. We just see the time. So I no, think, we I think he would. Well, what I will say is, nothing consequential comes of that, bro. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, I guess I'm surprised. I'm like, is that a con? Did they forget or? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. So the real question is, why is he still using the Eye of Agamotto without the Time Stone still in play? I guess because it has some functionality beyond the Time Stone. I guess so. Yeah. They haven't told us what it is, though. Like revealing mm. Gargantos, just with a little, like, hey, I can see you, buddy. Mm. <laughs> Hello. It reveals, it reveals other dimensional invisible creatures. It protects the Witches. time zone, and it opens up doors. Sometimes. That sometimes. If he, <laughs> that's if, pretty, if that's pretty person... useful. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I yeah. can keep it around. It looks neat. So, um, yeah. Yeah. We're making good time, right? Three hours and 20 minutes, and we've only got half Not hour bad. film left. Not bad. Oh, so, we're doing it. The door swings open and they gawk at the reveal that the Book of Vishanti is now within their grasp and they just stare for a good while. Yeah, and the then minute, it feels like it's Doctor like, oh, Strange jumps down and then he looks up and he's like, Alrighty, next, you know, jump down. Yeah, I'll and catch ya. It's fine. Talk about it and so that's fine. Yeah, jump let's, down. Let's go walk jump over down. there. Well, let's uh, look at it first. There. Let's have a nice long yeah. look at it, and then we'll slowly. In case you didn't get a good enough look already, but yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, let's saunter they over even, there. They Not even, in a rush. they even re reveal the the nature of this place. Uh, Christine says this is the Gap Junction. Oh, I guess no. there's breathable air between universes. Well, sure. so yeah, just to make sure people understand, there is one of these. One. Yeah. Is, there is one book of Vashanti, but there are like an infinite number of dark holds. They're in every universe, mm -hmm. seemingly. Yeah. All universes connect to this place in order to get access to the book of Vashanti. Yes. But remember, and in the opening, Defender Strange was going for this book. It's the same one. Yep. It's it's very convenient. It's very helpful that this place has a atmospheric composition of seventy nine percent nitrogen, like sixteen percent carbon dioxide, it's, or, uh, or it seems every planet in the it? MCU has that. <laughs> This, oh, even this, not, this is not even a planet. This is the space is between the universes. Exactly. Yeah. Which, so it yeah. doesn't have to follow any of your rules. It's, <laughs> the temp it's a temperature that humans can live in. It's got oxygen. It's got gravity that actually binds you to like the ground. Even though, why would there be? I man, it's crazy. If, um, if man, it's madness. well, yeah. I thought I thought it was more pressing <laughs> to address the fact that that means that every Doctor Strange everywhere is always going to use this book. To defeat their respective enemies. Um, oh, that not means sixty percent CO two, sixteen percent oxygen, isn't it? Sixty <laughs> percent CO two. That doesn't seem and, very. And we have mentioned, and, we're and we have mentioned that the door is right next to the book. Right. The, oh, yeah. the, this specific door. Is, this door is. is yeah. Wild, Presumably, yeah. there's lots of ways to get into this gap junction. I don't know, but. Mm. It's unfortunate for other potential Doctor Stranges, the furtherness well, from the door and the. the... As soon as we've established that one Doctor Strange has access to this, and to be fair, they've established that two do, infinite do. Um, which means infinite Doctor Stranges need this book to fight infinite Thanos' slash enemies. At infinite times. Yeah. yeah. Which means, how the fuck is this book available? Yeah. <laughs> why it is there be... only one of this? And why does it exist in this place? Who wrote because it? Because they needed Who to get rid here? of this book by the end of this film. That is why. Wow. By the end of this film, they get rid of this book in and like two minutes. <laughs> they do. Yeah, but <laughs> that's was kind of what I'm what? getting at. It has to be self-contained within this film just like the Darkhold is. While um, forgetting the consequences of the actions that brought about its destruction are not self-contained. We'll talk about that. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's just shit. It's all shit. This is all a fucking diversion anyway. <laughs> act, act two can be skipped. Like it's 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 all it for nothing. Actually, it's, it's uh, absolutely it's never, nothing. So, yeah, because yeah, someone's probably listening right now. Like, why are they saying this about the book that can defeat anything? It's like, right? Nope. So, well, hang on. They, they see they need Christine Palmer in in Act Buckle Two. Up. Or something she does in Act Three. That's true. They pick her Someone up from Act Two. Need, yeah, pick her up because she needs to do something. Mm -hmm. later. So really, really important too. Really, just yeah. Without her, you know. Who knows what would have happened, man? It would have been over. Oh, uh, he's scared to love. So yeah, uh, it takes fucking ages to finally just put his hand on the book. And then he's like, <laughs> yeah. okay, book. And then he picks it up. And then, oh so no, Scarlet Witch around. is here. And she's grabbing yeah. America. And it's like, damn, so if you would just... Literally, as soon as the door opened, been like, you two, go, 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 go. Now. Don't fucking think about it, just go. And then grab mm -hmm. the watch, close the door. Yeah. Wanda's, Wanda's yeah. fucked. Um, it's true. Yeah, it's including and... that, but not limited to that. You then sprint to the book, open it up, read, read, read it as much as you can. You're Doctor Strange. You can read really fucking fast. We know this from your first movie. And then be like, oh, yeah. blah, 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 Alakazam, and then boom, she just blows up. She's she's just nothing. No, the that. book of yeah. virginity. <laughs> but what if they did it as slowly and dumbly as possible? Oh. I don't think they could have gone slower if they had tried. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> 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 
Yeah. If they went in the opposite direction, they would have gone around the earth and got there oh. faster. <laughs> oh, I need to tie my shoe real quick before I read oh. the book. Hang on just a second. Urgency is just not a thing in this movie. It's it's well, yeah. very infuriating. And what what are the consequences of this? So oh, wonders there. Massive. And then Dr. St Christine's like, oh no. And then Dr. Strange is like, no, let me cast a spell. And then he casts like a little laser spell. Oh, wait, and wait, wait. Def oh, if I can just highlight yeah. it. When she grabs America, America like screams incredibly loud, panics. No portal. But she hasn't opened a portal yet, no. Um, hmm. No, it, so it, it gives him time to shoot the laser, which Wanda reflects, and it the Book of Viserity burns away. It's God. God. The, whole the all good is... book is God for all universes. Oh, and Fine. the way they show it, it's like it was doused in fucking oil. <laughs> Just, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> the um, good book gets destroyed by a little spell get deflected into <laughs> They don't even yeah. try to get rid of the fire. They're just looking I at it. They don't even try to put it out. They correctly. just watch it. Yeah, yeah they just like, watch oh, it. Oh no, it's burning. And anyway. It, it happened so fast <laughs> to me. I thought it might have been like a meme. Like like it was an illusion. Like yeah. It was like, no fucking way. The, you just, you set this thing up as the greatest power in the fucking universe. And then you just, boom. It's like, oh. The now, it, and it dies. a bunch of characters, like Big Mark. You introduced Mr. Fantastic to get to this damn book. And it just burned. Well, <laughs> okay. so... I think I think it is worthwhile to slow down here a little bit. So, Doctor Sh Doctor Strange through incompetence and Wanda through malice have destroyed for all universes a book that is all good that can basically solve any problems. Mm. Yep. When we talk about moral culpability, you know, for things like I'm not sure how you do much worse than that. Yeah. Destroying the all powerful good book for all universes. It means that any conflict that could have been resolved with that book by universes that could theoretically or already have access to that book, anybody who dies or any universes that get destroyed, anything, all stems from Wanda and Strange. Yeah, Wanda but through Fringy, malice consider, and Doctor Strange through incompetence. Consider how wonderfully, beautifully self-contained it is, though, that we yeah. introduce this book here in this movie, and then we also just get rid of it in this movie. It's while it's forgetting that that you can't just ignore the that the characters were responsible for this this book being destroyed. I would be it's willing done. to put good money on the book of Vishanti never being referenced ever again. No, never. Oh, absolutely never, not. Never oh. again. Never. It 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 will never even be acknowledged that Wanda and Doctor Strange were responsible for its destruction for all nope. universes. All universes, any time when they're like, we can, we, the only way to defeat Thanos is with the Book of Ashanti, and they go there and there's nothing there, and then their universe gets destroyed or a bunch of people die, that's on them because of the, what they did. Imagine um, a, you're one of the sorcerers in Kamataj and you're training along with America, and you're like, so what happened? Like, what happened with, with all of it? Because I've only caught bits and I nearly died in the, the you know, defense against Scarlet Witch. Like, what was your adventure like? And she's describing all the bits and bobs, all the heroic people who got fucking insta gib because they suck. And you're just like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then she says, like, oh, and we finally got to that book of Ashanti. And you're like, oh, yeah, you did? And it's like, yeah, they destroyed it, unfortunately. So we have to, like, and you're like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did they, what? <laughs> stop destroyed stop it. right there. What? <laughs> you see Wanda over there who's helping us out now in this new movie where we don't reference what happens. She, she destroyed it. it. It burned up. It's like, I don't understand burned up. It's like, yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> um, it's gone. Yeah, uh, you think Wong might ask about it at some point, and Doctor Strange will have to uh, tell him, yeah, it's destroyed, and he'd be like, this, this, yeah. wow. And it's like, destroyed, that... how did that happen? It's like, you well, I went to grab it. it. What? <laughs> I went to grab it, it's like, as quickly as possible, right? Like, yeah, and reasonably I mean, hurried it's... pace. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> you want to be careful, though. It's like, um, sure, but like, you know, pretty quick, right? Yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, I grabbed it, and then and then I cast a little laser spell. It's like, what? You didn't, like, use any portals or, like, mirror dimension again or, like, anything? No, this is a little laser. She reflected it, though. It's like, yeah, who could have seen that coming? I know, nobody, right? Uh, <laughs> I mean, fuck me. No just, one, that's, yeah, because no one could have seen that coming, because I have no idea what could ever happen nope. at any given moment. Well, the, nope. the spell he fires at her, I was like, that's a new one. It's like a it's like a Death Star laser with little rings around little it. Like boom, 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 boom. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Reflects it. Yep. It's um, gone. The book is destroyed. It's It doesn't exist anymore. It can never be used for good, yep. thanks to these two. Yep. And someone just Since I made well, that uh, book of virginity fantastic. joke, fucking Master Chief came up again. <laughs> Someone's mentioned, like, I thought 
America was the one with the superpower to get between universes and stuff, but Strange has a doorway to a place in between them. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. he just, mm -hmm. yeah, he just does show yeah. up. I don't understand that, but... And also, I mean, as we... So, oh man, how much... So in Endgame, when they go back in time, new timelines get created. Um, if not by them traveling back in time, at the very least by them interacting with the past. We know this. This is confirmed. Like, this is absolutely true. They create new timelines. Um, does that create incursions or, like, cause any problems on that front in terms of, like, multiverse no. stuff? Are they not traveling between universes by traveling back in time and creating new universes? No. No. no, they're not. We we for, Endgame doesn't exist Dude, anymore. The, the we best, barely even talk about the blip, let alone. The best part of all of this is if you ask any of these writers, like, doesn't that cause an incursion? They will literally be like, incursion? What's that? Right? In, what, in what's what? an incursion? That, can you speak yeah. more slowly? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand about this incursion. Can you use less syllables and more CGI? <laughs> you know what's funny, by the way, is uh, Wanda knows nothing about the Book of Vishanti. She knows nothing at all. She doesn't even so, know if it's useful. Yeah. What Doctor Strange could have done, I know this is a bit radical, but he could have been like, Hey, you win. You win, okay? Take her. Take America. Do whatever you gotta do. Please just don't kill any more people. And then America could be like, what? You have betrayed me? And he'd be like, yeah, 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 go, 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 go. Just leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and then Wanda's like, yeah, okay, fine, I guess. And then he can be like, alright, book, I need a spell to save America, kill Wanda, and repair all the damage that's been done to the world by her. Boom. Yep. And it would've taken a minute, you yeah. know, while she... Yeah, yeah. But he's mean, not, he's just like not that him. smart, you know? He's not a smart character. Wow. So. He's not it's smart not street smart. No. no he's not <laughs> street smarts would have told you that when you're handling the all-powerful book in all universes, <laughs> that you yeah. should try and do these strategies instead street of smarts. shooting the laser. It have conjured a shake. Oddly, ironically, book smarts is not what's going to teach you. That. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the movie would be over. The movie would be over several times over if people oh. made smart decisions. We've been through so many of them in this scene. Ready for another one? The movie would be yeah. over if the thing that would happen or should happen did happen. So Wanda, when the book's destroyed and they're just doing their little looks at each other, she grabs them both. She's got them both in her hand. It's like, right, vaporize them. Do it. But vaporize yeah. Not vaporizing them? Oh. She mind controls America Chavez to open up a portal to a world that's ravaged by an incursion. No, it doesn't, I, it doesn't, uh, doesn't like, she make the portal first or was No, she mind controls her to do it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That's what I was referencing earlier with the uh, control wombo jumbo she does that she could have used to uh, make Wong tell her things or whatever. Yeah, so theoretically that's something she could do. There's, there's so much yeah. wrong, it's hard to remember if we've talked about yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um, but yeah, she tosses them in and uh, they end up in that world and then she mind controls... Uh, they didn't get teleported into like space you know so that yeah this is one we can talk about now actually because we've got full context yeah. that was either random by wanda and so they're incredibly lucky or it was deliberate by wanda to choose a world that's falling to shreds but it wasn't one that you can't live in yeah mm -hmm. so you could have just killed him and that would be the end of the movie but no you threw mm -hmm. him into a world that's not is is livable like okay Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. You didn't it. even uh, throw them into space in that universe, just mm -hmm. onto the planet. <laughs> um, in New then... York, no less. In New York, it's always oh. in New York. There are no cities in the MCU other than New York and sometimes yep. London. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> there's, there's, there, are, there, there is never a superhero who lives in Chicago. I'm pretty sure, isn't only one movie in LA? Like, oh, Iron Man is in I'm LA. Three. Yeah, Iron Man hangs out in LA a decent amount. But then it's like, does anybody live in like Milwaukee or I don't know? Oh, they went to Miami briefly for like Westview. Oh, how about like any other place on Earth? No. <laughs> oh. We got Wakanda, so we got a fictional country. <laughs> yeah, they went to Titan. <laughs> that counts. They went to Titan because it's yeah, it's kind of weird how in the MCU like everything revolves not only around just the United States but like specifically New York. <laughs> yeah. It's like the only place that matters in the in the whole world. How crazy is it that any? Oh uh, no, we're we're getting off. That's that's just the MCU. Oh, we already general. talked about how Earth centric the uh, MCU. How, yeah, it's yeah. so yeah. Earth centric, and it's it's not even Earth centric. It's freaking New York centric. <laughs> like, um, so she mind controls America to open up a portal to herself in our universe, if you will. Uh, 
throws her through, closes it, and then she relinquishes control over that Wanda. And so everything's worked out, except for the fact that she's now temporarily in a position where she's sorting out her loss of control over alternate Wanda, while America Chavez is just free to do whatever she wants. If, like, escape back into that universe. Yeah, if she was terrified enough of being on her own, facing the Scarlet Witch directly, and opened up another portal and sent herself to the paint world, Scarlet Witch is just fucked. Like, but this film yes. doesn't care, so... Well, yeah, I mean, no. is she still not very stressed out? Could she not just, like, I mean, create new portals? There's always these moments, the, the plot just relies on her not uh, activating her portals. The portals only work when it's convenient for the writers, whenever they yeah. need something to happen. Uh, isn't yeah, it funny really that every time it. that the portals exist is for an act break? Literally every single time it yeah. is an act yeah. break. America makes portal, and then that's the next act. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. The prologue into act one, and then act one into act two, and then act two into act three. And really? then the finale. <laughs> There's this weird effort by the film, because we then... Uh, obviously, uh, dare I say, friendly Wanda, superior Wanda, whatever. She flies yeah. off. To, she says, "My boy." She's like, "Oh no, my okay. kids." Yeah. Um, but then we and we then see... when she runs through all of the dead bodies, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and I'm sure right it would just be no. so funny if Mordo had gotten out of his crevice, walked out to see all the bodies, and then she, he sees her running by, and he's just like, yeah. "You fucking kidding me right now?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, she they show us her pick up and bind with magic America Chavez and, and like place her down on the platform as if to imply yeah you can't open your portals now or something it's just like no she's been bound every time when her, she does her that. portals yeah. have nothing to do with like anything that she's doing of like because her whole thing is that she like punches them open right in the comics but like she hasn't done that in this movie they just open they just open yeah <laughs> she's, it doesn't matter if her arms and legs are tied it doesn't matter well and as we doesn't... saw at the in Act One, right in Kamataj, her she was bound when the portal opened. Um, yep. When they escaped Kamataj, yeah. She doesn't just take her power right away as she binds well, her. Oh yeah, it would be yeah, over if she did. Be, um, because she, yeah, I think about the timeline. Doctor Strange have, has just arrived in the Incursion Verse. If you want, whatever. The fuck. Well, the and in universe. real time, in real time, even though we know that they definitely skip time, that's like a good thirty minutes of the movie. <laughs> um, maybe 20 minutes for Lorsenheimer. Yeah, probably like 15, 20, but that's minimum, still enough. It felt like an hour. And, that's they, and remember, they like walk around, so like at minimum, it's going to yeah, take 15, 20 minutes for them to get back. Precisely what I mean about how this film just never stops being stupid. It just <laughs> won't stop. It never <laughs> relents. So, like, they've arrived in, I think this is it was called the Sinister Universe then? Is that the idea? <laughs> the Sinister Universe. Whatever, <laughs> the Sinister Strange is here. But, um, yeah, yeah so. You are Doctor Strange, you've just been sent through the portal, you're with Christine, you're in a universe that's falling the fuck apart, and you say, our plan is, we've got to get to me in this universe to see if there's any way we can do anything. And it's like, alright, and what are the stakes again? Well, the multiverse is legit on the edge of destruction now. Like, mm -hmm. they, she has America. So let us start slowly again, walking. Sort of. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Strange can fly, he's got He can the literally point. fly. Fly. And you might no. be like, well, you have to leave Christine alone. It's like, I don't know, just grab her and then fly together. Have we ever <laughs> seen Doctor Strange fly with somebody? I uh, don't know that we have. Um, he could probably but, I mean, pick her up. I don't think she weighed that much. Maybe the cloak can just grab her. He's like, grab onto my cloak. Well, the, uh, the fact I'll is, help you. the cloak can just fucking take Doctor Strange <laughs> over and then leave, go and grab Christine grab and come her, back. Yeah. yeah the, the... Mm -hmm. um, it's absurd. And they're not running even. It's so oh, annoying. Oh, portals. portals. They got... Oh, wait. Does he doesn't he have, have a sling ring, sling? no. Oh, uh, no, he doesn't. Yeah, I forgot. I'll allow that. I'm mixing that. him up. I'm mixing yeah, you him see, up. With you see, Fringy, <laughs> he doesn't have a sling ring because she disappeared it randomly. Like, it's just... Yeah, you that's know. right. When she was in the mirror dimension, yep, she it's, disappeared it. You know, it's great writing. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and, and, and then Christine has this line where she's like... Man, you know, if you if you are here, you didn't do a very good job of saving this world. Man, thanks. <laughs> it's such a weird lie, because it's like, neither did it you. Is. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Like, what, it's, what, it's on me? Like, I just have to save every universe now? That's just my thing to do? I thought you said I suck, and that I kill everyone. <laughs> oh, I gotta be holding the knife. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Maybe in this mm. world, I gave you the knife, and look what happened. Yeah, you cut yourself. Bitch. Cut yourself. Oh. 
like I said, I kind of hate Christine throughout this film. She was fine in the first one because she was just a normal person, but in this film she's beholden to lines that don't match her character because they've got to make a point about Steven's character. All the Which time. Which also doesn't make sense. Frustrating as hell. Well, because it's not... I, I will say, like, the whole, like, the film being like, oh, yeah, Steven's across universes, they're so similar. It's like, here's the thing, they wouldn't be. No. Um, what happens to you in your life drastically changes who you are more so than, like, innate qualities of you. Like, if, if one Doctor Strange, I don't know, like, didn't get bullied at much at school, he may be a totally different person. Like, that's what the multiverse as a concept should give you, that you can look at people who have nothing in common with you, who are you, they look like you, they sound like you, but they got nothing in common with you, and it's just a couple of different choices, or, like, one event that didn't go quite the same way. But, like, this film almost seems to want to make a point that, like, there are universal qualities of Doctor Strange. And it's kind of so funny stupid. to think about, because... In No Way Home, they do a really cool thing, which is, like, it's almost a universal aspect of Spider-Man that, like, there is this lesson that gets instilled in him. That's, like, a really interesting way of leveraging the multiverse. They're different people, but there's, like, a core that binds them together principally. Well, I would but, actually I mean, we don't know if it would argue that, them, um, you know? I would argue that part of what's happening in that film is that Andrew and Toby push him onto that path where he might not exactly. have made it. He might um, not have made it. Um, that's right. Did you get a drink for your event? And, you know, like, the, no way... Yeah. Yeah, just that it could, it could have ended, you could have had a darker Spider-Man who doesn't fucking care. No, he's it's like, um, it's like whatever. Andrew Garfield said, you know? I got rageful, like, I got vengeful, I, I had a bad experience, and I don't want you to be like me. It's like an acknowledgement that the events will change you. Yeah. But in this movie, it's like, well, no, you're like Dr. Str... I can't believe that somebody who wrote for Rick and Morty would, like, come away with that perspective on, on, like, multiverse... How do you write for Rick and, Rick and Morty and come away with such like a shallow interpretation of the multiverse? I can explain it for you because they want to have that line, the line that everyone celebrates, and I think it's cringeworthy, the I love you in every universe. Uh, uh, you, uh, uh, people are saying uh, that's way better than I love you 3000, and it's like, what? No, it's not. Why? No, it's not. It really, it really no, is no, not. no, 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 <laughs> oh. no, 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 come on, really? Oh. Really? People are saying that. Yeah, there's uh, it's like because it, obviously Endgame's been out long enough now, and I'm saying this to you of all people, Frankie, that uh, it's the got like no stock left. To turn on it. It's it, well, to dude, be turned. people have turned on No Way Home. Like this, the stock for these things yeah. just goes out of fashion the second the new one's out. And yeah, they were just like that line in Doctor Strange, one of the best romantic lines ever. Just like it's kind of creepy to be honest with you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love you it's, in it's every just... universe. Like, okay, you've okay. only met two versions. Even of her. The, the one in your even universe. when she's Hitler. <laughs> Especially when she said Lar. That's when he loves her 3000. Oh! <laughs> yeah, if you're being realistic, the line should be like, I also hate you a lot with all the people who probably yep. hate you. You know, I mm. feel everything for you because it's infinite. <laughs> all yeah. of the things have been felt, even nothing. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That's what I mean. This this movie is like dragged dialogue wise into the Strange and Christine thing that they keep trying to make a thing but isn't a thing. Like nobody gives a fuck. I'm sorry about the Christine. Problem is they just didn't have that much of a relationship in the first film. So like nope. when in the second film you try and push it for if you gave her more in the first film, because it's kind of the problem is it's like this isn't your Christine. You don't have the same experiences with this Christine. She's not. It's like it, it's like the MCU doesn't understand it, and it's kind of a concern I have with Gamora. It's like this ain't Gamora. This is like a different version of Gamora. This yep. is a different version of Loki. They're not going to just because you want them to align with the versions that we already know. They have different life experiences, different knowledge, different perspectives that would be informed by the world that they live in. You can't just have them all converge into like these sort of broad universal template. Just doesn't make sense. It's not even interesting to me. It would be way more interesting if, like, there was a Christine he met who, like, genuinely, they just do not get along. They've become two different people. They, mm -hmm. they got you, nothing in common anymore. She doesn't love him. Yeah. It, she doesn't reciprocate that love. Even when he says that, she just kind of goes, hmm. hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'm married in this world. I have cringe. kids. I have friends. I'm a well, yeah, different it's person. A bit I'm a different person. Mm -hmm. and so isn't defined by Doctor Strange. She's not. Nor should she be. Yeah, it's... Uh, she wants to I just don't... Her own 
they decided that would be one of the main things they're going to focus on, and I just think it was a, it was a bad choice because there's so little for you to work with in the first place, as you mentioned. But and you have so little about, time to work with as well, you know. Uh, Age of Ultron, which doesn't star Pepper Potts or uh, or Jane. They both get mentioned as if to mm -hmm. imply, like, we haven't forgotten about them, their stories will go on, and Pepper's did, but Jane's didn't Jane. until now. No, <laughs> until now. Uh -oh. but, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. Like, I feel like you got a lot more room to work with. with That's kind of my point. Christine. They didn't mention Especially Christine be because nobody fucking no. remembered her. Hmm. Yeah. She wasn't in the entire, like, second act of Doctor Strange, right? She only comes in again really late she when he's doing the astral projection thing. That's right. Well, it's just because it's hard to incorporate her into the story. Because, like, she's a nurse and he's going off on a pilgrimage to, like, Nepal to become a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a little difficult uh, to keep her in. Whereas, I guess, and I guess that was kind of their compromise here. It was like, well, in this universe, she's, like, a super-duper scientist lady who's in the Illuminati. That's how we can get her in. Which, I guess, is, like, less of a connection. Because they tried with Jane. It's like, well, the ast she's an astrophysicist, right? So, an, or an astronomer. So you can kind of connect that to, like, Asgard a little bit. Not a whole lot, and, and I don't remember Thor the Dark World very well, so... She's in a lot of it, but no one remembers no, the movie, so... Yeah, uh... Christine is the key to all of Doctor Strange's arcs in this, basically. Uh, so, they arrive at Sinister Strange's house. Visually, just gorgeous. So much of it. Ah. Oh. Ah! Oh. But who cares, we're talking about the writing, okay? That's what we're focusing on. Mm -hmm. So, he comes mm -hmm. in... And he's like, hey buddy, I'm you from a dumb of the universe. And he's like, okay, prove it. And I don't know about you guys, but like this story to me came out of fucking nowhere. You he, he, he talks about nowhere. I had no clue. Uh when he was a kid, he was playing with his sister on a frozen lake. She fell through the ice and drowned, he couldn't save her. I was just like, oh. oh. Yeah. I thought it was just me not remembering, but apparently that wasn't a thing then. No, that's brand new. Yeah, uh, brand new. Yeah. I think that's not that's a brand complete new awesome. Well, so okay. the thing is, Comics. that could have been a really cool oh, yeah, reveal no, no. if we'd done a little bit more work to build up to yeah, it. Yeah, if I can be clear, yeah. th what was, the story itself is strong, and there's a reason they're telling yeah. us it. We'll get to that in a sec. It's that, mm -hmm. um, it, to me, I was just like, oh, I had no fucking clue. That's, like, that's really heavy to drop just now, out of nowhere. It feels like, the, I okay. That come up in the first movie, you, you know. You, you'd think he would have that alluded to it. Important. Yeah. Because that's the way you do it, right? You, you, you know, just hint some line. It. Give us hints. Yeah. yeah. Um, or at the very least, bring it up at the beginning of this one if you want to drop it in in this film. Like, I don't, I don't mind it coming up here explicitly for the first time, but I think you you want just more hints at it so that like when yeah. when I get the reveal, it's like oh, because here it's like oh, I didn't know that. Whereas it would be a lot cooler, I think, if it was like oh, that explains so much about who you are and why you do the things that you do. Um, yeah, there's a lot of ways they could have sown the seeds at any earlier point in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, I think the reason they're telling us is that that's a core memory that's defined his whole... He doesn't want to get close to anybody too much because he worries that they'll die, basically, and mm -hmm. he can't save them. That's the whole I'm too scared to be with Christine thing. Um, mm -hmm. this, this, this thing that happened in his life that scarred him forever is that he... Couldn't save his sister when she was with him. So he worries about, you know, the, the care he can provide. Is it? And I was like, damn it. Like, the one thing that makes some little sense in this film, and it's not going to have been uh, properly explored or utilized. Isn't it kind of interesting that um, Moon Knight and Doctor Strange have this same kind of plot element yep. at roughly the same time? Yeah. That's weird. That's interesting. Well, that's just a coincidence, really, isn't it? Like, huh. Yeah. I assume so. Yeah. yeah. It, because they did draw that. It? It's from the comics, right? So yeah, it's, right, he's okay. older. He's older in the comics when his sister drowns, but he's not like a little kid. They weren't little kids playing on ice, okay. but it's, this, it's very similar. But mm. yeah, to, to, to draw it in on the same week that they did the same thing the to same Moon Knight week, was yeah. very bizarre. Uh, tra trauma. We Because that creates the false drama. That's what makes... Sorry to go back to Star Trek so much, but that's what makes it so shit because every character has like Halo. some trauma. Oh no! Yeah, oh, it's it's just a real cheap and easy way to you know give your character motivation and just do it in a sentence instead of maybe setting it up in your first movie where it made a lot more sense. 
Um, the only other oh, element. Oh yeah, we to mention your dead sister. Sorry. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. No, I, I agree. It's just like it feels like it was dropped here um, because they needed to get it dropped somewhere, and this is the only place they could find. Because I still think it's kind of odd to <laughs> reference something that's happened in your early childhood to an alternate version of yourself to prove you're an alternate version. Aside um, from the fact that you're standing there? Well, so that would be a pretty <laughs> big giveaway, I would him? imagine. Like, look at me. I, I assume this is quite convincing, but maybe not. But, like, what if he's just like, so what you just said is all bullshit. That never happened to me. And it's like, oh, yeah. Because it may not guy. have happened to him. It's the it's, multiverse. <laughs> it's, it's weird that he defaults immediately to, like, you know, tell me something only I would know. It's like, well, that's not really what you need to do, is it? That's... Not in the multiverse, right? <laughs> no, th th like I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to tell an alternate version of myself to prove I'm an alternate version of myself. I'd be like, huh. well, I'm I'm an alternate version of you, so I might not even share anything with you. So I don't, you know, how do I prove? Yeah. Like I didn't even have a sister. Well, I mean, it's. Well... But um, yeah, uh, Sinister Strange is like, yeah, we don't talk about that, do we? It's like, oh, okay, I guess he believes you. Uh, okay, sweet. And then. <laughs> What if, what if after he told him the, 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 the sister dying in the ice story, the other strange was like, oh, you didn't save her? Ooh. <laughs> wow, you piece of shit. You're a dick. Um, I did. She's married now, and she has kids, and she's having a happy life. He's very happy about the fact that I saved <laughs> very, her. Very happy. <laughs> yeah, we get along really swimmingly, so to speak. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And you know what he'd say then? He'd be like, you know what? Get the hell out of my universe! And then blast no. him with energy until he's killed by a statue, I guess. <laughs> this is a statue spell or something. Um, but then Sinister Strange has himself like a monologue. He says, Christine asked him at a wedding if he was happy. Which, remember that happened to our <laughs> dude in our world. It's like, ho ho ho. Mm. And he's like, I have the power of gods, of course I'm happy. I don't know why I lied. Like, no. Right, yeah, okay. What are we doing here? What's going on? And um, I would kind of, we've talked about this before, but I was kind of in the cinema just waiting for like, what's the the turn going to be? What is what is going to be the thing that makes the tone go to like dark? What What is he going to tell Strange that makes us go like, oh no. And it was so much funnier than I thought it would be. I was expecting yeah. him to be like, to eventually explain how he's just been fucking annihilating universes over and over again, searching for a Christine that loves him. Like that would actually be like <laughs> something that I could understand happening from a corrupted Doctor Strange. But yeah, no, it's much yeah. funnier than that. So, talking about how he's sad he doesn't get to be with Christine, he uses the Darkhold to dreamwalk into other Doctor Stranges to see if they're with Christine. And he says he keeps finding Doctor Stranges that are just as unhappy as he is. So, you know, he, he just eventually decides, fuck it, I'll kill him. Obviously. <laughs> and like, this, this it's just intuitive. like, what? Why? And it's like, because they're sad. <laughs> well, I want them to be sad, so they have to die. It's like, oh. This, this, is the, this is the rare mercy suicide. <laughs> Incel strange, yeah. He's, <laughs> he is so... You, you think he, he had like one... He, he must have had an encounter where it's like, oh, you're not with Christine? You must be unhappy. It's like... No, no, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm just no, chilling. I'm, yep. someone else. I'm playing no, video right. games and shit. Like, it's great. Yeah, Sometimes I'm really more some... of a bachelor at heart, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's I'm so gay. Gay. <laughs> No, you're unhappy. Awesome awesome I must kill the... you. I have all these awesome friends in the Avengers. <laughs> like, it's fucking great. I love it here. Uh, the chat said incel strange. Yeah. Like that. It's... <laughs> Doctor incel. It's, it's, it's funny. Like, I don't know what else to say. I was just like, oh, you just, you just went nuts and killed everybody. I, okay, whatever, I guess. Why not? I don't so are know. there no are, are there no gay Doctor Strangers in the multiverse then? Because nope. they they probably wouldn't give a shit about. Being no. Well then, no. All the gay ones they have a Chris in their universe. <laughs> yes. But there's got to be one universe where Christine wants Evans to go, be together Palmer. with the gay with the gay one. He's like, no, leave me alone. I don't. I'm not into girls. Like, give away. Doctor Strange. <laughs> um. So, yeah, he's just like, okay, um, do you mind if I use the Darkhold to save my universe? And then Sinister Strange is like, I'll let you have the Darkhold if you give me your Christine. And then he just goes, she's not going to go for that, and attacks him. Did anyone else have the thought of like, man, 
could have lied. <laughs> Again, and yeah, let me yeah. get her. another instance uh, where could just lie. Could have done anything that's also, more intelligent. You're like evil. I don't. I, I really don't think that she's gonna be like into <laughs> you. You know. I'm trying to talk about like, bro. I've met this Christine. And you don't want to be with her. She's no. kind of no, she that just sucks. Kind of, you're like, oh, we, oh, we got bad luck on the Christines, right? He's like, oh, you yeah. described her as my Chris. No, she's just following me. Like, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah you can have her actually. Fuck We're her. We're actually like from her. different multiverses <laughs> ourselves. It's a, it's a really Crazy long story. story. I am not going to recount it because I don't even remember how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how I got here? <laughs> Do you know how I got here? Tell no. me something only I would know. <laughs> like actually, how I got here. Actually, can I use your bathroom? Like it's been a while. I've been on the road for a yeah, while here. Yeah, I didn't have to pee. <laughs> I've had to piss across multiple universes. <laughs> can I make myself a sandwich? I know where it is. Like I know the house, so it's fine. But it's like, wow, you must be from a different universe. <laughs> <laughs> to know my house layout. Uh <laughs> yeah, um, and then the, there is another kind of crazy thought here, but like, what if, you know, you know that he's you, but supercharged because he has the Darkhold, meaning if you were to fight him, you're probably going to lose, meaning yeah. your choices here are lose or lose Christine and save the universe. That sounds a lot more interesting and relevant to his arc than what they actually did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, luckily um, it's the book of Vishan. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, damn. Uh, no. Nope. Music fight. Yeah, we have a music fight instead. Um I mean, this what can you even say about this mechanically? I have no fucking clue what's happening. Just, they're musicing <laughs> no each other. Idea. It's it's the kind of thing that's like visually it, like it's a really awesome concept visually have just two magic people um take using music as weaponry but it's just such nonsense here and i've actually been trying to think of a a version of this fight that would actually make sense like what would you have to do and the the only thing i thought of so far is if it's like two people sparring just trying to push the limits of what magic can actually do so they're choosing intentionally ridiculous um ways to to use magic uh that wouldn't necessarily come up in a realistic combat scenario but um that that's about all i've got so far and maybe that could escalate into a real one and this they were already using the music notes by that point but with this one why is why did they both decide to use the music notes <laughs> like I think i've heard is that you know, dr strange is a fan of classical music so that's the that's why he chose it that's not a that's not a good enough no is it not odd as fuck he fires like a barrage of those things into sinister strange it doesn't do anything to him other than make him go whoa, whoa, oh no whoa. i hate that track no um <laughs> to me this is just like the end point of dr strange's powers where you're like yeah stuff i don't know yeah. <laughs> it's like how does he start this fight he pulls them off music sheets it's like but how does that work? That's just ink. And it's like, hmm. Well, okay. magic. magic. Shut up. It's magic, not yeah. Fisty it's magic. things. Now, I guess, I guess the Doppel is a book, so, you know, it's written that... Yeah, letters, you could check yeah. letters at them. You could, like, the word, like, stab, right? Make you it could shop. throw that at someone. That could be poignant. Yeah. But yeah, it's the point like, is, so can it, he use no, notes? There's just no rhyme or reason to magic. It just does whatever. Does he have to have the music sheets, or can he just summon notes in general? If he spills ink on the floor, can he summon a big patch? That like the. Is, are you stronger if you know how to read music? I, I don't even know can if you, that matters. I don't know. Maybe. Can you weaponize the dicks drawn on uh, bathroom cubicles? <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, I hope so. <laughs> do that all the time. Um, yeah, he just takes the letters off the stalls and throws them at people. F O R A G O O D. One of the things I, I very much enjoyed, I was reading through a thread on this film and this scene in particular. There was oh, a split decision on whether or not this scene is awesome or cringe. And lots of people were arguing for both sides. And there was two people whose discussion was particularly interesting where they were trying to argue. One of them was like, it's a classic Raimi scene. It's fucking awesome. The other one was like, no, Raimi doesn't do this shit. This is embarrassing. I was like, <laughs> so you can't even mm. figure out if it's his or not. <laughs> <laughs> this is Studio Meddling, the music fight. I knew it.
who knows, uh, until someone in an interview says, yeah, the music was mine. And then someone else is like, oh, you believe him, do you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I believe in. I don't know anymore. Oh. I don't even know. Uh, they have a big I am all the Jedi moment, just like every magic fight ends that way. And uh, it blows up. Our strange is fine. The evil strange gets blown through the window and lands on the fucking railings that stab him to death. Like, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just funny. It's like, yeah, of course. What else is gonna happen? You have to get rid of him. Whatever. <laughs> fucking uber charged strange loses. You're like, okay, fine. We gotta. This film's gotta move along. Uh, <laughs> like, it's just what else are we gonna do? Fuck you. We're moving on. Um. So yep, he got bond. There's no uh, context for any of this for Christine. She walks up to him, and his third eye <laughs> opens and gives her a little look see, and she like screams. And, and it's like, that's oh, it. Okay. And then the scene well, cuts. I was and... gonna say, but then we cut over to good old uh, uh, Scarlet Witch, and so I was, I was just like, you know, we'll, we'll talk in a sec about how much that doesn't make sense. I guess we'll just talk about that. See, it's actually Which it's not part? Scarlet Witch. It's Wong. They show us that he's alive and fine. Even though oh, his good. skull cracked open on that rock, yeah. how did he did he land softly on the the rock? Well, it's not even it's a very hard. Like, if you look at where he fell, it's not possible with the momentum and the angle that he fell no. that he would have remained on that spot. That's just not happening. And even yeah, if he had, saying, he would have had all of its bones. All yeah, of his bones even if he had, <laughs> they're all gone. Um, just he's jelly. Grade A farm fresh plot armor, beautiful. Just slide right there. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, he, he tosses the thing up, and like, it's funny, he throws it up like a grappling hook, right, and it hooks on to just really awkwardly to two rocks, and he starts climbing. Uh, mm. Jay asked me about this, he's like, did he, did he do that with magic? Like, why did that work? And I was just like, oh. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, Reasons. Yeah, he, yeah, he did it with magic, whatever. Does he have a sling know. ring here again? Or he should he have a sling it? ring, they didn't show us it okay. getting lost, but I guess he doesn't have it anymore, I don't know. But the thing is, that little rope... Is sorcery. It's literally got a wire of sorcery on yeah. it. But they it told is. us they yeah. can't use sorcery. But they can. Clearly actually. they can. So <laughs> but You know, um, it always it always struck me as odd that you you can do all the stuff that you can do with magic, but you specifically for portals need a sling ring. Like it's tied to the rings and yeah, like the tack itself. It seems to than... stand out. Like, it's not just a mm -hmm. thing you could do with magic. Well, they have a couple of um, tech-limited bits of magic in the original film. Like, the they have, like, little um, little booties. And then they have... This, obviously, the Cloak of Levitation is, like... They, they have select items that are enchanted and do different magical things as items. And I guess the Sling Ring is just one of those. I suppose. It would have been a good way them. to limit how insanely <laughs> powerful that is. They're like, yeah. oh, there's only one... One sling ring, and it's the ring of it's the ring of and you have to have it, and it's very very special, and you can't mm -hmm. just you know make portals whenever you want because everyone's got rings. That would be good. But, um, <laughs> no. So she starts yeah, the big seem... suck. Oh, um, which is bucks big in suck. terms of timeline. Like that means that she had her on the table. And then it took all the time it took Strange to get to Sinister Strange for her to start sucking. <laughs> nice. I don't feel the need to change the wording there. That was perfect. Okay. No, no. But I, I think it's perfect just the way it was. Yeah. Um, so that's a nice little stretching of time to make this kind of work out. Um, and we cut back and Doc Strange is looking through the dark hole and he's found the universe America's in. So now he's preparing. And wonderful old Christine walks in, and she has some stuff to say. I wish she wouldn't she talk, does. but she keeps doing it. Yeah, it's really annoying. Uh, so, she says, wow, you strangers, you're all the same. Uh, and it's like, what is she talking about? It's like, well, the use of the Darkhold. And you might be like, Christine, don't you want to ask him about what happened? Literally, a man just got impaled in front of yeah. you. Yeah, where, where did he go? What happened? What, ha where, what, how? He's still down there. It, I'm wiggling. And she, by the way, she didn't ask <laughs> if, like, is he, friends? is he supposed to be dying? Do we care about him? Are we helping him? Is he dead? Oh, no, no. Nope, none of those questions. He just opened his eye. 
his his la- yep. his dying thing his last moment he hates christine that much now he's he's yep. flipped as a character christine ultimately has brought him so much pain and so much suffering through yearning and in this this unhappiness he's so much of an incel now that his last thing that he'll ever do was to give her a real spooky eye right before he dies so he yep. terrified a woman yeah and then he dies i don't know so really it all makes sense um yeah, she doesn't ask about any of that she just immediately starts chastising him for trying to save the multiverse yep yeah what a piece you just want to slap her she'd be like shut up help idiot does anyone in this universe want to save the universe that they're in <laughs> no. like anyone does anyone no. care um you and you know what he doesn't, he doesn't he doesn't even try that counter that i'm trying to save the multiverse he just says you're right we are all the same yeah oh it's uh, like um oh okay all right then because you just killed an evil version of yourself who said that he went to different multiverses to kill dr strange just because they were happy no, <laughs> unhappy. It's hard to say without <laughs> laughing. But like <laughs> I I don't even know why you would say that, Mr. Strange Man. I have no clue. <laughs> what are you smoking? Hey, we are the same. Did you smoke the dark hole? <laughs> are you high on <laughs> evil? Make more sense. Um but yeah. I don't know, like it's, it's like you're so checked out at this fucking point. It's just like, yeah, whatever. Whatever's gonna happen is oh, gonna happen, yeah. I guess. And, um, yeah, he, he basically says, like, I'm gonna need you to, to per, like, I need you to shut up and just help me at this point, defend me against, um, the people who are gonna, whatever's gonna attack me. And it's just like, okay. And then he's preparing to dreamwalk, and she's like, don't you need a living thing to dreamwalk into? And he's like, who said that? And then it's, he's, he's jumping into good old zombie Defender Strange. Um, there's a lot to talk about with this. Oh, there's so much that happens here. <laughs> so much. First of all, you can dreamwalk into dead people. What does that Why? mean? Why could you more? Because it's like dead. if we're supposed to understand it as you take advantage of whatever their sort of standing is in that universe, like as in you get access to all of their senses and abilities. When you're a dead person, uh are you what are you? Do? What are what you are exactly you? taking? I I get it's like the mind connection. You have two minds and you're magically bridging the gap or whatever. But a body's just, it's just like, like can you do that to roadkill? <laughs> it's just like no, there's no blood any... flowing. And I know that they have him move in like ooh zombie ways. But it's like, well, I mean, you're not moving at all, right? You got no control there's over no anything. There's no moving because there's no blood pumping. There's nothing. And you're dead. Then you might be like, oh, you're ruining the magic of zombie stuff. And it's like, no, okay, okay, look. I'm you're just saying... the magic of zombie stuff. It's <laughs> weird that you can dreamwalk into things that don't even necessarily have to... Like, how decomposed does he have to get before you can't dreamwalk anymore? Because yeah. I think it's a can much clearer rule trees? that you can't dreamwalk if they're not living. Like, that could have been a nice little borderline. But now it's like, what if he's like mostly dust can you still get in there well, well you see Mola, if he's cremated you turn into like a dust man um mm. that just walks around or you turn into sandman um and you fly mm. around great and you know what that's just the the simplest of issues with this it's like okay we'll just we'll we'll file that away in fine fine file that in okay. fine 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 a sufficiently um, together corpse is enough sure he's uh the, 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 this this is going to be pretty useless for him because getting into zombie Defender Strange puts you in New York City, which is very far away from Mount Wentacore or whatever. So you're going to mm -hmm. need something to get well, you there. Well, Mount Wentacore is actually in southern Canada, so it's <laughs> not that far, I guess. Oh, I'm sure you can walk there, but that still wouldn't yeah. be fast <laughs> enough, would I it? You're going to take it a bit too long. Yeah, some he's going to need or... something. <laughs> Some kind of... He's going to have to walk somewhere to get something, I don't know. But luckily for him, when, when, he, yeah. when he rises from his grave, they have a very explicit shot to show he has a sling ring. Oh, that's useful. Oh? Mm -hmm. hmm. Which, um, very, very upsetting when I saw that. Uh, what? In, in the old theater. Because you lied to me, movie. You told me he didn't have one. You told me he died because he didn't have one. But he has one. 
How dare yeah, you? Kind of changes the, uh, the whole <laughs> movie, really. The Big opening deal. scene should have been him opening a portal directly to the book with America. He grabs it, casts a spell to kill Spaghetti Monster, casts a spell to kill Wanda, and then the credits roll. Yep. Yep. And that would be the end of it. But no. The whole movie changes because they forgot that he had it. They didn't. I, did they forget? Or did or did they get to this point and they went, oh shit? Yeah, that's the reality. They <laughs> got to this point. What happened. Yeah. They said, how does he get to the mountain? It's like sling ring. It's like yeah, but he can't. Uh, they wouldn't yeah, even have said that. They would have just said sling ring. No, I don't even believe that they remembered he's not supposed to have one. They would have been like, yeah, he's a dead strange. Because to be honest with you, Doctor Strange should have taken strange that off him when he buried him. He should have been like, that's a sling ring. Oh yeah, it's fucking useful. That's useful. really useful. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, if for whatever reason the one that I have gets magically disappeared, then I I will have a spare. What a shame, man! That's interesting because I I completely missed that because I was I was, I was going for a piss when that scene happened, so I didn't even catch that. Oh, I, was I just, just assumed angry. they. F I just I just assumed they just man. flew there because I didn't know where that mountain was. So. Because I, I've never more explicitly felt in my head I was like you cheaters, fucking yeah. useless writers, you cheated. You've broken your what own are we rules. Paying you to do? Man. No, he has don't one, worry. Actually. Don't worry, Meta. We're going to get flight later. We'll get some <laughs> flight. Well, so well, yeah. that's that's there's so many problems. That's yeah. the next one, yeah. right? So he, he he portals away, ends up on Mount Went to Core, and and then you hear a voice say something like, "Steve and Strange possessing the dead is forbidden," or something like that. And it's like, no, wait, what? So it's what forbidden to dreamwalk into dead bodies, but it's not forbidden to dreamwalk into living people. Apparently, it's more Apparently. ethical to dreamwalk into dead people. <laughs> yeah, it's literally <laughs> more ethical. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, but, but the oh. demons are like, oh, you did something that's you can't be doing we're that. Gonna, we're gonna get uh, you and drag you to hell. Um, yeah. And and of course, someone in chat has said, "Forbidden by whom?" Good question. There yeah. will be no answer in this film. By all the squeaky demons. Uh, clearly, Mephisto, I guess. <laughs> He's uh, yeah, like, hey, a nightmare or something. Also, I don't wait. Know. Uh, someone in chat said they didn't even hide it. He has it in the opening scene. I did have a look. I couldn't see it in the opening scene. But if he actually is fucking wearing it in the opening scene, I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's almost worse. worse. Yeah, that's worse. Which problem would you like to have? Yeah. <laughs> Your pick. He's got this bountiful harvest of problems. It's so horrible. It's a bumper crop. There's so no hard to problems on the problem tree. Because um, at least if he doesn't visually have it in the first scene, you could have a very retarded headcanon where the hole they buried him in just accidentally had, had a sling ring in there. Yep. <laughs> That's convenient. It was Wong's <laughs> secret uh, sling ring stash. Yeah, fell out of his pocket or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah apparently it's on his belt. That's ah, fucking annoying, but oh well. Uh, uh, and we're halfway through the film, we get to go, where did that extra sling ring go? Hmm. Here <laughs> of course, it was here in the dirt on the top of this plant in New York City. <laughs> but yeah, it's just funny that it's forbidden to do it to the live uh, to the dead, but not the living. It's just like that makes no sense at all. But okay, yeah. we'll have to yet again be like, fine, that's how your rules work. And so they start fluming all over him. They're like, blah, 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 blah. and if you don't leave this body, if you don't cease this dream walk right now, we're gonna drag you to hell. Hey. Hey, check yeah. that out. Look at that reference. Hey. Nice. I bet a lot I bet a lot of those people haven't watched that film. I guarantee like, oh. <laughs> many haven't seen it. Would probably still so reference it as great is. though. Dra Dragon what is that? Yeah, yeah the, the Sam Raimi's film the Drag Me to Hell. I'm never just curious it. how many I, well, so that's the thing. I'm just curious how many people like this film was so Sam Raimi. It's like, have you seen it? Or Oz the Great and Powerful? I'm genuinely curious. I'm assuming that I have not. Because the uh, only things he made were the Evil Dead that one time and Spider Man. That's usually even, what you get referenced. Evil yeah. Dead, even Evil Dead is a bit of a stretch, I think, for some. It's just for some people, it's just Spider Man. But yeah, if you look at the video essays, a yeah. lot of them only cite Spider Man. It's like, yeah. man, he's done a lot, you know? Like, this, this yeah, not Oz, just Oz was not good. <laughs> I you would assume that, but... if, if you're so fucking hyped that a, a singular person did the thing like that, that you're interested in, you. You'd like check even out if their, you, yeah. you just check out their other things, like oh man, there might be interesting things I like, or I can just reference in my videos and stuff. Or do they have Spider-Man in it? 
he did play the Peterman. Man. I well, only watched well he made a here he made a film in the nineties called Dark Man. Yeah, he did. Just fucking awesome. Um, I've heard good that. things about that. E Fab Drag Me to Hell. We could do that sometime. I'd be on board. Definitely a movie that works for that. Um This movie dragged me to hell. No, oh, yeah. Well, so anyway, that's kind of where, where I was going. Um, he starts getting dragged to hell. Oh, all the demons are grabbing him. And now it's up to Christine to save him. Um, <laughs> what? I was so lost in the cinema. I was like, why didn't he tell her this is what it is? And how is she supposed to defeat evil undead spirit monsters? What the fuck is she going to do? She's just a lady. Like, is she going to yeah. slap him? Like, what's going to happen? I have no idea. Lucky for her, she is thrown across the room and bumps into a weapon. Um, that she recognizes, luckily, and knows how to use. It's just like, yep. oh, okay. <laughs> now, so that's how she knew it, because that's when I came back into the in the, in the screening room. It's like, ah, what, what does she have there? And then just fires it at one of the ghosts, like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Pretty weird. That's um, interesting. And again, redrafting would get them to no, be like, we don't do that here. is there any way we can get her to use that in a way that could make more sense? Like, what if he told her about it before he went under? Uh -huh. That's an idea. There's like, a weapon over there that you could use to do the thing I need you to do. Uh, Save yeah. the multiverse. And he's like, you may not believe me, but you're about to be attacked by undead spirits. Okay? I know. Yeah, a little, little warning. warning. Yeah, a little warning would be great. Uh, of course, scream. But anyway, um, this thing is like explosive flamethrower, and she fires it directly in his direction i thought it was really oh, yeah. funny he's just on the floor and she blows them away right it's like you could have killed him but that's fine don't worry about it I guess. <sighs> and yeah she she gets rid of the two that are here like man mm. lucky there wasn't the 16 ish of them <laughs> you, oh, you, you got through couple. just a couple stragglers mm -hmm. and then something happens oh. that i really don't fucking like so oh. He's struggling, okay? He he be struggling. He's 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 just oh, he's he's writhing. He doesn't know what to do. He's going to hell. Help him out. And she oh, said, oh, "By the way, this is a this is a line that's celebrated by so many people as like an awesome fuck yeah moment in the film. We're gonna have a different conversation about it." She grabs yeah, his hand <laughs> and oh, fuck no. He says, "Hey, you're the you're the master of the mystic arts. They're spirits. Use them." And then they do like. <laughs> wow. Fucking Thanks. guitar sound. He's like, "Oh yeah, wow. that's a good idea. I'll use them." Whatever. You that remember so, that as, a, as an that. epic line? I didn't even remember the line till now. I <laughs> only two, remember the guitar noises. Two major issues with this. First, why the hell is that something you're telling him? What yeah. the fuck? That happened in Moon Knight too, like multiple times. I don't understand. Like. He's the Sorcerer Supreme, like, let's be honest, he's- so, It's like, why the hell wouldn't he have done this to begin with? Why would he need Christine to tell him, you're a sorcerer, bro? <laughs> like, what? It's like, yeah, like, no, thank you, no, shut the fuck up. Such a- not- but, I'd say possibly the more pressing issue. You're telling me these- listening. These things, specifically designed to drag a sorcerer to hell if they start to infect and control a dead body, the greatest possessed. weakness is a sorcerer. <laughs> yep. What the fuck's the point? That's sort of the point the design is that flaw. they wanted. The point is that they wanted the imagery of Doctor Strange with a bunch of like scary skeleton arms and then flying with a massive like cape assembled yeah. from yeah. demons. This was that's, all that's set what up. it is. This looked really cool. Yeah, uh, and it did. It looked cool. This, this, well, it, it this answers... film is yeah beholden to a lot of visuals that they wanted. It answers all the questions for why any of this happened. All of it's been crazy nonsense, everything to do with these spirits. And it's like, yeah, it all happened because they were just trying to get the visual. That's it. And they wanted the trailer shot, yeah. The trailer shot of a zombie Doctor Strange with a bunch of crazy, like, skeleton arms. This this film is very much beholden to... Because that's the reason why they had Wanda walking around like a zombie instead of flying around. Because mm -hmm. it looked... They thought it looked cooler. Like, th there's so many things in this film where it's, you just wanted something that looked cool and you didn't care how you got it. Yeah, they just wanted the metal visual of a zombie Doctor Strange with bat yeah. wings made of demons. And yeah, and, and, it, and it works. How People have been sharing there. the fuck out of it being, like, one of the best parts of the film is amazing. It's t and I'm just sitting here like, I mean, visually, it, sure. It's visually, it's <laughs> terrible, but it's abject nonsense. That makes sense. Kind of important. Yeah, it'd be nice if it made sense, but never mind. We can't have everything. Uh... <laughs> 
kind of it'd be anything. nice if anything made sense. <laughs> we yeah. can't have anything. Yeah. Um, so he's heading toward the temple with his big old spirit wings now, and the demons yeah. spot him. And one of them starts casting some wonder spells, and it's like, wait, what? Oh, okay, here we go, we're about to have a big fight. He gets stabbed in the head by Wong and pulled off the cliff. It's yeah. like, yep. oh. Well, that was yeah. easy. Okay. Yep, that's, uh... Yep. Yeah, could have been cool, yeah. Um, could have had right. a cool fight there, you know? But guess they, they, did, the movie, they really. were just sitting around all that time. They were a little bit rusty, I guess. Also, mm -hmm. just a knife. You could just stab with a knife and they die, which is, I mean. Maybe that one didn't get pre visualized, so there was no fight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and then like you're the like, okay, well. Knives are the weakness. There's three left. So, you know, yeah. what are we going to do with them? Well, Doctor Strange appears and blows them off, and then they're dead. Well, because remember, they're throwing little rocks at him. They're like, here's a rock. I'm going to get you. They're throwing them rocks down, but then yeah, they get. They want to use those Wanda powers again. Let's just use uh, the rocks. Yeah, you just give them a little, little push, and they're all dead. Mm -hmm. That's it. Easy peasy. And that's the end of those monsters. Yeah, that was that's what they contributed. Monsters. Whoa, um, and trailer shots. Well, uh, funny oh, you, yeah. you mentioned that, of course, because uh, yeah, Doctor Strange then takes the time to acknowledge. He like can see Wong. Wong shouts Strange's name. And he does a little spinny, cool, like, I'm awesome thing. And then he lands to attack Wanda. And it's like, bro, what about uh, Wong? Yeah. What, what about Wong, your buddy, who you haven't seen for a while? He's hanging on the edge really of a cliff. Day. Yeah. Like, what are you... Do also... Doesn't Wong, also, doesn't Wong also say, I don't even gonna ask, or something. How Once it gets up ask? there. Oh, but that's, okay. that's, yeah. I thought also, it was when he was still hanging. So. I'm not sure. Maybe this... In, in the trailer... Uh, he's like, oh, strange! Like, he screams it like he's scared yeah, of what's happening to mislead you. But in the film, he's like, strange! Woohoo! Yeah. I don't yeah. know how I feel about this, where you include content that isn't in the film to trick people. Feels like in The Last of Us 2, when it's like, Joel's yeah. there, but he's not. It's a lie. No. You lied yep. to me. Like, yep. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, that <laughs> take is more suitable. Here, yeah. Wong shouldn't be happy that he's seeing this. He shouldn't be. Oh, yeah, cause exactly. how does he know that it's actually it's a good not Doctor even, Strange? The easy, straightforward argument is this is evidence that uh, Strange is using the Darkhold, it's which corrupts dark you. Yeah. Quote-unquote. And also, you don't even know that this is the real Strange. It could just be a zombie Strange, you know? Yeah, this doesn't look great. Whatever's happening, even though mm. those beasts got knocked off the cliff, it's like, you don't know what's going on here, man. And exactly. then... This yeah. Instead of inspecting just, that and asking a question, they make it a joke. Like, I don't yeah, even want to know. know. It's like, nice. I know you've been having a bad day, but like, man, you really do want to know, I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's because <sighs> this, this final battle sucks. It's like, all it is is that Doctor Strange is like, here, have some ghosts. Wanda. Well, before and then, that happens, I want to oh, highlight yeah. that Wanda is only aware of him once he lands. She hasn't paid attention to anything that's happened so up to that demon. point. Yeah. yeah. None of it. Just is not aware of any of that. Uh, and obviously she has not finished the big suck. Hmm. No. <laughs> she have done a long time ago. Really long suck it takes to get it power, apparently. Yep. Hey, that's a lot of power to travel the multiverse. Mm. How long? You tell me how long she should be sucking. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years. The, the final I mean, battle in this film seconds. is just, here's some monsters, they're gonna get you, and then we're gonna put you in, like, a sphere and lock you in, <laughs> yeah. and then there's a couple punches. That's the final battle. Oh, really? yep. yeah, like... The way that they portray it is she fires a bunch of her magic at him, and the, the demons eat it all. Like, yeah. it yeah, seems to me that they were trying magic. to, yeah, they were trying to tell us that, if anything, her attacks will just power him up. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. that ain't but true then that's soon enough. that's not what happens. No, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But it's just like, what? The demons are like, not hungry anymore. They're full. Th these fights are really crap. Like, you know? Yeah, these fights really lame. Think about, like, other Marvel movies where they try to find ways to leverage the unique abilities of each character yeah. in a situation. You know, like, in like in uh, Avengers when the whole team's working together, but they're leveraging specific skills that they have. Like, oh, we'll get Clint up on the roof, keeping an eye on where everybody's going and uh, calling out patterns. Tony's going to be flying around the perimeter and leveraging his maneuverability in New York to beat out the uh, Chitauri. And then, like, Thor's going to be trying to fly around and just take down the big monsters. Like, let's leverage their powers to have really cool fights. And here it's, um, send demons at you, and then we're going to lock you in a sphere. That'll show you. Well, and, uh, 
<laughs> Wanda is just as fucking dense now as she always has been. The first thing she says when she sees him is hypocrite. And it's like, yeah, bro, I, well, <laughs> when you're about to destroy the fucking multiverse, yes, I will use the Darkhold. Well, it's oh, kind of yeah. funny because in interviews, that's something that Elizabeth Olsen's been saying, like, oh, she's calling out the hypocrisy. It's like, is this one of, like, the five lines that sort of happens with each Marvel movie of, like, the broad topics that you have to keep hitting every time? It doesn't make sense. How is he a hypocrite for using the Darkhold to save the universe when you're using it to just destroy everything? To get to your kids everyone. that aren't even yours! It's yeah, like... Uh, they're not even yours. I, like, unbelievable. The, uh... It's... So, in chat, you're like, liar! It's like, it's worse than that! <laughs> <laughs> it's way worse than that! <laughs> uh, uh, um, so yeah, and again, non-stop nonsense. So she's trapped in that sphere. Wong's trying to hold her, but he's like, she's gonna break free, you gotta take America's power. And it's funny to me, because it's like, no, kill her. Don't take mm -hmm. the fucking power, because then Scarlet Witch will just take it off him. Kill her. Stop fucking around. Finally, we can mm -hmm. do the- Finally, we can do what Defender Strange yep. didn't even <laughs> like. It's just- it's just funny but, to come full but circle. No, we, we are yes. about to resolve one of the four arcs for Doctor Strange, that arc being, you know what, I'm not gonna be- ruthlessly pragmatic anymore. Uh, I'm gonna be an idiot instead. I'm actually instead. gonna... Oh, uh, I'm gonna give you a pep talk and hope that the universe doesn't... the multiverse doesn't yeah. die. Well, yeah, yeah. so... His grand, his grand plan is, hey, America, believe in yourself, okay? And then... Okay. Uh, and that's not kid. a joke. Uh, it, I want to make sure people understand this, who are listening and don't know what happens. He walks up to her and gives her a literal pep talk. It's not... Yep. Like, there's, there's nothing as, else to as, it. There's nothing else you need to know. As a zombie. Yes. As, as a zombie. Zombie strange. Is there a pep talk? And then says, go kick that witch's ass. Which we're going to talk about in a second. That implies yeah. something. But um, yes, the, that's all he tells. It. He has no reason whatsoever to think that'll work. But nope. he's going to try. I guess it's also apparently he's at his wit's way. end in, in, in this early in the fight. He just stops trying, fighting her, I guess. And, I, I guess know. it's worth... Pointing out though as well, Defender Strange getting his corpse paraded around like this guy, mm -hmm. like what an awful fate he's had. Yeah. yeah, nobody, nobody cries for Defender Strange. Nobody, nobody there's cares no about fanfare him. for Defender Strange. He dies a horrible death, uh, despite actually saving America's life in the end. And his reward is getting his corpse paraded around. Well, I'm uh, considered and a traitor. And he's such an amazing watch. guy. He would be okay with it if that's what it took. Because he's yeah, that kind of hero. There's no, there's no, there's no burial for him. He's buried under a bunch of rubble. Like he's not in there. I know he's not in there. But like, it's his corpse just getting paraded around. Do you Clown not understand? Like, a ponytail. It's, well, it's just kind of like it's about respect. Like nobody gives about, a fuck yeah, about him. Yeah. No, nobody cares. I, like, back, I mean, to rewind it, the, to the, at the beginning of the film when Doctor Strange is looking at his very first dead self, he's like, "I got a ponytail." Boop, boop, like, yeah, like, no, it's fuck? like, dude, he's dead. <laughs> like. Man yeah. died. Yeah. Um, Trying to save the multiverse. MCU first. movies don't like to linger on realities ever. They're just like, blah, blah, blah. Not it's fine. Really, it's funny, no. actually. That's what it is. It's funny. It's like, yeah. ah, okay. Um, yeah. It's unethical to possess one's own body. It's not his own. It's a different person. It's not his. Yeah. 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 Different people. Like, Absolutely not. It'd be his like body. saying there's nothing unethical about possessing Wanda then. It's like, it's a different person. I certainly think it's more, it's less ethical to take over the body of a person who's alive, obviously, but Two still. Like, yeah. You know? You're left alone yeah, that's by definitely, That's definitely worse. Again, but I mean, like, it's, not, it's, it's, it's just lame it. that there's no acknowledgement of, like, Doctor St this Defender Strange died trying to save the universe, and his fanfare is, he gets buried on a roof, and everybody makes fun of him, and then he gets his corpse paraded around, and <laughs> melted and buried underneath a pile of, like, all this rubble. And considered someone who betrayed America. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> what about it is what, bullshit? What, and it makes what about the Avengers in his universe? Are they gonna gonna be wondering where he where no, he, he fucking went? No, oh, no, yeah, no, no. They won't even no, inform his it. universe what happened to him. Nobody yeah, will no. know. He just disappeared. No, they, they, they don't know. There's no body. They did. He, They'll he never find to... his body. There'll never be a funeral. He's gone. Yeah. He's yeah. disappeared one day. It's the one universe where he actually got Christine, and that's the one where he disappears. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't meant to be. They're oh. gonna get married. I'll be right back! I just gotta save this girl real quick. Um, and yeah, and it, and she actually says in this scene, by the way, just take my power, just kill me. Like, 
yeah, I mean, that, that's yeah. that's uh, clearly we got to stop <laughs> Wanda from getting it. And it's just like fuck you. <laughs> like, the, what exactly was her arc regarding that and someone might intuitively say well it's the amount of death she's seen surely and it's like they didn't really leverage it's that never did they acknowledged. it's never really acknowledged throughout the film um nope. because america's just kind of a plot device she's not really much of a character at all no yeah just... fucking annoying there should have been several moments where she has to come to terms with the fact that every fucking person that dies with wanda chasing her she has some level of it, like, like cause and effect change. She's involved. She's not ethically responsible in any way, as far as I'm concerned. But at the same no. time, she's going to feel as though she is. Well, that responsibility belongs to Maria Rambo for letting Wanda go at the end of WandaVision. It's all her fault. Monica Rambo. Monica, <laughs> sorry. Yes, <laughs> you're right. Because Monica, Monica might have actually had the capacity. To, I guess we'll find out in the movie, right? Like what she can do. She might have been able to stop her. Dude, uh, I, yeah, her. probably. And I wouldn't even be surprised if she'd like. Confirms she was so correct with what she did in Westview. She's it would never. It would never. No, I don't think it'll ever be acknowledged again. I think they'll forget. Uh, I, I think they moved on. Like M Monica's involvement in Wanda's story, I think is over. I, I imagine Westview might get a line because it's going to be where she got her power from. Maybe, but like, no, I don't think they're going to reference Wanda. I think they're just moving on. It's like, no, she's getting her own story. Like, we're not. And, and she got another story. version of her mum killed. Uh, yep. that, well done. That's true, actually, that's... Are you, are you beaten off <laughs> I didn't even that? think of that. Beaten off. <laughs> oh no. Um, Maybe. But yeah, that's that's all he gives her is go beat her up. I believe in and you. And then that's the motivation she actually needs to like be able to control her powers. It's, actually works. It's like one of the worst. So it's just like Captain Marvel, by the way, where she learns to fly. It comes out of fucking nowhere. It's just like oh, you can just do that yeah, now. Because well, because in yep. Captain Marvel, I mean, it's like, why would you believe that that's something you can do? Like, yeah. why would you, you know? Your powers why do not you... involve flying. No, don't jump off mm -hmm. that bridge. But, um, <laughs> yeah, jeez. Um, but yeah, Doctor Strange <laughs> just sort of tanks a shot from Scarlet Witch. He almost walks into it. He just takes it and it burns half of his fucking body off. It's like, oh, yeah. okay. Well, that's yeah, because Wanda broke out of the, uh, out of the thing. She yeah. broke out. And so America's disappeared for a minute. It's like it's like what's going on? She starts like really incinerating Doctor Strange to the point where he's like ah, blah, blah, blah. and then you hear like a Rah! and it's it's fucking America and she like jumps ah! in a hero pose. It's just like what is this? <laughs> yeah, what, is, what are we doing? Jesus Christ! And yeah, she punches Wanda in the face so hard it causes a shock wave that spreads through the entire mountain. So like yep. Wanda's dead. <laughs> Wonder is Sorry, in pieces. <laughs> yeah. Her, yeah, she has no head. <laughs> it just no. popped off. It's so stupid. Like I was just like, what are you trying to say? And Wanda's just like um taking them? She's not oh, stopping yeah. her. Like uh, a couple of well, them. Yeah, because, because, like, oh yeah, because whatever. It's at that point that she like when she punches her, it opens a portal to like a Mustafar. Yeah. Uh no. and Wanda nearly falls in. But then, like, America throws another punch and Wanda blocks it. You, and she's like, I can't defeat you. And it's like, yeah, you could have. Just kick her into the Mustafa. Didn't get, just like, close the portal. <laughs> she's in Mustafa. Yeah. Her, her feet are in Mustafa. She could have just closed the portal and won. She's fucked yeah, if she's like, left there. But no. That's, but no. We, need, we, we still got drama we need to, we need to have uh, now, occur. Worth pointing out, Doctor Strange said the plan in full was kick her ass. That's all he's got. He doesn't have any yep. other plan. She tried to kick her ass. It didn't work. So Doctor Strange Even should right now be like, worked. well, that's it. Guess we that's lost. The end of the multiverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. I kind of just hoped. I, do uh, know, I, I don't know what other magic bullshit I could pull out of my asshole for this one. I think we might actually have run out of things the writers gave us. But uh, then America opens up one last portal. And it's to the Westview house in the alternate universe. The it's, it's actually the, universe. yeah, the Illuminati yeah. universe. It's, um, it is. Well, because Wanda's got scars on her face, the good one. Well, it's, honestly, if it were any other one, it wouldn't make anywhere near as much sense. But it also doesn't no, make any sense, because the idea here <laughs> is that Wanda, thanks to Charles, understands what's happening to some degree. Because he explained it to her, if you remember, kind of quickly. Yeah, so kind of. that's what informs why she ends up saying what she says. So, yes, this is that universe. 
that's gonna cause loads of problems in a second. We're gonna get there. <laughs> so she sees her kids and they scream at her like, "Oh my God, Bobby, what the fuck!" And then and then she's confused as to why they would be upset when this crazy version <laughs> yeah. of their mom just teleports in, like through a portal. But then uh, Wanda yeah. turns up, like the the good Wanda, dare I say, and Scarlet Witch Wanda just fucking blasts her away instantly because it's just like, yeah, of course. Yeah. Can't yeah. do anything to it. And then, and um, then, uh... I, I got a highlight. So that happens, and America sees that, and she goes to do something because that's what a normal good person would do. And Doctor Strange goes, "No, uh -huh. wait." And it's like, "Wait, bro, <laughs> she, why?" Hello, she might kill her. Like, what do you, what do you mean, yeah. wait? It's just like, yeah, because Doctor Strange has already predicted exactly how this will go. Uh, when he has He's no right. fucking reason to think it'll go the way it does. Mad man. Wait, Ooh. sorry, we've skipped we've skipped over the portal stuff we needed to talk about. Um, d d when oh, Doctor you're right. Strange is talking to America, he says like you've always. He, he essentially says like you've always kind of known where you were going. No, um, you need well, to yeah, believe in yourself. No, not of so, taking us where we needed to go. Well, well I mean, Mola, what what is what does he Pardon. say exactly? Pa so part part of the pep talk involves like like w so i said there was like nothing for him to think it i guess this is the reasoning for the movie to think that she can take the scarlet witch on because he believes that every portal she has opened has been deliberately designed to take them wherever they needed to go it's the word he uses mm -hmm. is needed to go and then she says yep. which is one of a bazillion counters by the way but they don't go over all of them she says, what about the first one I opened? Meaning the one that fucked her parents over and sent her to a different universe. And he says, that led you here. Thanks, moms. <laughs> yeah. I just... I guess. So, I um, guess to, to, mm. to run back, to run back all of the problems that stem from this. So, like, up until this point, if you're watching them tumble through all of these universes, it's like, okay, so, first of all, man, it was both very convenient and very inconvenient that the portal that you opened when you were being attacked as you went for the Book of Ashanti took you to the universe with seemingly the best Doctor Strange, but also the Scarlet Witch who was trying to get you. Like, man, what out of infinite realities. Well, huh. wouldn't, wouldn't the wow. better way to, <sighs> to say that then would be that she is running away from someone who is in only one universe, right? She's universe, a, out a of infinite. We have to clear this up too, because you might be like, well, wait, why is there only one? So, if there was more than, if there were infinite Scarlet Witches chasing America, then we should see them, but we don't. Why don't we? Well, we don't. she's a Nexus being, quote unquote, which is something you're supposed to infer from meta knowledge that she is the only mm -hmm. one across the multiverse. How does that make any sense? No idea. It just, it doesn't. But we'll have to accept that for the sake of this, because it has to be true, considering we don't see loads of Scarlet Witches everywhere. We should. We should be, all of them should be chasing America, because America is the only one of her kind is what they've told us in the movie so yeah so if she's the only one that's we're not talking about a needle in a in space okay we're talking it's infinite the odds yeah. of her america chavez deciding i need to get to a good doctor strange in order for me to be successful that's this guy and it's like that universe is also the one that the scarlet witch is in and what are the odds? Oh, cruel so, one, in, one in infinite. We've talked about this uh, before off stream, but I think that is the biggest contrivance we will ever have ever. That is, there's nothing that yeah. can well, yeah, be Yeah, because it's, it's, it's plausible. It it's in one in like a billion, 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 billion. Yeah, uh, you, can't, you can't, you can't even use numbers. You can't yeah, even exactly. use numbers. It's infinite. It's infinite. And, then, yeah, it, and then you run through that, you run through that line of reasoning again, when they escape from Kamataj, it's like, it's real lucky that none of your portals open in the vacuum of space or in like the middle of a star or in places that you couldn't survive. And it's really lucky that your portals kept opening to take you to a universe that the Illuminati universe where you can live would have sucked if the power stopped working in the paint universe. That just would have been mm -hmm. the end of you, I and guess. someone said uh, Kang did it. It's like, no, he's out. He, he couldn't have done Kang's this. Kang's out. Kang's dead. I think. Well, at least at least the one who orchestrated all the TVA is dead. Yeah. Um, so and also, what does it mean Kang. for Kang to do that? Like, if they teleport to the paint universe, does he open a portal to the paint universe and then delete them and reset the timeline so that they can <laughs> try to filter through all the portals again, except this time keep going and get to the Illuminati universe? Otherwise, it's just another one in infinite chances that it leads them to this universe where there's a door that leads them to the Book of Ashanti. Like, that there's a portal there. If it, if it teleported them anywhere else, like the Noir universe or the dinosaur world, and they got stuck there, that just would have been yeah. the end of them. Well, And then again, 
Oh, go, Jurassic go for it. World. Oh, why didn't the portal just take them straight to the Book of Ashanti the second because time? Because Doctor Strange is full of shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. makes, roundabout sorry. way to get us to that book. On, on. <laughs> well, so this is the thing. You have to judge the... So on the track that it always took them to where they needed to go to eventually have it be that the Scarlet Witch was defeated, that means that whatever her subconscious is, it decided we have to have all these people die. The Illuminati have <laughs> to die. All these innocent Which, sorcerers, they see. have to die. I don't see how that makes sense in terms of the way no. that her powers work from her perspective. That well, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. It puts their deaths on her. If, if you're arguing that this is like... Yeah, her she, subconscious. She mm -hmm. decided. It's, it's just like, you know, you have the ability to get to the thing you need, but you keep choosing alternate paths for no reason at all, and your delays cause people to die. It's like, you need and to I fucking mean, think about that. But that's, let's be honest, that ain't it. That's not actually what happened, because she had no fucking control no, over because... this. Which means then... she has been fucking incredibly lucky throughout this whole film all those lucky yes. lucky lucky bordering on impossibility yeah as in actually bordering on impossibility like in the in the truest sense of the word and here's well, another thing that's worth thinking about what does it mean <laughs> as a human being with a human brain that can only understand concepts at like a human level to be able to consciously or subconsciously identify individual universes amidst an infinite number of universes and then go to those places like what does it mean for her to say, yeah, let's get back to the MCU timeline. How do you envision that? Wouldn't there be an infinite number of duplicate MCU timelines? How would you mm -hmm. even imagine where in that universe you need to go? Like on Earth, of all of the planets, and all of the star systems, and all of the galaxies, and all of the universe, in all of the universes. How do her powers work? How can she consciously choose where she's going? I don't see how it's even possible. This is the... It's infinite. Like, it's, just, it's infinite realities. Yeah. Yeah, and she's from a universe called, or, or um, uh, yeah, called Utopia, and only has women. It's it's a universe made of only women who can have children. Neat <laughs> little girls. Well, get... actually, it's good that you brought that up because that's going to come up again very soon. Um, oh boy, I'm, I'm, we need to talk about that. But yeah, so telling her that has made it so that she now has complete control over her powers. Just well, telling her that. That was, that was, that was that zombies, kind of incredible. All it uh, took was a zombie strange. Yeah, all it took Be was being told you have complete. It's just like fucking Captain Marvel. It's a really. I believe in yourself for such a shallow message. Because <laughs> yeah. it's, what does it mean to believe in yourself? Like, what does that yeah, mean? Believed in you know? himself. Why the. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but he wasn't super powered. Like it doesn't. It's well, just, well, I mean, I mean, it's <laughs> incredibly <laughs> unsatisfying when the big payoff for your hero moving from tier one to tier two, if you will, is just yeah, I believe that I could. Yeah. You're like, okay, yeah, I believe in it. You should have believed sooner, honestly. Yeah, I guess that was just <laughs> our mistake for not. Yeah, I don't know. Um, right. So we th that was the big thing we were waiting to have a conversation for this whole time was them establishing that turns out every time they go through one of his stupid ass portals it's because she's directing them to a particular place. So that doesn't make any sense. She should have gone straight to the book of Ashanti. She didn't. Yep. Fuck her. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Instead he yep. wastes time killing everybody. Um but I don't think the movie wants to address that. So no. catching back up with where we were. Uh her kids are pretty terrified because their monster mother just attacked their actual mother. And monster mother is like, boys, I'm not Me. a monster. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm... And it's like, whoa, this is so good because she's realizing she's a monster now. And we all just said, you're like, okay. Like, come on, <laughs> okay. I guess come on. Better late than never. I mean, I, also, I guess... Worth not moving past it, they're scarred for life. Um, like, mm -hmm. At like, any point, some crazy and, witch person might come out of a portal and terrorize them. There's some yeah. big Well, I mean, they look I mean, terrorists. Like, is that a zombie just, talking to a girl? What the fuck is happening? It's just like, <sighs> what did she think was going to happen? Like, <laughs> well, so so this is the happen? fundamental argument people make is that, uh, yeah, but to see it happen. That's different than to know. Nah, I'm on. just like, so it's difficult for me because I'm like, so you're telling me that she really didn't believe the idea that her kids would find it horrible. Is that what you're saying? 
She had to see it to know that that was a reality. Because she thought in her head, my kids, they'll probably be fine with me murdering people, right? That's probably chill. Oh no! I've seen when that, but like attacking their actual mother. Well, and, and um, and I just don't think it lines up anyway. You try and slice it because earlier when Marika Chavez said your kids will like think this is horrible, and she said they'll never know. Like so, she knows then that her kids would disapprove of this. So seeing them yeah. disapprove it like, huh? means what exactly to her? Let's go because past the first the thing end of one division. Yeah, yeah. Okay. End of WandaVision, where she's going over the dark hold and she hears her kids in trouble. That's where it ended. You hear, Mom, help. And it could have connected to the scene, but they never made it sound like in the movie that she was after those kids because they were in trouble. They completely disconnected oh, yeah. that. I don't know if you guys remember that or not, but they're like, Help, Mom, help, Mom. And that's why she she blinks up at the end of WandaVision. I guess they changed their mind in terms of the I narrative. guess a few times probably since uh, then. But yeah, I was going to highlight what the payoff should be here is that she's like, well, these ones are ruined. I'm going to have to go for a different one now. <laughs> these ones are ruined, basically, yeah. Because she knew they wouldn't approve of this the whole time. So why would them being like, wow, you're a monster for hurting our mother, be something that would change her, her course of action? She knows that they would think that. That's obvious. She thinks that. She's aware that this is immoral. I don't like. Yeah, because so, remember earlier in the film, she she's like, "Oh yeah, I'm not." I, that was me being reasonable. So she understands scalability in terms of like what yeah. I'm doing. And she said, "I don't relish like killing people." So like, which is obviously not true. Um, just like, help me out, because like people <laughs> adore this, and I'm like, why? And it's like, because seeing her children react to her doing these horrible things was enough to push her over the edge of realizing that the, it was a horrible thing. She's like, no, she always knew it was horrible. She always knew that. Mm-hmm. So, what exactly is happening here? And it's just like, she's seeing her kids upset. That's enough. And it's like, it's, okay. It just sucks then, doesn't it? That the entire film, all these different people appealing to her and all these miserable fucking lives getting snuffed out as they scream in pain because of all the efforts they put into trying to stop her from taking over the entire multiverse or destroying it. None of that is not even a blip. What is, though, is her... Children who aren't even hers crying because they're beat she's beaten up their mum. Of course they're crying. None of this lines up for me. I, I, I don't follow. It's not a meaningful arc as far as I'm concerned. It's a, yeah, it's it's totally empty. It's like the most vapid arc ever. Seems rushed to me where they're just like, I don't know, this this is what this is what gets you to snap out of it. And it's like, so the dark hole's not very effective then, huh? If you can be snapped out. No, I don't understand how you're uh, capable of character at the same growth. Time, it could turn you totally evil. That's what I'm saying. Like they, they will argue to death that she was completely corrupted. She's not responsible for anything she does in this film. Simultaneously, she's capable of character growth and will stop doing evil things. It's like yeah, you have to huh. choose one or the other. Yeah, you can't she have both of those. She's culpable, and everything is on her head, including the redemption, but all of the bad things too. You got to pick one. Either she had nothing in this film, no arc, no character, nothing, or. She had the meaningful moment that you value, but then you have to have her carry all of the horrible things she did. Pick one. Yeah. They both suck as outcomes, but that's because it's, it's awful. Yeah, it it is. Good. It shouldn't have been about the kids at the end. Like, at, at, I mean, at, at some point, you sh the Scarlet Witch should have just become the Scarlet Witch. It's like, this has never been about kids. I want to take over the multiverse. Mm -hmm. They yeah, always have one well, human connection, family trauma, you know. Um, well, because uh, this is the uh, second half to this arc now, so that's out of the way. It's that she is told by Illuminati Wanda, your kids will be loved, well, these kids will be loved, right? Like, and it's supposed to imply a payoff of, like, that's what she needed. She needs to just know that the kids will be happy, even whether or not she's there. Even though when she <laughs> looked through all of the multiverses in Kamataj, she saw them all happy as families, so mm -hmm. she already knew that. That. Also, this family will not be happy. You've ruined no. this one's life. Uh, it's mm -hmm. over for this Wanda. You've destroyed her life. Use yeah, we that better woman's body to murder people. Yeah, we better we better lay it out because there are a couple counters to this, but we'll just get it nice and clean. So, the Illuminati are an organization that have decided it's worth killing people who have the chance to become like a fucking warhead, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. They're gonna kill her. They're gonna absolutely oh, yeah. fucking kill her, and that's if they even realize that she's just not entirely responsible for all of it. Like, if they conclude with Mordo and security cameras, you know what, 
this wasn't her, this was Evil Wanda taking her body. It's like, that's fine, we're still getting rid of her. Like, yep. if, if yep. Evil Wanda comes back for these kids, which is fucking likely, uh, she's gonna destroy the universe. And the, the faster we get rid of you, the more chance there is that there's no likelihood of an incursion. They're killing her. They're fucking executing her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I mean, is... even if they don't, like, she's still traumatized. I don't see how she can live comfortably and happily knowing that at any point in time she could just have her mind stolen from her and her entire Terrible. life taken from her, her children put in jeopardy and made to do awful things at any given time. Like, it's over for this family. She's, she's mm -hmm. destroyed it beyond repair. And so I, I hate this being part of the arc, being like, just know that they'll be happy. It's like, they won't. I Thanks won't. to okay. you. You, you, you. Yeah, exactly. You've made sure of that. And they can't even um. escape to a different universe because that'll cause an incursion. So never mind. It's just over. Yeah. Stop ruining people's mm. lives. Clown movie. Yeah, it's rude. <sighs> also, don't believe that th this universe's Wanda would just go home when she sees all the carnage that has happened. I mean, yeah, just chill it out at home. Like, out maybe she was packing a bag boys. to go to a different universe. Because when she yeah. exits from the Vishanti book place in between universes, whatever the fuck it's called, uh, she's like, ah, my boys, and she just leaves for the boys straight ahead, like straight. It's like, why? I get well, they're alone. You, that, that's a parent thing, but you would definitely like okay, all those dead bodies I passed oh, up. Oh, exactly. Like, like and they're gonna be coming for me. We might have a, a contingency. Viz, where's Viz? And he comes home from work. That's another um, mm -hmm. fuck up too. There are going to be universes where they don't have their mum or their dad. Yeah, exactly. In fact, there will be infinite of those. Infinite. Right. Yes. It's so crazy how the if you use the word infinite, yeah. like if you use it means it, things. It means, it means things, a yeah. lot. Infinite mm. is a lot. Infinite is well, it's infinite. It's like all these possibilities, all the possibilities. You could just make some shit up. It's right there because it's infinite. And so, because it's the one suggestion that everybody's kind of been on board with, if you ignore all the incursion things that Reed Richards said and just pretend he's an idiot who has no idea what he's talking about, like this film does, um, you'd be like, yeah, send her to a universe where they don't, their mums just died, or their mums just died. She fucking put her hand in the garbage disposal, boom, explodes, blood everywhere, but then you can magic it all up and take her place and everyone's happy. Just do that. Yep. yep. But no. Oh, no, oh, no. Nice. We can't do the Rick and Morty thing because that would make sense. <laughs> yep. Yep. Hey, look, Michael Waldron didn't write that episode. He wrote the toilet one. Um, so you must not have known about that. Well, this <laughs> film is like a toilet. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the, the portal's closed. That Wanda gets to live happily ever dead. And we get to go back to our world where Zombie Strange and America are just sort of standing there awkwardly like, have you, are you good now? You're not evil anymore. <laughs> I the, hope you're the not evil anymore. The dark hold has finally and, ceased. And that is where I would like to highlight. Strange had no fucking clue about any of this. He, no. he said yeah, to America, go kick that bitch's ass. He did not entail, you should open up a portal to her <laughs> alternate self and show her to her kids to make her realize how much of a monster. He didn't say any of that. He had no mm -hmm. idea. He was just watching this happen. He's like, please, 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 please work. Whatever this is, please work, please work, please work. Does he even know she can do like crazy punches at all? I don't know if she, he saw that happen in the he movie didn't. ever. No, he did. You're right. He didn't. I don't even know what he thought was going to happen. Yeah, here. so I don't know what the. Well, yeah, first, I don't know what he first, expected um, to happen. <laughs> the idea with that ca that character has more powers than just traveling through the multiverse, right? But he doesn't know that because this is. Yeah, that's like what I'm getting at. Yeah. yeah, there was unless it was between. Books. It was between cuts. Uh, that she told him about all of it or something. I mean, I... It's, <laughs> That's how you do yeah, storytelling, maybe. okay? You, know, you leave yeah. all the important information during the cuts where nobody can see it. So, uh... This movie. Yeah, uh... Wanda then decides, fuck it, I'm just gonna destroy the temple with me in it. That's probably the best thing to do since I'm a horrible <laughs> fucking influence on the world. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Myself. Yes, she, she destroys herself uh, while America escapes with Wong. They go right to and Kamataj. Um, so Doctor Strange technically wasn't even at the final battle scene of his own fucking movie. I dude, I don't even know what <laughs> what did he do? Like he he told America to do a thing. She didn't even do that thing, and the thing she, she did won the day. Thing. And then Wanda did a thing that ended one. Like Doctor Strange in this film is so beyond embarrassing. Mm -hmm. 
I don't even oh, know what and, to say. Oh, so I guess uh, so. Yeah, she destroys the castle and oh. it destroys the it destroys the dark hold in every universe, which is fucking um, bullshit. Why? Yes, why? So there's why? so much, why? so much to say. Maybe because if you have to destroy infinite things, you need infinite power. No, you can just be her. Um, okay. But yeah, first and foremost for me, it has to be mentioned immediately, she's going to destroy every Darkhold in every universe, and this is considered a plus by Doctor Strange, a man who just saved the multiverse Used with the Darkhold. Dark Hold, yeah. yeah, to save the multiverse. Makes How you fucking what stupid. What is the corrosive element of the Darkhold if you can use it to I don't, save the multiverse? I don't care what the corrosive element is, if it, it happens like, after you've saved the multiverse. Like, mm -hmm. who cares at that point? That's like one of those, you know... It's it just a normal mechanic of like, yeah, you can save the world, but it'll cost you your life. It's like, okay then. I could totally okay, see Doctor then. Strange making that decision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I mean, incredibly fucking reckless, and Doctor Strange yeah. approves of this decision. I'm just sitting here like, bro, the Doctor... Darkhold is considered evil? You just used it to save the multiverse. I don't understand how you can't argue well, that this is something we should keep for emergencies. Using the time stone, breaking the rules, and Doctor Strange was a trade he made to save, uh, to yep. save the universe. He's willing to break also, the rules. So this is the problem. I actually think that that's what this movie may be trying to do. Might be trying to say he's finally arced and realized he shouldn't do that. But he's been shown to save Even the universe it, several times by doing this. Every mm -hmm. time he does it, it's, it's unorthodox. His unorthodox solutions are the, the, the ones that actually end up saving the day. As if to imply, because it happens in this movie, he literally breaks the rules to save the universe. It's like they're implying, yes, but that's not what you should do. Mm -hmm. There's a line explicitly in, uh, in the first Doctor Strange from the Ancient One where she says, he, he, she's used, obviously drawn power from the Dark Dimension, he says you're not supposed to do that, and then she says sometimes we do have to break the rules in order to, for the greater good, or something like that. And that was his arc in that film, in a sense. A lot, um, a lot of it, yeah. Uh, it's, there's this. But I guess we've decided the ancient one was wrong, even though she's not. She's meant to be like pretty smart and aware. We're of not things, even you know? talking about it contradicting the movies before it. It's itself. He just did it. He just movie. Did it like what are you talking ago. about? Like I don't understand. What is your point? Well, yeah, because when Wanda says hypocrite, it's like, because remember at the beginning of the film, oh, yeah, you break the rules, and then, yeah, the, the yeah. line everybody prays. It's like, but, I mean, yeah, he is a hero because he saves people when he breaks the rules. You kill people. <laughs> like, That's what I don't, like, I just, yeah. I'm trying to pull the pieces together and see what the movie's trying to say. All I can gather is that it's like, you know what? Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch, not so different. It's like, yes, they I are. Don't, I, don't even, I don't even know that the film has anything to say. I think the film considers the Darkhold to be obviously bad all the time. And so we it need to get rid of it in every it. universe. It does we never have to use man. it again. Well, it's just, you never have to account for it anymore. It's gone. Yeah. It's well, over. You, so it, let's... Because that's what that's the Marvel formula. Whenever you've used something, get rid of it so you don't get have to account for it anymore. They did it with the stones. They didn't do it with time beard. travel. No, th wow. They they never use it again. <laughs> Isn't that funny though? That's another thing Doctor Strange could have utilized to beat her. Oh yeah, of course. You could just go to the Avengers like, hey, can I use the time machine? Thanks. Give me them stones. I need to use it quickly on Wanda. Yeah. Done and done. Give them back. Good. We all good. Imagine um, all of the times in any story where a different universe's version of one of your characters shows up asking if they could borrow something. Mm -hmm. That would happen all the time, constantly. You know, you, you know what a better payoff would be, though? Is if he asks for it, and then they say, why don't you just use the Book of Vishanti? And he's like, oh, uh, hmm, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Remind me what that cool. is again, just so I know that you're oh, telling God. the truth about it. <laughs> And they're like, yeah, we got a waypoint right here. And he's like, when was the last time you went in there? And they're like, oh, for a while now we haven't been in. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, let's do that. But they, they're they like, oh, God, it's God. And he's like, oh, my God, what? Oh, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. It's like the, yeah. the broken remnants of it just on the side. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, what happened here? Shit. And then, yeah, then he's just like, man, this sucks. Whoever did this, fuck. And then they're like, it's okay, I installed a camera so I can see who did it. And he's like, no, <laughs> oh, no, no. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, you bet. I'll meet you in the security room and we'll take a look at the footage. Uh, I'll, uh, yeah. you guys oh, go shit. Ahead. My fridge. It's on. Uh, America, we have to go. <laughs> we have to get out of here right now. <laughs> to get the hell out of here. Use so, your powers, take me where I need to go. 
<laughs> that's not even the only issue. Uh, so we've talked about how, how the hell can she even do this? Why the hell would this be approved as a decision considering the nature of the Darkhold? Third, isn't there a temple in every universe to be transcribed I from? Not, I guess oh, not. But there right. must be. Of course, there must be. The, the Darkhold dark <laughs> is derived from that place, so it can't just be from that. Because, oh. yeah, it can't just be from that one place. I have seen I mean, the counter that all that of the Nexus, infinite yeah. dark holds have been transcribed from that temple. But how is that possible? How the fuck could that That's make any sense at all? How <laughs> is that possible? <laughs> what happens in exactly. like the way that the multiverse works in Loki, that someone just makes a different decision in the MCU timeline where that castle already exists? You create two timelines where that castle already exists. What is the distinction between them? Because you can't just have one Skull Witch. There's going to be lots of them because of all the branching choices that were made. It just doesn't work. It can't work. You can't yeah. have them in universe if they from one. I would again like to say, non-stop. And they're catastrophic issues to the script. It just yeah. won't stop. It never ends. The issues are just persistent all the time. Like, there's every single aspect of the film. There's something where it's like, wait a minute, wait. No, stop. Hold on. No, no. <laughs> um... Then we got Doctor Strange telling Christine, I love you. Uh, and then she's oh, like... This is after they say that Wanda did the right thing. Oh yeah, which... they make sure to say that. And it sounds cringy and because almost meta. Remember, she's gonna get her movie, so we gotta get her back to being a good guy as quickly as possible. Yeah, they're gonna fast track that shit. It's probably part of what tempted Elizabeth Olsen to commit to all of this, is knowing that the future probably is gonna be a flat. very I'll heroic get movies. character. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so they got really letter, are. So I got a she is going storm. to get a movie where she is probably. The hero. I mean, almost certainly. Yes. She's like one of the most popular characters in the series at this stage. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I hate her. I hate her too. Um, so much. I have body, so much hate. A body, no death. She'll, she'll be back. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, she's not dead, dude. Even <laughs> even no if way. they showed all of her body parts being pulled apart and then turned into dust, I'd be like, she's coming back. Nah, she's <laughs> not. <laughs> doesn't mean anything anymore in this. Look, world. let me tell you about a guy called Palpatine. <laughs> he was only vaporized at an atomic level. Yeah, that's, that's not even that. Bad. He's still out there somewhere. Um, he he blew up twice, and then his ashes tanked a giga nuke. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he tells Christine it's not working because he was just too scared. He was scared of what would happen, and then she said, time to be brave or something like that. Time to not be scared anymore, that sort of thing. Which will be, will lead you into the one of the end credits scenes. Um, wow, until yeah. then, yeah. we're doing another arc, which is talking to... Well, actually, so the first thing they see is just Merrick Chavez is now training to become a sorcerer, which is just funny to me because it's like, yeah, that incursion, coming along well. Just wait. Yep. We're, we're getting there. Yep. Give it time. Um, but then he talks to Wong and he's like, are you happy? You'd think I'd be happy oh. saving the world, but uh. you know what? I'm not happy. And then Wong is like, this is, it's just so on the nose in terms of like what they're trying to tell you is the message in this film. Wong just goes, uh, I sometimes think about the alternate visions of myself, but then, you know, I, I just try to be happy where I'm at, even with my tribulations. And then Doctor Strange is like, and we're not alone. He's like, yep. It's like, oh, is that Man. it? Okay. <laughs> that's the movie. That's, that's the Doctor Strange. Neat. That's I the like, rule. I guess that's their message. Uh, just like, if you're not happy, just try to be. <laughs> it could be worse. <laughs> like, it could be worse. Great. <laughs> I had a gratitude list. The end. Yeah. Um, oh, one last about catastrophe. So, <laughs> oh, boy, there's always room for one more. Doctor Strange <laughs> is about to leave, and America's like, wait, wait, wait. Hey, how you doing? And then he's like, oh, I'm doing fine. How are you doing? And she's like, oh, I'm coming along. And he's like, you know what? Your parents will be proud, and it's going to be great when you tell them one day. And that should make you, remind you of like, wait a minute. She can go there whenever she wants. She can open portals mm -hmm. to people, we learned. Yeah. Remember? She gets Doctor Strange and Christine out of the spooky yeah. universe. That means she can open on you. So all she has to do, and you saw from the memory store, she's got a pretty strong understanding of who those people are at this point. Think about mm -hmm. them, open the portal, you got them. That's the, assuming they're not dead. Well, which so they probably are. The fact is that that little bit of dialogue confirms she has not tried. Yeah. Which is, which is out not good for her character. Character. Yep. I'd argue that's the biggest assassination America Chavez can face, and she's barely started as a character. Well done. Nice. Always well good done. to start at ground zero. Uh, Congratulations. Hey.
a destroyed one of the most low effort characters of all time. <laughs> well done, Mario. This is what I mean. That's, that's a speed run. It's like, how do you destroy someone with no traits? Run. And it's like, you found a way. I <laughs> five all a around. A jean jacket with an American flag, and she's called America, even though she's from a completely different dimension. I, thought, I always find it confusing to call her America, um, but I'm hoping people have managed too. to get I through this. <laughs> like, well, following me instead of assuming sound bites from that. Yeah. Um, well, and uh, uh, he also repairs his watch, symbolically moving on, presumably. One of the three arcs also complete now. Yeah. We're just hitting them as quickly as we can, getting those arcs complete and done. And then he's like, I'm gonna go for a stroll through New York. Oh no, I got a third eye, and then the end. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then, I'm, then I'm gonna go for another stroll. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, and then I'm gonna go for another stroll, yeah. And then it's... there's Charlie's third, she's clear. We're, and the incursion's happening, we're going on an adventure. See, because clear's more on his level. He's and... moving on from Christine. Yeah, he's not gonna have any fear, he's gonna go for it. Because that's the new yeah. Doctor Strange. The new Doctor yep. Strange. When oh, a lady says... Longer. I found a lady very who knows magic. I found it very it. confusing because we end the, the 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 first end before we get to the mid credit scene. It's like, oh no, for die! Ah, I was like, oh shit, this is gonna be bad. And then yeah. the mid credit scene comes. Oh yeah, I'm I'm ready. And then he opens the third yeah. eye, and so I was like, oh, I guess it's not bad. Then. I think it was yeah. supposed to be like more of a meme that that initial end, like oh, not like well, oh well, no, I what's gonna that, happen to him? Yeah. You yeah. know what that original, you know what that first ending was, where he's losing control. That's 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 an Evil Dead reference. Oh, there we go. That sorts out everything. There we go. I mean, the the actual <laughs> second, like the um the the post credit scene with Clear. It's like the only meaning, like in universe, like I know who that is, but in universe, it's like wait, the, who are you? You know magic? Like Most, where are you? Yeah. Wait, wait, what? Like incursion? Where are you from? Like what? Well, it's, who are you? It's where we're at. That's that. You know that that was like hand designed to make the audience members go, "Who's that?" I know Charlie's Theron, but I don't know who this. Oh, are we gonna get another movie? Who is? Is that? Oh, I'm gonna Google. Yeah, no, Google <laughs> like, here I go googling. It's it's crafted for the people who don't know, but it's also for the people who know who she is. Yeah, it's just that's the um, way it'll always work. It's, it's well, yeah, it works. Yeah. Because I googled it and it's like, oh, that's it's clear. Clear, and she's yeah. part of another faction. Well, she's basically like his partner, essentially, like yeah, partner in, in crime. Years. Yeah, they she probably should have been in the first movie. Mentioned. She probably should have. Um, yeah, as opposed to Christine, get someone who's can go on adventures with him. Oh God, anything just make something good happen, please. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty oh, sure MCU films are made for like, uh, um, or, or they just rely on emergency awesome videos now. He just explains yeah. all the shit. Well, what he does I mean, is slate Wikipedia and comic book knowledge with what they left out. It makes it, he actually makes it make sense or sound it's about like what's, sense. Well, it's just, it, it, these films are about what's next, uh, always. Oh, I think, oh, um, yeah, I yeah. think, I think this film is one of the clearest examples of that because what a lot of people, I think, went into this film thinking it would be is, Oh, maybe we'll get the mutants established, or like, oh, well, maybe we'll encounter yeah, these characters in the multiverse. Time. Maybe there'll be a, uh, you know, nightmare or or a Mephisto or something that are going to be in the background. But and then of course at the end it's like, oh, but there's Cleo. We were kind of it's like it's it's always about what's next. Like there's no real investment in the story right. that they're trying to tell now. Here's a theory. They have solved the Age of Ultron problem, and what I mean is that Age of Ultron is often considered to yeah. be. A failure of a Marvel film because it's so riddled with problems as a result of being pulled in all different directions to set up phase, you know, every other phase. Right. This phase movie three, will become one that you'll realize in time that is entirely skippable. Uh, it doesn't yeah. do anything yeah. for anybody at all in terms of a permanent way. You might even think like, well, that's got to be bullshit because Scarlet Witch is just like, no, no, no. She'll become a better person again at some point. Yeah. And yep. you can just ignore that this movie even happened because the, the mc will ignore that it happened however we have opened up the multiverse a bit more we've got a new character in america chavez we've got clear is going to be coming in we've got all this like little baits with all these different characters and universes like it's done the age of ultron job but it didn't yeah. look like age of ultron when it did it i've gotten better at hiding it um or I guess it's just america is going to be pivotal yes. unfortunately I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure they're gonna crank her hardcore along with um. Was she? Is she gonna be in the Marvels? 
Who no. surprised? Um, oh my god, that would be great. Oh, <laughs> Marvel is uh, awesome. it's Captain Marvel. It's um, Monica and Miss Marvel, right? That's the team. And the Blue Marvel. Don't forget the Blue is Marvel. It? Oh, okay. Yeah, Blue Marvel's right. gonna be in there. You gotta have a dude. Well, uh, it's he, gonna be a shit movie. I can't wait for that. I am. Well, and well, I mean, well yeah. seven times which, which I think movie. prompts the the discussion I've been looking to have over the past ten hours. If someone's watched all this in one go, oh boy. Uh, I feel like this is out of my hands, and instead I simply have to tell you, EFAP, for a long time, has valued with stories, uh, the, the, the idea of cause and effect. So when you say, okay, EFAP, how does this movie rank with the MCU? Is it, is it, is it worse than Captain Marvel? Is it worse than Black Widow? I'm sitting here like, you already know the answer. We don't need to give it to you. <laughs> I'm I'm not even kidding. Like I I don't blame anybody for having a metric that has a variable applied that involves how much they're enjoying the thing, and I can totally see when they're like, I enjoy this way more than Black Widow and Captain Marvel. I'd be like, yep, that totally makes sense to me. However, if we're trying to remove any chance of of our own sort of enjoyment of the the visual aspects or or the performances, which are fantastic from a lot of people, um, and we're strictly looking at the writing and how coherent it is. Uh, I, I feel like we've... I don't know if anyone's going to disagree with me here, but I feel like this is the least coherent movie in the MCU. I agree. Me too. Yep. I agree, and I think it's not even close. Yeah. <laughs> this this is, this movie did something special. I, I never think... I never thought we'd rival Loki as far as damage goes, but here we are. Well, I guess same writer, so it's not too surprising, but god damn, I thought... Eliminating free will was bad, but you yeah, know. I guess I guess it isn't even close because I forgot Loki for a moment. But yeah, <laughs> this and Loki, they share. Uh, this I think this is worse, but I think that it is a pedestal that they both can sit upon for just yeah, the I, worst things, worst stories ever. It's worth mentioning. I think that um, Loki is is like a similar bad, but the thing is, this has done more. It, it basically, it's like how would you beat something like this? It's like, is this, is this bottom of the barrel? And I'd be like, well, it's to be this, but more things wrong. And what I mean by that is like, add another character, throw in fucking Iron Man. And yeah, yeah, him. you could have a Throw in Cap and ruin him. Throw in someone else, ruin him. It's like, okay, that's how it would max out. And that's how I feel this has defeated Loki. Loki ruined Loki. Uh, the character and think... damaged the universe significantly. This has done those things and a lot more. This mm -hmm. film is like two hours of pure concentrated nonsense. Loki is like five to six hours of more spread out, less overarching in terms of how many people are influences and how many places nonsense. Not to say that Loki isn't a catastrophe, <laughs> but like, it is. what would somebody point to in this film of, you know what, that and that connect uh, in a way that makes sense. Like, what would you point to as like, yes, this plot point and this plot point, they, they follow one another. Or like, other than I guess a character saying a, a word, and then it's followed by a word that makes sense to follow up that word, you know. So like, hi, I'm Steven, you know. Like that would be an example of something that's connecting in this film. But I guess if we go there, beyond that. There are sentences that make sense, and that's about the only thing we can yeah. say. Grammatically, not in terms of what they say about these people or the world or anything, but like you know. Yeah, the the. the they passed first grade English. <laughs> Can we be sure of that? Barely. I Barely. This, this movie, this, it, yeah, like if that's not become clear in terms of this whole discussion, the movie is like pure abject nonsense. Mm -hmm. Um, and I say nonsense in the truest meaning of the word. It is nonsense. We've like, come across. Films that we're really harsh to, where like in a whole scene, it'll be that someone was firing a machine gun and none of our heroes are hit, and it's like we didn't. That's not what we're dealing Man. with here. Like this is flaws that multiply permeate the entire like, script infinity. again and again and again and again and again with every line. Sometimes of some of these scenes, and every never... and and with with effects that span out across everything because the stakes are so high it is the multiverse it is everything and so the this is everything reveal of the true hot take isn't even that this is the worst mcu movie this might be the worst movie i don't I think, think i've I don't ever come across would... like even in like the best of the worst stuff they cover on rlm they're gonna have more coherency than this because yeah i don't know what <laughs> could contest this for that for that 
accolade, shall we say. I legit don't know what would even come close. Remember, specifically by the judgment of how coherent it is, okay? It's because there I'd probably rather rewatch this than watch plenty of other movies in the world. It's just that I just don't like like it's so disjointed, nothing matches, nothing takes after anything else. It shits itself over and over again. Yeah, like, this might be one of the worst scripts ever turned into a movie. Um, I think if, if people are confused about what is meant here. It's like a thousand floors, and 800 of them are floors that, like, make cat catastrophic damage to the script. And when you, when you have that level, it's just like, I don't know, man. Well, to beat that's going to be pretty hard, isn't it? Worse than The Last Jedi. Oh, yeah, like, The uh, Last yeah. Jedi is downright oh, yes. coherent in comparison. Oh, yes. There's some stuff that's okay in The Last Jedi. Here and there. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah well, I, I, I could say I'm dumbfounded by people who could just come out lambasting hate The Last Jedi and say they love this movie. That one confuses me, but like, to each his own, I guess. Because this, is, this was, uh, I just think all of Phase 4 is shit. It's all like this. And when you can predict the fucking end of a movie two years in advance, that's not good. You're not subverting anybody's expectations. We fully expected Wanda to defeat herself once we learned she was in this movie, just based on everything Marvel has done over the last year and a half. It's the same cookie-cutter bullshit. What's funny is, I don't think I predicted that at all, but had that been said in front of me before oh. this movie came out, I'd have been like, oh, you might be right, actually. Uh... Oh, a lot of people were saying, Wanda will defeat herself. Like We won't even have uh, Doctor Strange fighting Wanda at the end. Because they did it in Ragnarok. Did the same thing in Ragnarok. Well, they fought Ella, for like a second in this. <laughs> it was a little bit. For a second in the beginning. Yeah, they fought in that room. Hey, he fired yeah. his skull people at her and they grabbed her in the bowl. All right, it, isn't that yeah, enough? It's, it's dead body avatar. Sorry, let's keep that in mind. He and uh, <laughs> Because Defender uh, Strange is a fight. better person and even his dead <laughs> well, corpse is a better person. <laughs> it would have been cooler if he was instrumental in her defeat other than like, you can do it. No, Wait, no, I I agree with you, because like, it frustrates me that his pep talk doesn't even make sense. Like, uh, oh. it doesn't make sense, and he, it wasn't what he intended. I think he was legitimately hoping that America would punch her head off. And so when that didn't work, he was like, oh, shit. Because we have a bunch of psychopaths in Hollywood right now who are more worried about their fictional character's agency than their main character in their main movie. And just listen to a few interviews with Victoria Alonso. She's crazy. And uh, she's running the show as much as Kevin is right now. Uh, so something that that was really good and pretty cohesive, you know. I'll agree with Fring. I'd say the first, you know, phase one was pretty tight because it was easier. It was a lot easier. But uh, less variables to play. Out of control, dude. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely out of control. Uh, now, yeah. Well, yeah, because I don't know if there is anybody who is just the, the guy who keeps track of everything. And if he does exist, he's not doing a good job. They no. did have that. In the beginning, they did. They they oh, mapped. They, they, it was a bunch of ideas that they kind of had, but it was Joss Whedon. <laughs> Joss ooh. Whedon was was influential in a lot of those Phase One films, even though he wasn't credited or anything. He made a lot of suggestions. Him and Favreau, uh, Edgar Wright, they were all part of it. They well, gone now. Yeah, we're like, in, we're we in a very needed, different era. Yeah, like what we needed was. As the films went on and these concepts got more and more complex, we needed to get, we didn't need, what we're getting is less and less experienced writers coming on board when what we need is like a veteran sci-fi um, and comic book people who have tackled these concepts for years um, coming in to, to at the very least advise, if not downright write these films. But instead we're just getting more and more people in who just, well, not only do they that, not have much experience with speculative fiction, they don't have much writing experience full stop, and this is what you get. This is probably something that's, because I've seen a lot of people say, like, well, what were you expecting? It's like multiverse, of course it was going to be nonsense, which I have more faith in people's ability to write stories than those people, I suppose. But, um, like, I, 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 yeah, it's going to be hard to write a multiverse story. You've got a lot of variables you need to account for that you just generally don't have to when you're writing stories. You have to account for a lot more worlds, a lot more um, cause and effect variables that throw things out of whack. 
but like those variables don't need to have such a negative effect on the characters or on the theme. They don't need to have as negative effect on the world as they have. Like to say that this is the best that could have been done in terms of leveraging the multiverse as a concept narratively. I don't know. Like I have more faith in people's ability to tell stories. Um, yeah. Don't know what to say. Yeah. And there wasn't yep. a, a character enough that was interesting to follow throughout this entire I, Wanda wasn't likable. Doctor Strange was a fucking idiot. Uh Wong wasn't particularly brilliant. And America Chavez was Dude, bland. I, I will go a step further and argue that basically every character is assassinated in this film. <laughs> like including yeah. the ones that have like five seconds of screen time. It's absolutely nuts. All the Illuminati, uh fucking morons. Incredibly immoral morons too. Mm-hmm. Because it's and, efficient. And it all, um, it all and, comes down to writing. Yeah, and, like, and to, so tell me, writers... to tell me the person who wrote this wrote Loki, it's just like, oh my god. And now he's writing a Star Wars movie. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, well, it's your reward. I think it is hard to... Uh, it's it's kind of hard to quantify the amount of um damage that Loki and Multiverse of Madness have caused to the MCU canon, which was already, like, really shaky. Shambles. Bringy there. I was. I was. Bringy, um, Bringy, your your brain oh, cut I'm you just, off. I, it needed. Yeah, well, it, you, you said exactly what I was thinking. This in shambles. Like, oh, I, right, okay. I, <laughs> I, I, it's. It was already like already. Yeah. Just um. A ha well, it's in chat. Yeah, a house of cards. But I mean, at this point, the the cards are on fire. They're ashes. Like, they're it never had to be this bad. Yeah, it, yeah. it didn't. I think that's what it would need to be emphasized. There's no reason why it needed to be this way. And if your response to that is, well, it was, I mean, it was going to be nonsense. What do you expect? It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I have more, I, I believe that people can tell stories about these concepts. It, it's the, it's not a problem that these, sto that these concepts are um, impossible to work with. It's just the fact that you've got no... They're, they're struggling with the most basic aspects of storytelling. So when you get... When you pile metaphysics on top of that and these ultra-complex um, mechanics in there, not only are the basic things going to fall apart, but then it's like quadrupled by the fact that they are working with these things. It's a multiplying factor to the already shoddy craftsmanship. Right, and the uh, the craftsmanship that's not even there because they're not following the rules that they set up in their previous thing. So we've had, the multiverse has been rumored since Far From Home, correct? Where it was just kind of a trick. Kind of a meme, yeah, but and yeah. Then, and then it was r rumored in WandaVision. It was, uh, it was in No Way Home. It was in Loki. I'm sure I'm forgetting something here. And none of these connect up at all. Like and and that's what the MCU did in the beginning. They connected everything, so now they're just like seeing well, which one will work better? Yeah. Well, uh, and then we'll go from there because they're not done with it. They're not not even close to being done with it. Despite the uh, the drop off on the second Friday, I would still argue like the fact that we would see this as one of the most incoherent incoherent scripts we've ever come across, and it's this successful. It's like oh boy, we're in for more of this. Yeah. yeah. You bet they'll be making more. I mean, they have been making more. This is not an anomaly. This is just in a long line of terrible, horrible movies that don't make sense. But my well, it does kind God. Of have... Like, it was it ten and a half hours talking about it? Hey, you got Miss Marvel next. Miss Marvel's coming up next. Oh, Couple dude, weeks. we got Kenobi I mean, next. Like, oh, oh God, the Halo Kenobi. show. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh, time. Oh, Master Chief night. lays down pipe. No, stop it, mate. This this, this, this really does emphasize. Content. Yeah, th this really does emphasize the fucking importance of pushing back against this shit when it is getting such universal praise. Because this doesn't change unless there are voices out there, not only not only pushing back against it, but push, pushing back against it with arguments that can be understood and pointing out why. You can still have all of these concepts that we like that people want to see explored, but you don't need to do it in such a a, a fucking stupid, incoherent way. There is a better way to do this stuff, and we've seen it in past 
speculative fiction. Um, it's I, I would never say it's been perfect, but you know, I've I've you know I binged all of Star Trek um, again last year, and you know the for whatever ups and downs it were for the time travel and multiverse stuff, at least there was they, was they never got this bad. No, Doctor Who Doctor Who managed to do it for a long time pretty good. Mm-hmm. I, I, so? I, I don't know how to stress. This is a special kind of bad. We, we haven't been here. This is uncharted territory. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. I don't know where we're going next. I just don't. Oh, it's just not from here, surely, Thor's, right? Thor's gonna go find himself again, guys. He's gonna really find himself this time. Thor with Love and Thunder's gotta be better than this, right? Right? Oh, gotta be. <laughs> I'm scared to say it has to be because word. they surely. always they always find a way. It's not gonna find it a way to. Be. We're not dealing with the, the multiverse terrible. in that, right? 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 I don't, who knows? Who fucking knows? Maybe no. there's seven no. Thors. Who fucking? I don't care. No. So, so is this a one, or have we found a below a, a one somehow? Have we buried below our scale? <laughs> it's below a one. The point five. Point five. <laughs> it can't be a zero. Oh boy. But we can't. There, there are space. There are infinite numbers between zero and one. There really fact, are. So oh, there is, I'm sure one of them is appropriate for uh, this movie. <laughs> Like I said, mm -hmm. I'm happy to give it a 0.5 out of 10. <laughs> like it's it's 0.5. It's the new low. You, it's a 0.5 out of 10. Infinite. You had to try to be this bad. Like most films don't have to even, they don't get here from being lazy uh, as writing. But yeah, you you found a way. Man. As look, look, look at us. Right. Look what we're doing. <laughs> what's, hap what's, what's going on? I'm we're losing my mind. There's no way. Well, well, I don't know how best. many people wa here watched Hawkeye. Okay, I know some people skipped Hawkeye. Oh, I, you, I know one. it's like it's not overall universe damaging as Loki or this, but like the quality of it at the end is so laughably bad. They're like fighting on an on an ice rink, and it's just the stupidest thing I've ever seen. And then they like take Kingpin from the Daredevil series, one of the coolest villains, probably the best villain in Marvel, and just cut his nuts off. And like the and like his first appearance in the MCU, kind of like they did Mr. Fantastic. They took a little more time with him, but it, like we shouldn't be surprised by anything from here on out. That's all I'm saying. Like Thor could be worse. It could be worse. I remember, know, I, I, I still get shocked sometimes. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> really? You did that? And you could be Ooh, like, they did it 10 I, times before. And I'm like, I know, Moon but Knight. still. I know when you told me about Moon Knight and I was right there with you, I'm like, I didn't think they would go that on the nose with it, but they did. Oh. The that last episode of Moon We haven't even oh. yeah, chat, you got that to look forward to one day. <laughs> yeah, we, we haven't even talked about Moon Knight. At oh, least Moon boy. Knight's better than this. Yeah. Yes. Moon Knight is definitely yes. Yes. it's got some character stuff in there that's kind of Yeah, like you know what? Yes. I'm yeah, very comfortable. Yes. It Moon Knight costumes awesome, cool. The yes. five minutes of Moon Knight's pretty cool. The five minutes of Moon Knight is pretty cool. Sometimes. Sometimes. Except when Scarlet Scarab is telling him how to fight. Um, he saves him twice. Yeah. When Alan... The creations. Never before has there been such well. excitement as to where the MCU will go next. Ooh. I'm just tired of it. I'm excited for the journey. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. Yeah. And think of all the things stuff. that they could but still that's... ruin. We got Doctor Doom, Mephisto, and Galactus. Oh, well, I mean, waiting. they're bringing in Dead Ever, which is the one that scares me a lot. Yep. Yep. It's we probably going to be six coming. episodes. Yeah. That, so Wolverine, Professor X again, Magneto, a whole host of Rogue. Oh, you know, going like, to get ruined. A whole host of characters. Oh. Uh, the sheer amount of here's, content here's, they create, the like, one... this can't go well. Like it's just can't. It's just so it's just they have not officially announced uh, John Krasinski as no. Mister Fantastic. They haven't. No, so they're not going to. He will not be uh, Mister Fantastic. Maybe I'm calling I, it right now. If, uh, he will not be Mister Fantastic. So here's the thing. I wonder if by presenting him as a possibility, only to take it away, that might upset enough people that they wouldn't do it. And no people. Maybe this was know. a test to see how popular he'd be as a. Uh, it may well have been a test, considering that he wasn't meant to be in the film by the sounds of it. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah uh, we just had this a cinematic be... focus group. This was to be somebody else, right? He was the second choice. Uh, I think it was meant to be Boulder. Bold. Like bold or the brave or something? No, I'm talking oh, about an I, actor. Oh, uh, I don't know who they were going to go with. 
I think Dan, I saw something today. It was like Daniel Craig. They wanted him in for something. Like I thought he, yeah, I thought he was else. originally cast for Reed Richards, but he said he oh, didn't get COVID okay. restrictions. Um, Daniel right, Craig. Yeah, which by the way, yeah, Daniel Craig is Reed Richards. Like, um, what? Uh, I don't really see it, but no. you know, no. I don't. Yeah, I just no, don't. No, I don't no. see it. No. But hey, but he, has to, he has to do the voice from uh, uh, Knives Out. Knives Out. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah yeah I don't, I don't know what the fuck we're gonna be getting next okay i don't know well i i mean i i definitely don't get the impression that we're going anywhere in particular um i think that we're just going we're just sort of mm -hmm. going uh like but but the direction is unclear whereas like even in phase one for as broad as the strokes were it was like we're building up with the tesseract and and loki and and um and we're gonna have like a conflict that brings all of them together and even like by phase three, it's like was all leading up to Thanos with the Infinity Stones that we're introducing huh? steadily. Yeah. I, I don't, see, I don't really see it. It feels like we're just kind of going yeah. somewhere, um, but where and for what reason and to what end? Well, it will never end, but the, the, like it will never end. That's kind of the almost the problem with the MCU. It's never going to end. How long has it been since you saw like? Uh, well, there's no way home, but that's Sony. But aside oh, like, from No Way Home, what was your last good Marvel movie? Uh, well, the problem is good because I really like Infinity War, and I think Infinity War is probably the strongest one mm -hmm. that they've made since, like, 2017. But Infinity War's got problems. But, I mean, as you run forward, it's like, well, I Ant-Man and the Wasp is pretty bad. Uh, Captain <laughs> Marvel is pretty bad. I mm -hmm. Endgame, I obviously don't like a lot. Um, <laughs> and I mean, Far From Home, I think that there's definitely stuff in there that's worth valuing, but I mean, it's got problems. Like, I, I don't know if I'd consider that a good movie. Um, and then, yeah, Black Widow, Shang-Chi, it's like, it's not... Yeah, it feels like the further you go back, it's like, what would be the, the good one? It's like Homecoming, um, maybe Ragnarok, but Ragnarok's got plot issues, you know? Like, so it's kind of hard. Yeah. It's been a long time. Long time. And, yeah. So like, you know, and, and I guess the one that would be less contentious, because a lot of people don't like Homecoming, would be Guardians 2. Um, Which means it's Guardians, been a long time. Guardians 3 is the one everyone's going to have their eyes on for... Well, we and with, I mean, yeah. I can't lie, right? To some extent, I'm interested in Thor. I'm I'm curious. I, I get worried for sure, but like, I'm, I wonder what they're going to do there. I guess the problem is after Endgame, it's like Thor. I don't know what we're doing with Thor. Like, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. Like, who is he? Who is he now? Yeah. What is his arc? What does um, he want? What is he trying to figure out about himself now? I just wanna, There's uh, almost nothing left of As Asgard, right? I don't know what he has left in his life. I don't know what well, the problem is. Yeah. We keep we keep cycling back around because, as far as I can tell, there's a through line. Even even taking into account Ragnarok, there is a through line of like he's going to become a king, but in a way that might be unconventional, mm -hmm. and then it gets stripped away from him in Infinity War. Like everything gets destroyed, mm -hmm. and then you can have him on that punished arc. But we didn't do that. <laughs> we we instead went with Fat Thor. But uh, now now that he's passed the reins to Valkyrie, it's like I don't I don't really know like what is is Thor's goal now at this point. Like I want to retire or something. Is that I, I don't know. I I guess I'm not sure like what. Because that kind of just comes out of nowhere in Endgame. Like, oh, no, I'm not fit to be king. It's like, dude, the whole point of your arc in Ragnarok was, no, I am fit to be king, just my way. Mm -hmm. But now it's like, you're not king at all. So I guess we've got to figure out what we're doing next with him. And I, I don't know, but maybe there'll be something there. Who knows? Uh, and well, otherwise, it's Guardians. He will not um, be a king. And Guardians. Well, I guess the thing with Guardians, though, is it seems by all indications of what the cast have been saying and, like, the James Gunn's probably not doing any Marvel stuff again, it seems like Guardians 3 is the end for all those characters. Or, or like, maybe there'll be some of them that stick around, but it's kind of the end of the Guardians. It's like, oh, damn. <laughs> like, that's that's it for them, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, we'll have the, the holiday special and then Guardians and then 3. Guardians. And be yep. there long. The real Guardians. <laughs> and then that's probably will be it. Um, so, yeah, the future is bright. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, and, and hopefully that in, gives you an idea of why we didn't think this was very good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It had cool shots, okay? All right? It had some cool shots. Yes. Right. Cinematography was neat in lots of areas. Some of the ideas of how to present the look of certain things happening in this movie, including but not limited to the creepy visuals with... Scarlet mm -hmm. Witch and and the the mind universe being like all white and 
the 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 contrast of the res the 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 house that uh, evil strange lives in and the staircase like so many cool and it, interesting elements. The frame, the, the, the frame is held. It is definitely the held. held frame it's, was. It's cool, is. all right? That's true. Cameras okay. were It's the on. writing, all right? It's it's the writing. Leave us alone. We're yep. just, yeah, we're just talking about the writing, okay? Pretty film. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, Now, uh, I believe Gary and Rags, you'll both run out of time, right? I am, yeah. actually. I was about to bring it up probably soonish, but I am going to have to uh, head on off, because I've got well, a... Got some things I need to be going to do. I'm going it off. Sounds like we'll probably do what we did last week then. Um, oh boy! And we'll roll just, all your super chats into one and, and get to them, them on the Wednesday. Time. Eat them all up. Yes, and, giant super chat. Um, because I assume Rags will be back by Wednesday, and we will be able to go through each and every one and end the discussion on this film, at least on EFAP's part. We'll move yeah. right along. Because next Saturday, everybody, all the Halo episodes will be out by then. And we will finally yep. be talking about that legendary show. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. How exciting. Halo. Yes. There's so much. How many pages of notes do I have? Going to be How many of them? I have some fun. A lot. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me see. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. Jeez. So many. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, what was it? I'll, oh, I'll mention so it. Though then as well but uh that'll be a a fringy hosted episode because i yeah fucking struggle to care about halo and so i will <laughs> fringy and i really hate this the halo yeah show a lot i it's i really loathe it awful. um like in terms because with, with this film i don't i don't hate it i uh <laughs> i just i don't i don't know it's i don't like it but uh i don't hate it i hate the halo show i despise it yeah. <laughs> hate it it's mm, it's really mm. painful um, everything I see about it on social media, I'm I'm just like it's true. It's all wow. true. <laughs> oh. it's so, it's true. It's true. Well, it's it's um, man. And when people are like, oh, episode five, you know that was all right. It ain't episode no. five is riddled with problems, like Got completely and utterly riddled. Well, it's just because there were grunts and jackals, and like it, it because of how vapid that show is. It's like oh. Finally, something I recognize. Like, look at them elites and the jackals and grunts and phantoms. Isn't that fun? You know? Also, it's being a Halo show or tr or pretending to be after it's, five it's, episodes. Well, <laughs> well yeah, it's, that's going to be... Because that's that's, that is a show that it's, it's going to be hard not to talk about it as an adaptation. But I think, I think the important thing is to just emphasize it's like, they are two different conversations. Um, Absolutely. I, I hate it as an adaptation. I hate it as an adaptation, but it's also a pretty like it's it's a really bad show. It's as its own thing. Bad show on its own, yeah. If you didn't know anything about Halo, I don't know what you would pull from this show, really, except for a bunch of problems. Probably um, pull less, because not even any of the key jangling and aesthetics would make you go. Well, oh, that, yeah. yeah, it's not gonna carry you over <laughs> seeing grunts and elites and stuff. It's not gonna like the reveal of the Halo as a thing is not gonna mean a whole lot to you because like when they say, oh, Halo, and then it goes, oh, 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 it's like, that doesn't mean anything if you don't know anything about the game. It's like, it's, it means nothing to you. It's just, the, oh, that's the name of the show. Someone, oh. uh, someone said before we head off, we need to rate, well, Wonder, or I always said Wonder Woman, Wanda, <laughs> uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. But we, we did need already, to, like, rate we? it. But I think, uh, yeah, I think yeah. I, I'm, I'm fine with that 0. 0.5, that solid <laughs> 0. 0.5 out of 10. Yeah, that's where I'm settled. I don't know a worse movie. Um, Somewhere around there, definitely. If absolute the, catastrophe. The, yeah, I'm, 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 I I'm. wouldn't disagree. Fuck that movie. Wait, well, um, before we go then, I guess we'll we'll send everyone off in a sense. Uh, should we start with um, Gary? Why don't you tell people what you get up to on your channel and why they should subscribe? Oh, some scrizzle because I point out the MCU all the time. This, this, this thing that people say doesn't exist that Kevin Feige invented, by the way. It's not me. I like the MCU. I like the moral. <laughs> like everyone's theorizing that Gary's behind all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like Gamora and Nebula, and I like used to like Black Widow and Wanda, and I hate what they've done to, to this universe. It really sucks. But yeah, I talk about that uh, next video, Lord of the Rings, 
tomorrow morning. It's going to be a fun one. Uh, I dude, know a couple Ray. things that happens in that first episode. Ooh. Oh my god, no. Dude, it's going to be a miracle for us to be done with the coverage we want to get done before fucking Lord of the Rings show comes out. Ugh. I can't believe there's a Lord of the Rings show coming out on top of all of this. Dude, Kenobi is right around the corner. There's a Lord of the Rings show Kenobi. Kenobi's only Kenobi. a couple weeks it's late, like, yeah. It's just it's raining more things. We live in. Yeah. At least we can always do something new when the thing pisses us off enough. We're like, well, done with Kenobi. We're moving to Lord of the Rings. Oh, we're <laughs> no. not doing that anymore. We're doing whatever show this is next. And I'm um, going to watch Batman 5. That's I a good idea. Good. Yeah, well, yeah, I need to head off. So um, I guess we're ending things. Yeah, uh, link for that is in the description of his channel. Uh, meme, what are you up to these days? What's happening? Hello. Hello. Um, it's just the same, the same as I uh, reported uh, last couple of weeks. Basically, just uh, putting bits and bobs together. Um, yeah, new routines starting to come together as well. So uh, we'll hopefully see something from that um, shortly, or have some more updates hopefully soonish. I also just did a uh, Metal's Forge uh, with, with uh, the dear old Metal Commander. We did Batman under the Red Hood. That was a lot of fun. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, go go watch that. I, I have a bunch of notes for that that we went through, and it was good. Yeah, dude, that's a, we talked about a good superhero I thing. Just, yeah, I like that yours gradually turned into check out Metal's channel. <laughs> 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 uh, but yes, link to Beeb's channel in description, and um, uh, well, you've you've got plenty of videos for them to check out already, right? There's there's, there's some stuff there, media related and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Metal. Oh, Metal. What are you up to, hey, what's mate? Hey, Mel, what's mate? What's going on? What are, you, what are you up to, Mel? Uh, I'm, I'm doing all kinds of stuff. If you want content, I've got all the content. Whoa. I have the best content. Uh, no, if you want mediatisms, uh, Metal's Forge coming to you every week. Uh, at least that's what I try to do. If I don't do it a week, you get two the next week. That's how crazy I am. That's what I do. Uh, yeah. Batman Under Red Hood yesterday. That was good fun. Go check that out. And the next one next week is going to be The Wrestler. And we're going to be joined by good old Porcus uh, with that one. So that should be good old fun. If mm. you want game more content, uh, I, I strumble on the Twitch. I'm going to start playing Ocarina of Time again because I haven't played it in a long time. And right after that, I'm going to play Majora's Mask for the very first time all the way through. So that's going to be good stuff. And if you don't want to watch it live on Twitch, there's an archive channel on the YouTubes you can check out. And that's that's it. I, I, also, I, I stopped playing Ellen, Ellen Ring. I'm done with Ellen Ring. I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. I did Cheat. it. All right. Blank in decraption. Um, decraption. Bringy. What are you working on, Rags? No, your video. <laughs> oh, well, I... I can go after rags. What are you working on? Oh, uh, videos. You know, got videos in the works. Should be done soonish. Hopefully now, I'm making good progress. Exciting. Um. Well, oh, yeah. I, I I made the end game video. If you haven't seen it yet, it's it's available to watch. As for what's next, I know what it's going to be, but that's going to be my little secret for now. Oh, God. Um. That. that among a couple other projects, but yeah, I uh, I know what's next. I've started working on it. Um, I can't tell you when it's going to be done. I no idea, but you know, I'm working on it. Sweet, sweet. I um, I'm just working. What about away. you, Mubes? Yeah, working away, working away. In the little cave. the next thing they can all expect is just going to be uh Kenobi coverage on Moolah. That'll be the next thing yeah. that comes out. But I am working away on a script. As soon as it's finished, I'll mention that I'm now working on editing the video, but that's the most information you guys are going to get. You don't get to know what the video's about until it comes out. Or rather, a week before that, just so that I know it's all good to go. When does Kenobi uh, start releasing? Like two mm. weeks from now, is it? Two weeks, I think. Seventh. Just under two weeks now. Mm. Yeah, 27th. Can't wait to ruin one week, one day a week hey. with Kenobi. Mm -hmm. Um... Which means, uh, yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll uh, cover all the Super Chats that came in today on Wednesday at normal EFAP time, dare I say, 7pm BST for now. 
Uh, thank you so much for to Drinker for popping in. Like I said, his, uh, his, his link's in the description as well. And thank you so much to all of you for hanging out. Great. Woo. Thanks, chat. Keeping us company, Thanks, providing some extra bits and bobs info. And, 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 um, and thank you very much for the donations. This is the end of the episode. You guys have a good night. Sleep well. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. Beauty. Thanks wow. for coming. Good Shalom.